<laughs> is it pl- PKA six oh three with our guest <laughs> Josh Pelo Plot Plot? I was just Plot, gonna ask you, man. Plot <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> well, behind the scenes for you to start this episode of PKA brought to you by Blue Chew, Lucy, and WonkyWeeds.com, the same wonderful company that brought you Death by Gummy Bears. We've got more THC products to get you high, folks. So you'll hear more about them later. Josh, thank you so much for for coming back on, hanging out with us. How are you? Thrilled to be here, man. I'm doing great. Been doing my little RuneScape stuff. Recently tried Rust uh, at the urging of your community. That game is crazy. Um, other than that, man, I'm just, my I don't know if you guys have seen. I haven't really talked about it too much, but my wife is pregnant with number two. Hey, I'm just now getting back Sorry. into the YouTube grind. Yeah, thank you guys, man. I, <laughs> I had to take a little time off from YouTube. This one is a lot gnarlier for sickness and illness than uh, the first one with her. You know, she was very sick feeling in the first trimester. Didn't really have that with the first baby, so uh, I took a step back from YouTube for a little while to, uh, you know, be a little more present, try to help more. Sure. And now we're on the way back in. So, All right. Other than that, just same old, same old. Thank you guys for having a community that is apparently really into Rust. I guess I've got to try Escape from Tarkov next. Uh, yeah. Rush EFT just right. wiped. Or right. uh, just uh, don't do either ever. Been playing a ton <laughs> of that. Uh, e- EFT and uh, and Rust are two of the most unhealthy games in the world to play. Rust just yeah, got a lot easier. They they changed the the spray patterns in Rust, and I'm told yes. that. A lot easier the first time that I tried it, I was like, man, I'm going to have to get on one of these practice servers because this feels like COD mixed with Counter-Strike as far as spray patterns go. But this yeah. time, this time it was just kind of OP. I was just like, click, point, I gank somebody yeah. in the neck with a bone knife and skip the whole bunch of, uh, <laughs> skip a bunch of monuments. It was great. On the game, FBI, on the game. Yeah. Uh, but- Do you think that's literally the least healthy game, Rust? Or actually, no, World of Warcraft. That's the, that's probably the, the tippity top of the mountain of like, what consumer. Mm. I think it's the life. OG. I think it's the OG life consumer. But there, there's new there's new drugs out there, you know, like like there's new stuff, new chemicals being made every day, Good more addictive, style. more like th- things that cost more money, things with loot crates. Um, is loot it crates Diablo? Are I can't remember which game I was hearing about on Reddit the other day that, but, but someone was like, it takes this amount of money to get everything you can in the That's game. Sad. And it was like 100K or something. Like, like there's wild games that you can devote your entire life to and spend a fortune on. And then in like RuneScape, I saw that guy in RuneScape. I don't understand the... I don't understand RuneScape. I've never touched it. It looks terrible. But, but somehow or another, <laughs> he like let himself be teleported, teleported somewhere, and the guy like killed him and took yeah. something that was worth like tens of thousands of dollars of real money. Real money, and, yeah. And you could see like bill. you could see him like die on the inside. And his wife was so scared, he was raging so hard, she took the baby and ran out of the room. Yep. <laughs> but on the other hand, that clip, the dude is was there money to be chair? made in RuneScape, yeah. right? Because yeah. we all focus on the loser. I'm focused on the winner. I'm focused on the guy who made ten thousand dollars in a couple of minutes. Is yeah, that a repeatable general, process? Can you imagine the celebration at that kid's house? That guy's selling <laughs> NFTs now. That dude one hundred percent real He invested in some coin with it. Um, that, believe it or not, yeah, RuneScape has a huge. It's actually uh, overrun. A lot of video games are overrun right now with Venezuelans. I don't know if you guys know about that issue, but no. their currency is so inflated that RuneScape has become overrun with Venezuelans that farm gold on the game, sell it to illicit third party websites for a living because the they sell it for American dollars or pounds, you know, which is worth however many thousands of their dollar right now. And mm-hmm. then they can get food on the table. So the game has become completely flooded with that. But um, That's as so far cool. as time sink goes. Dude, can I pay a Venezuelan? Can I, if I can get a poor Venezuelan to mine sulfur for me in rust for real yes. world money, that would be. You absolutely you can. You could have a team of them. How, you can. How, how many? What, what's the what, what's money in their land? What do they use? They use dollars or pesos? Like what do they use in Venezuela? Nothing anymore. They're like <laughs> yeah, Weimar Republic say, level, like wheelbarrows of cash. Like Zimbabwe, yeah, literally those trillion dollar bills. And, and, yep, literally. I would like a hundred dollars worth of their money just to like have a big bundle of money. It's completely worth it. I mean, Ooh, it, like I've seen pictures of it in the streets and the gutters and stuff. You know, recreate the Breaking mm-hmm. Bad scene where you like sleep on top of the piles of cash. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but it, but it's Venezuelan money. But Although, still. It, but it's yeah. It's oh, but imagine so judge. how filthy it is. Venezuelans have touched it. Am, oh, it is Venezuelan. What money. is the something. ratio? Am I a Venezuelan billionaire? Maybe. Maybe. No, probably yeah. Yeah. a billionaire. Oh, yeah. You're probably Jack. a billionaire. Z- Z- no, no, you would have yeah, been Zach, a quadrillion in half a bin. Zimbabwe. But half, half a billion, billion of their dollars is one dollar. Zach said half a billion. Half a billion. Yeah. Half a billion. Oh, I'm sorry. Half a million. My bad. My bad. Yeah, half yeah, a million. yeah. yeah. I, was about, I was about to sound crazy. <laughs> half a million per dollar. So, yeah, you're way, way, way rich in Venezuelan dollars. Man, you know, gas isn't that shit bad. About George Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Like, like their country was doing okay, relatively speaking. And then that dictator that they had, uh, Raul or no, whoever it was, I can't remember his name now, but he made fun of George Bush at the UN 
George Bush just had spoken, and then this dude went up next, and he was like, the smell of sulfur, it is still in the air. Satan was just here. Like oh. two years later, that guy got severe cancer everywhere, died, and then Venezuela's been a, a landslide since. They got him for talking shit about George W. CIA. Yeah. Wait, 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 either, no, either that or wanting to take their massive oil reserves off of the U.S. dollar. You guys have these weird theories about CIA <laughs> or it's oil one of reserves. Those. <laughs> when clearly the smell of sulfur was in the air, it was the devil that got him. And you're ignoring yeah. the evidence. The coolest guy that's ever been at a political <laughs> conference ever is that guy who threw his shoe at George W. Bush. They, they put that guy in prison. And I, really? I bet he, I bet he was unbelievably popular. He did like two years, if I remember correctly. It was it was a significant amount of time for throwing a shoe at the president. Isn't there a monument to the shoe now or something? There's like no that? way there's a fucking monument to that. A monument shoe. to him. Did he just get inspired really? by Austin Powers? I mean, he just went in there and just what was the dude who throws the shoe guy? Yeah, he was that just Asian oh, dude that eats the shoe. <laughs> we gave we went in there and gave those people freedom, and then they throw a shoe at a, at our president like that. And you, and you, gonna... you think you should get off lightly? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill your family and you're gonna thank me for it on TV or I'm gonna kill you. How do you like that? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy uh, Zach, hospital please pull this up ASAP. With, and you're gonna get on your knees and say thank you to the great American beast. <laughs> we'll, we'll start with your kids, then you yes. and your grandparents will go up yes, the line. Yes, Taylor, I'm glad you understand. <laughs> Check out the monument to the shoes. Oh my Scroll God. down a little bit so we see the headline. Someone you know, spent way too much money on that. That's that's oh poorly God. done. I don't like it. What? It's so well <laughs> oh, done. It looks just like the shoe they threw. <laughs> Look at that is it an Adidas? Thing. It's on a pedestal. Shoe they, monument for the man who threw footwear at Bush. They, Dude, they that's scuff looking for real. It kind of is. Uh, they could have oh, tried a lot harder. What is it made of? Because I think it's bronze. Go big or go bronze, home. It's something like this. Like, make it look good. It's I think that's made bronze of bronze something colored it's shoe. Bronze colored. Bronze colored shoe. <laughs> All right, well, that doesn't well, tell us much. Think they just made an enormous sneaker. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bronze, bronze is a metal. That's what it says. Bronze is among the cheapest of the celebratory metals. He called like, it, celebratory medals. It's, it's Andy lowest. called him a dog. Oh, that's that's insult to Andrew, Ooh. literally. Well, in a calling someone a dog must be a lot more intense in, in Iraq. Because that's probably so. really, nobody really gives a shit. Can, like, would that really get someone here? Like, you dog. What up, dog? Do like, they oh, have you know, I think here we love dogs. Like, like is, is Iraq one of those countries where like not so much? I don't know. So. I thought question. most countries liked dogs. I don't dogs think even if it's like the way they taste. Uh, man, when I was 12, I had Chinese roommates, and this is that's a very small sample size. Don't get me wrong, but according mm -hmm. to him, culturally, they just don't like. Yeah, Chinese don't like dogs. Right? They don't. They don't really like the dog all up on them and stuff. Like when that dog would jump up on him and stuff, he just looked like he wanted to strangle it. Like he was like, "Why do you let this animal do this?" You know. And he said that well, of course it's cultural. So there's going to be some people that probably snuggle the shit out of dogs over there, I guess. But he said culturally that they don't get their dog all up in their business like that. Yeah, that's all right. Nobody wants yeah. to fucking. Not everybody wants to make out with their dog as well. There's two sides to that coin. Yeah, exactly. You ever see a lady make out with a dog? It's so hot. Like two, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like tongues touching that level. Oh yeah, where she's sucking well, the yeah. dog's tongue. Yeah, oh, of course. You know? Yeah, I, saw I mean, I do that with my dog. Have sex with the dog. <laughs> well, Got your to tongue. And what was funny about her <laughs> having sex with the dog is they, so the dog like grabs her hips aggressively. They were experienced enough at this that they had put socks on the dog's two front paws so that they, he didn't like grab her with the claws and the scratchy pads of his feet. And he had kind of, you know, gentle paws to, to hold her waist with. Oh. oh my God, that's just too far, man. That's, that's putting <laughs> some time, effort, and money into some shit, man. That's See, there's a there's a middle ground between that and apparently the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to find the balance. Where you, can, you can pet them, but you neither fuck them nor eat them. Yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle here. I like that's, to just hang out with that's them. That's horseshoe theory. <laughs> Fucking dogs. And... <laughs> Find where I fall on the spectrum. Apparently, it was a cultural thing, though. Um, and also, I had to translate. I was trying to translate the F word for the lady and trying to tell her I wasn't allowed to say it. Uh, that was one of the highlights of my life. And it's because I was watching on. Does anybody remember? I'm sure everybody remembers Newgrounds, man. I had no business being on Newgrounds. They had that history of the F word. They had the history of the F word. And I was watching it. And she came up to me. I was like, what is F word? I'm not trying to make fun of her. She was learning English there. And I was like, right. I, uh, I can't tell you, but don't ask my parents either. Like, uh, well, I'm just going to have to redirect you to my uncle. You can go fuck. Or was, was she going the, the little was, light in the loafers direction? I, I don't think she was trying you to bust a move. To the best of my knowledge, she didn't really know what it was. But look, all I, I didn't really stay long in that house with them. We came home two weeks later and they'd broken all our dishes, man. It was arranged marriage. I was friends with a dude and he'd, 
He was friends with us for years since I was like five. He disappears to China for a month and comes back with a hot Chinese wife. We're like, okay, cool. They hated each other. So they moved in with us and they split the rent or whatever for a little while. We came home, there were broken dishes everywhere. What I got from it was I learned how to use chopsticks and don't let your dog jump on Asian people because she, she wait, 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 we, we went through this marriage really quickly. So he, he yeah. left, he came back with a Chinese wife. <laughs> went home to China for an arranged marriage. Yeah. Oh, oh, so he was Chinese too. Yeah, they were both Chinese, and he went home to China to Got an have arranged an arranged marriage. marriage. And I lived in a college town, Oxford, Mississippi, where Ole Miss is. So he was a student there. He goes home for his arranged marriage and brings her back. And but they, hated they had a baby, and they shipped well, the baby off to China to live with the grandparents. And uh, it was the cutest baby I think I'd ever seen up until that point. Now I've got a baby. Well, they sold that baby. What a bizarre... I didn't ask questions, you know, but the baby disappeared. So, Apparently, it was a cultural so, so thing, quickly, you know? They had Every a time baby. something sketchy happened, it's a cultural wait, thing. Wait a minute, wait, no, wait, wait. Are you sure they sent it anywhere? I, I I didn't see a you know a mailbox they, or a crib. You they know. killed that baby, didn't they? I, I didn't ask questions. All I know is a few weeks was, later they I, said it's I a cultural thing. I have another question. Thing. One more follow up. Was they it a boy it. or a girl? It was a boy. Oh, so, so much. If it was a girl, them. then we would definitely have case solved right here. We wouldn't need Windigoon for that one. Like it'd be one hundred percent case closed. But it's a boy, so those are a little more valued. You know, they keep us. <laughs> they're, they're a little more did valued. They, I don't know what happened. Did they get G. divorced? Did you say that? Uh, she she ran off on them. I think I don't even think it was an actual divorce. I think she was oh. like, you know what? I'm in America. This is how they do it here. I'm just leaving. It's an old so, school. I'm divorce. jumping in the car. Like and I'm free internet divorce. You could just leap you could just be like i'm getting cigarettes and yeah yeah myspace wasn't around yet at this point i don't think man i was like right without myspace you could move this is a stolen joke but you could just move like 11 miles away (laughs) (laughs) and restart your life is that is that is that john mulaney i think (laughs) he does that i don't know who it is something like that but it's so true where he's making the point of like in 19 like 48 (laughs) like you just want to start a new life Hop in the car, brother. Like there's, there's, no, the there's no way to find you. There's no, there's no you can show up in a totally different city, and your not, name is you know Mike Stevenson, and you're like, I need a, a home loan. I'm an accountant. My name's Brett <laughs> Ethan, and they'll be like, All right, Mr. Ethan, how much money do you make a year? And you go, I make two hundred and twenty thousand, and I need a home loan. And they go, Okay, we don't require a proof of income. Here's your money to buy a home, Mr. Ethan. <laughs> Would you like cash? No database. Go ahead and take this document of proof of identity to your DMV for. Your new license jesus zach my mom's brother left when i was still in uterus for cigarettes and never came back but your mom's brother that implies that your uncle is your dad that would make sense i don't even think it was an implication i think it was he's, a declaration he's his own grandpa <laughs> he embraced it are you your own grandpa zach are you inbred you, we're no, all no, inbred. <laughs> everyone's a little inbred there's no way everyone's yeah, but Zach's a thousand. So fucking inbred he might yeah but you gotta organs. there's certain distance on the tree you're supposed to be you know a couple branches you gotta have enough to shuffle the cards with god damn is the way i look at it you know yeah, yeah oh i thought yeah. zach was making a joke apparently a he wasn't you're not like ruling egypt or something Wait, he says he's slightly inbred <laughs> through marriage this is confusing to me yeah, yeah. me too well i mean he's inbred what are you <laughs> 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 he's doing the best he can Touche. All right. All right. <laughs> he's, he's doing banjo practice over there. <laughs> I still watch dueling banjos. I'm not going to lie. I think that kid really was inbred from the dueling banjos video, but for everybody who's seen it, he really played that banjo. That kid he was did amazing. Not play that banjo. Did he not, no. dude? I watched so that, many videos where they said he did. That is a man's arm reaching through the fucking sleeve from behind. That child is clearly severely retarded. He, Look, man, is, and he, he's, he's playing the savant. banjo at an elite level. Okay, elite it's not even the word, dude. boy. It, elite. Like, Woo. It's not like there's a retarded child playing the banjo a little, like ding, 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 ding. No, he's fucking jamming out on a yeah. difficult instrument. I just he assumed he was be. a savant. Honestly, I assumed he was a savant. I've there's, seen people that can't tie their shoes that can kill a guitar. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's. But they also can't really even hardly breathe and talk at like at the same time. Well, that kid nothing but music. Fucking banjo. I promise you that 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 kid has. Well, has, you didn't pick a very flattering photo. There are no flattering. There's no photos flatter. That's of what he that looked child. like. Okay. Yeah, that that no, pancake just a, just, like just a bad look. No, that's what, that's what he looked like. Man. He just he just him down low. I, I looked it up. Kyle's right. Um, no man. Yeah, he, YouTube video ever. He Bro, wore I totally believed it because listen, I have spent a lot of free time just sitting there with a stringed instrument, man. He I, fir- I firmly believed it. I believed the old legend that they found Why? some redneck kid up there. Is my mic there, not working? Like, what is happening here? He's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a fucking word in. So he wore a special shirt that allowed a real banjo player behind him for the scene. That, that's what I'm trying to tell Damn. you. Damn. Yeah. The shot was it was carefully chosen camera angles, etc. Yeah. 
It's exactly what I said because you know when he moved the screen over behind mm-hmm. the scenes things. It looks real. Fucking, one of the scariest thrillers. I never thought about it though. Saw thrillers it. ever. It, it it really put a scare into me when I was thirteen or fourteen and I watched it the first time. Like I don't know when you're thirteen. Nobody wants to get raped, but thirteen or fourteen year old me was thinking like, yeah, that could happen to me. Like I had been down rivers and and like tubing and stuff with friends, and it's like, yeah. Like if we just like fucking got out, like we're in our swim trunks, like we don't even have a knife. Like Was part of get... you uh, <laughs> thinking, like, man, if Ned Beatty gets molested, like yeah. I'm a spring chicken out. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I looked at it and I'm like, Woody, you need to honestly evaluate what you bring to the table here. Are you Burt Reynolds? Are you Burt Reynolds? No, I'm not. I'm. 13 years old <laughs> this is yeah, yeah. turning around and going home yeah. <laughs> I am- see I, I hit puberty too quickly to, to be attacked by pedophiles there was a three day window where, where I was prime meat and then I had aged out past you know what I just thought like, I, cool. I, I think that I think that would be a good remake a, re, a deliverance remake Ooh. who would play Burt yes. Reynolds who would play Burt Reynolds um um, um used to feel no 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 um, Star Lord fucking Star Lord Chris Pratt Chris Pratt Chris, yeah because Burt Reynolds gets fucked up right away and taken out of the picture. Like, like Burt Reynolds is like the alpha male in the group. Everybody else is either physically incapable or or, or, or mentally emotionally in, yeah. emotionally incapable. That, that it's perfect because 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 John Boyd's smart. He's just he doesn't have the machismo required to kill mm-hmm. right out of off the bat. And you know that you feel like Burt Reynolds. He was like looking for a fight for no reason at the mm-hmm. beginning. Like he's he that guy. Nash. Yeah, he likes to fight guy. But you, they take him right out of the picture. And so you're left with I don't I don't know who like, may, oh maybe Ned Beatty is like that chubby guy from Game of Thrones. Oh yes, yeah. Harris. No, like 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 Jon Snow's little bitch boyfriend that's always got the books and never managed to lose any Sam. Weight. Yeah, no, Sam. I don't want him yeah. to get any more work as an actor. Sam Tarley. He was. He was <laughs> that was bold. <laughs> Not until he hits the gym anymore. No, 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 I just. He just no, like him as an every actor. scene of him was he was just fat and exasperated. Same every every said it well. Time. All right, Sam, <laughs> we need you to read this book and then act. I've got it fat and exasperated. <laughs> it's like, all right, now you're going to go up to the wall and look out at this green screen. What do you see? It doesn't matter what I see. I'm fat and exasperated. <laughs> <I've got laughs> and that's the whole character. Fat I thought Amelia Clark was overrated in her acting. Yes, yeah, agreed. Maybe, do I really, okay. I like her facial expressions. Wasn't I, overrated? I, think they're, I think they're very cute and adorable. And, uh, and I like that a lot. Um, I thought she was okay. I Who mean, was young overrated. as well. Uh, Arya was not overrated. I thought True. she did a good job. Tyrion did a tremendous job. Probably the best yeah, actor in the show, bar none. Well, uh, um, the guy who played Varys was a more minor part, who, but I loved who, the Varys guy. Great season job. one. Who's the big name actor who died? Sean Bean. Michael Bean. Bean. Michael Bean. That's what I'm looking Is for. Is it Sean Bean? It's, it's Sean, Sean Bean. Bean. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Sean Bean. Uh, I thought he was as good as him. You can remember because it's spelled Scene Bean. It's Scene mm-hmm. Bean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little eye rhyme for it. Yeah. I, did I ever tell you guys? I don't know if I mentioned this last time that I hate to admit this, but I'm too particular about the books. I didn't watch the Game of Thrones show. I well, tried I mean, and I got weird. very offended, honestly, because I, I came to adore that book series mm-hmm. on par with very few that I've ever read. And right up from like episode two, I just felt like they weren't taking it seriously enough for the book. And I got just like, I was like, I, it just made it hard for me to get into. Does that make sense? I'm really? not trying to be, I'm yeah, surprised. I'm not trying to be preachy about it. like, I'm glad that everybody enjoys it. But for me personally, I'm really bad about. My mm-hmm. favorite books being made into movies like Ready Player One is one of my favorite books I've ever read. I made it like three quarters of the way through the movie and I just had to turn it off. It was just it's too different. And they too Hollywood. And I get that that is a certain mm-hmm. thing. But when they zoomed in on Amelia Clark's face and she didn't have purple eyes, I was already like they didn't really care too terribly much about the finer points of the okay. book. You know, I'm yeah. told I haven't read it, but Kyle's sure, it's an amazing. Expert. Harry Potter did a good job of making movies out of the books that they're pretty loyal and there aren't many. Oh. They cut out – all right, so huge – those books are big, like 800 mm-hmm. pages plus. I can't remember exactly, but there's big parts in some of the books early on where we just play Quidditch, you know, it's, yeah. it, it, and, and they're describing how – like a, it's basically describing how so- a soccer game is going. And the, Oh, and then Jimmy had the ball, and he threw it to Timmy, and Timmy ducked. Lots of that would go on for on and on and on. So once Chapters. they – later on, they, they, they cut most of that out, and – they were really loyal to the books, I thought. I thought they did a great job. I love the books. I've read through them twice now. I think once as a kid and then once in prison. And yep. uh, I read I them watched, when I was locked up. 
I've watched the movies a couple times too. And it, I agree uh, with you. I think they did a phenomenal job. As far as book to movie goes, I think Harry Potter is one of the best ones. They had to leave a few things out for the final movies, of course, but overall, good compromise. I, I cried at the end of the seventh Harry Potter movie <laughs> when, when uh, spoiler alert, when uh, when Dobby dies, when oh, Dobby, man, that was so when sad. Dobby jumps in front of the blade and gives his life, and they they get through the port key or whatever to some the beach, and Dobby's like. Is Master okay? I, did I take the knife good or whatever he said? Yep. It's just like super pitiful. And I, I hated that. Sad. There is a magic solution for everything <laughs> until until little low cast Dobby gets hurt <laughs> and suddenly Medicaid isn't available and they can't spare their wizarding you know skills on this little guy and so they're like, thank you so much, <laughs> letting him bleed out on a beach. I don't, really think they, I, I don't even think they bury him. I think they eat him. They so did like, bury him. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did they bury him. It's despicable. No, it's despicable. They eat him there on the beach. So (laughs) it's a a luau. It's a luau. They have him on a spit. Hot rocks. (laughs) Do I taste good for you, master? (laughs) (laughs) This boy. Did Dobby have powers? I I, I thought Dobby was really powerful. So uh, the, the, the deal is that the uh, the deal is that the, the 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 house elf magic doesn't have to obey the same rules as like wizard magic. It has some okay. workarounds about how he can do certain things. But yeah, he's got some little magic. But it does powers. have also limits to its power. Yeah, as well. you know, like who's in balance. charge of him? He can't use it on them, for example. But it's still it's a different set of rules. But you in carry the book, that time turner with you, and and Dobby's fine. All right, well maybe Good so. Hell. Chill out, but maybe if we get on the Eagles, we can get this knocked out in one book instead of three. Stop <laughs> picking true. apart a fucking wonderful, not trilogy, uh, what, what, I don't know, a septilogy? I like I it. I don't know. It just seems to me like seven. saga, like, like, probably. Like Tolkien got a lot more done in less books if you're going to look at it that way. I don't think so. Harry saved the day not once or twice or three times, but seven fucking times. In a, in a hundred years, which one do you think will be looked at as a wildly influential literature from Western civilization and which one will be a very popular children's show? I think they'll start saying that the orcs were fucking Jews and they're going to they're going to me too Tolkien and he'll be he'll be <laughs> blacklisted and burned. And meanwhile, my book will live on. <laughs> Wait, say, isn't the Harry ride. Potter book like the one that got in trouble for like making like little goblins running it. banks? Yeah, that's why I said it. it's intentionally that way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. They, yeah, they literally made the bank. They made the bankers fucking Jews. They they really did. They were like, oh, yeah, these are um, what do they call them? Um, um. Is it uh, trolls? So many jokes? Call fucking goblins? <laughs> the Goblin Bank. Goblins. Oh, they call them goblins, I think. Is yeah. it the Gringo Goblins? The Gringotts. Gringotts. So Gringotts is Gringotts. the banking. So Gringotts is I the only the team bank. Was silent. <laughs> Stick with me here. So Gringotts is the only bank in like the Harry Potter world. Like if you've got money, that's where it is. And if it's you, in Gringotts. <laughs> and when you go in there, you have to deal with the goblins. And they're these long, crooked noses, and they're very particular about like doing business with them and they you know they're it's the whole thing you got to go through them dude looking Show back me a cranky it goblin is- <laughs> that's yeah. uh that that's the head goblin mr morenstein he's dude, uh i, I, I he's watched a- you, Kyle, you remember it was within the last name. it was within the last year that i watched these movies for the first time like as a 30 year old man yeah. and when the banking scene came up and these nazi-esque caricatures come on screen i'm like it is <laughs> wild that people were rolling with this. Like, like, and like, like she was just sitting Nobody there noticed. writing it and she's like, hmm, a banking race. Whoa, what fantasy will I come up with? For the people that run the bank. Short, big nose, goblin. And, and, then, and then some editor read that and was like, fucking. Seal of approval. Aces, bro. Scholastic <laughs> seal of approval. Yeah, it actually gets worse. In the later books, uh, they have to make a deal with a goblin to go into the bank. Uh, spoilers again here to break into that bank. And uh, he's trying to screw them over. He's suspicious. He goes back on he's his word. To, yeah, he's, he he's double dealing. <laughs> yeah, he's a con he, artist. He turns the he turns the tables on him, and then and and they and he tries to. He's a trickster. Yeah, there's no redemption yeah. for the goblins in Harry no. Potter. It's a good point. I, do they deserve it's, redemption? They don't seem very helpful to the magic king world. They, they, right? you know, they're handling the gold. Yeah. They I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. Harry had that giant pile of gold in there for like his entire life, and every coin was there, right? When he went to check on it. So at least the goblins. True. didn't. That's only because the goblins at Gringotts can lend out ten times as much as he has in his little safe, right? 
using that as collateral. What are you, commie? <laughs> Our gold comrade. That is how the banking system works. Yes. <laughs> they just wanted to make more wizardry. <laughs> Wait, so do, do the dwarf, not dwar- do the goblins have powers the way the elves do? Or not? I, I don't remember. I don't, I don't think rem- so. I don't remember. Then it's really just a matter of self control on the wizarding world's part for not robbing them. I think their perk, if I'm not mistaken, which is revealed in that same thing where he betrays them, is that they're really good at smithing crazy weapons that are like not possible to. Be oh anymore. yeah, they had the goblin made. Oh yeah, that mm, was the goblin so, made so, metal. So, like a lot of the. That's um, part of why he betrayed them. A lot yeah. of the like really important items in that universe are goblin made, and I think there's a yeah. deal where like the goblins are never supposed to sell any of their fine wares to the wizard's world. They're supposed to mm-hmm. keep them within go- only within do goblin world. Yeah. Goblin, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and so any goblin ware that's out there in the possession of a wizard, goblins just consider that to be stolen property. Stolen. Because there's no reason for a goblin-made sword or a goblin-made crown to even exist not. as property of a non-goblin. Even mm-hmm. if they give you money for it, they consider it a rental. When you die or the human's lifespan ends, the item's supposed to come back. Yeah, oh, the goblins and, live forever. And, and Longer, at Well, least. they live a long fucking time, you know. Are there any immortal races in Harry Potter? Well, see, that's what, Vol- that's what Harry Potter is all about. Voldemort wants to live forever. That's what, what he's trying to do through magic. But he didn't, he lost. So, but, so there is no immortal, like, elf in Lord of the Rings. There was a... No, not an Not that I can elf. recall. No, there, there's some ways for people to live for really, really long periods of time, though. The Dementors, maybe, because they're just demons, so they're probably always around. They don't really get into the lifespan of the Dementors. Yeah, they didn't really talk about lifespans of a lot of the creatures that no, are. I don't want to talk dying. about this anymore. He, he, I think he's mocking me. No. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just taking world, a potential man. two minute conversation and grind into, into a 20 minute I don't, paste. I don't know why he's questioning me about the lore right now, but it can't be interest. <laughs> <laughs> but it can't be genuine interest. That's like when whatever Kyle it is, he starts doesn't asking me about if Kyle's ever like, so who's leading the NHL in scoring? I'm like, you bastard. I'm not telling you that because <laughs> there's a reason you want to know. Because <laughs> speaking not of which, for the Kyle, you need to pick whatever the next huge sporting event is that you actually care about, that you actually care about. That's important. And bet something significant on it because you are on the most ridiculous championship win rate of favorite teams ever. The Avalanche won the cup. The Braves won. You're on like five fight wins Bulldogs in a row. Too. Like Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Who's the We've next got three big national championship. championships over here at the Kyle House, and uh, and we're always looking for a fourth. So we're really hoping the Braves are going to repeat this year. But I don't know. The Dodgers took two out of three from them. Um, I don't know. Maybe basketball, but I really hate that stupid fucking sport. I hate. To well, then pick. don't do that. It's got to be one that you're leaning into. That's the magic. Wait, it, it did it with hockey. Yeah, but that, but from the beginning of the season, literally, Kyle had been saying, "Oh yeah, the because I and it was only because Kyle was asking me who the best team was, and I said the Abs are slated to be the best team this year." And Kyle goes, "I like good teams. I'm an Abs man now." And no, so, literally, from the beginning is, of the season, he's been an. He Abs doesn't guy. have to really give a shit about the sport. I, I don't mean to ruin this for you, Taylor, but he doesn't <laughs> like hockey. <laughs> okay, he doesn't have to care about the sport. It just has to be the pick he cares a little bit about. The, for more about being right than any reason of caring about the win itself. And so, what's the next one? Is it do I get to do fight? any research, or, or, or can I, or do I? Just I say go one? with your gut. You're on a good run. Like, is there any team or fighter coming up that you're really pulling for? All right, let's get let's take the Chiefs. Let's take the Chiefs to have a have a Super Bowl win. Um, and um, uh, I can't bet against the Braves, but I'm gonna let's let's go Dodgers to win the series. And um, Let's uh, let's pick Tiger to win a, a another uh, another championship this year. Well, let's do that. Is Tiger good anymore? He still hits the ball. Okay, still making millions. That's good enough. You know? Making contact. That's all that matters. <laughs> Just making contact. <laughs> Just making contact <laughs> hey, it's a tough sport. I've missed the ball before. <laughs> He's out there doing his damn. I've never seen Tiger miss the ball. No. That would, that would be humiliating. Yeah, I haven't seen him miss the ball. I bet it's happened, but do you know who John Daly is? He's my favorite golfer. The, the golfer time. who would just get like blackout drunk <laughs> in the middle of the course and still be like really fucking good at golf. There was a video of him, just an internet video of him fat as shit, long white beard 
in shorts and a t-shirt standing on one side of the highway on a hill and it's like just some random guy being like, check this out, John Daly driving over Highway 70 onto the field of Boston College or whatever. And it's just him driving over active traffic, like onto oh a field across the street. And uh, like there, it was a viral tweet and everyone's like, this rules. And like one guy's like, you committed a crime and it's on tape now, Mr. Daly. <laughs> and everyone's like, fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs> Don't you talk to Mr. Daly that way! Like this. <laughs> he can drive. Do you think he's actually going to hit a car, you fucking retard? No, he's an expert. He's John Daly. He's probably drunk right now. <laughs> yeah. John Daly is one of the coolest men who's ever lived, in my opinion. Some of his drinking slash athletic feats, <laughs> like 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 like, like <laughs> but, but drinking slash athletic, like, like, like the, that he performed at the highest level and won huge. And and set huge uh, uh, scores out there. Like like like, he has the shooting record at multiple country clubs while drunk as a fucking skunk. <laughs> Rock and right? roll. Like, like, like like that's his thing. Is like and, and like God knows how many millions he won gambling on the side. Drunk as fuck. Right. I mentioned yeah. this yeah. before. The the top darts players play while drinking beer because yeah. they practice while drinking beer. And that's that's how they play the game. John Daly has have any nerves. <laughs> like, like, if he grabs a club and the caddy tries to correct him, he just calls it a lark and hits it with that one instead. He doesn't give a shit. All right, his his Howard Stern interview is so good because Stern's asking him about all like like women and drugs and 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 if he if, how much is too much and he's like, well when I it, it, his, his he's got great stories. John Daly's amazing. Uh, I, I would I, that's one of the few I would rather meet John Daly than Tiger Woods hands down. Yeah. Yeah, he seems mm, like sounds a really way fun more guy. interesting. Yeah, you said Tiger Woods is he old? More chicks. Tiger Woods seems boring as fuck. Tiger is, is Woods, this dude, old John Daly. Playboy. Yeah, he's older. I don't know. I would guess on John Daly's sixty to seventy. He's an OG pro from back in the day. Then, I mean, he still hits. He still plays. I was just wondering because they said the video of him with like the big white beard. I was like, white beard? Has he been doing this like you know? Since the old days, for thirty years now, he's been pulling up on golf carts. Drunk he used shit. to he used to dress really ridiculous. Um, if you pull up some photos of him, you'll see him wearing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that Dude, man, that that's rules. not John Daly. He slipped in a picture of Santa. That's just <laughs> ripping a dart <laughs> in pajama pants. What am I gullible? Look, he's got he's got his big he's got his big chug and he's got his Marlboro light and and he's that, no, that's a Marlboro red. He's got the Dude, filter p- there. pajama oh, pants. Red. <laughs> just can't be oh my god <laughs> all right that's all i needed to know that sums it up you're right man he's a pimp. You know, i'm reading stuff about like what he would do during Probably like 18 hole competitions time. uh he would drink often between 25 and 35 beers over the course of 18 holes uh <laughs> In 2021, he on over the course of 18 holes, he smoked 21 cigarettes, ate six packs of peanut M and M's, and drank 20 diet cokes. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> what's he do? He's a legend, man. Yeah, 30, 30 light beers over the course. Oh, he says during his time at going to the PGA Tour, he would be up till about 7 a.m. drinking before the day of the competition, and then he can recall sobering up around the 13th hole. <laughs> oh my God. like that next day and he like said he start he start that's when he starts remembering the competition is in the final third of it <laughs> and, and he's like and score? he's like and how, he people's score? asses probably really good i didn't uh oh because that would be interesting if he if he like won the tournament or something and he it was it was a, the, the title of it was john daly like got blackout drunk you know and then shot a blistering back nine and so i assume it means, let me try and refind it again like, did he shoot like fucking 25? <laughs> I wonder where he's pissing if he's drinking that much beer. Just straight he's up walk up to the, the fans. Yeah, that I was about to say. In, the woods. in his pants. Just <laughs> biggest field imaginable. Just fuck. No, I, I like pants. people. I like people like that. And I, I think that they're going to be fewer and further between in the modern age of athletics. I think there's going to be fewer of those goofy guys who don't give a shit about nutrition and don't give a shit about maximizing everything out and min maxing everything. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if that kind of athlete's going to exist in 25 years. Cause it wasn't long ago that there's plenty of, I mean, there's still UFC fighters who are like, bro, that is not your prime. Come on. What are you doing? Like there's still UFC fighters who just get by on gifts and talent. Who's the crazy one? Perry, right? What's what's his full name? Mike Michael Perry? Perry? Yeah. He like barely trains. His girlfriend is his coach and he still wins fights sometimes. Oh, that guy. Isn't that guy who dropped the N bomb outside that club? 
<laughs> Quite possibly. There's a lot of. Does he have face tattoos? Fights. I don't remember. <laughs> but he's, uh, like, he's a he's like a, not a UFC champion, but the restaurant champion for sure. He he goes God on that damn, circuit right. too. God, that was kind of. I saw Cowboy lost his fight, and it was not a good fight. Um, he uh, he didn't look good. And it was sad. He retired. He put his gloves in his cowboy hat and uh, retired oh, there. Retired for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was it's pretty sad. L- losing a loss uh, and on a loss like that. It's a shame he couldn't have fought Joe. But um, Jim Miller was. I mean, I knew Jim Miller was gonna rough him up. Like I couldn't see it going any other way. I would have been surprised if Cowboy won, but. Cowboy's surprising sometimes. Yeah, I felt robbed by that UFC fight. That that's one of those where I regretted spending my money after it was. This over. is the Israel Adesanya one. Yeah, I'm not going to buy another Izzy card I, ever. I'm done. I, I I bought the Costa card as well and regretted that one. And I keep paying him money. and I'm done. Never. Did again. you see Chris Pratt's criticism? I saw his criticism of. Uh, uh, I saw a thing about him about religion, but not about the fighting. Mm. I want to hear the thing about the fighting. I want to get the, the the quote exactly right. Uh, it was, it was a very uneventful. Long. It was a very uneventful fight. Um, Adesanya wants to stand up and be like a snake charmer, um, counter punching, and and um, that's fine. It's it's made him the best there is, I guess, at that weight class. But it's just not a really entertaining fight. It's not the kind of fight I want to watch, and I'm going to stop paying for him. Motherfucker. He said, I'm going to say this as humbly as I can. I've never stepped into the octagon. I don't know the game. I'm just an actor, but I'm not a fan, man. I'm not a fan of coming out like that, all talk, and then just kind of putting on a little bit of pitter-pat performance. Like, come on, man. You've got to cash that big promise of being so badass. That was how he responded to Israel. So Perfect. people don't know, Israel went out there and he told everyone what a badass he was, how he was going to clown on this guy, that he's going to kick his ass, etc. And then he just kind of walked backwards and point-fighted for five rounds and won a decision. Yeah, he just kept his arm out while walking backwards. I, I don't know. I fell asleep. I didn't see the whole fight. I swear to God, that's true. <laughs> And, I didn't uh, watch it. I, I I went to the other room during the later rounds and like made a drink or something. The top Reddit comment regarding the fight was, "Thank God nobody was hurt." <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, and and Israel. And now the whole world is kind of criticizing Israel for really not. I, I didn't know that. It's good. Given his yeah, all. he's getting a lot of heat right now for you know point fighting, not trying to. He wasn't fighting. He was just trying to not look lose. better to the judges. I, I mean, guess, he, won. he won. He every respect but but it was a terrible to watch uh fight and the, your main thing is you're an entertainer uh that's mm-hmm. why i'm watching right now that's why i'm paying like 80 or 90 dollars or whatever it comes out to per fight so uh yeah i'm not gonna ever pay for another izzy fight uh again for reals if he's headlining the card i'll just find us other way to watch it i'll steal it because <laughs> the clip the next day is so i'll steal it yeah it. if you pay for espn plus did you really steal it I don't no, think so. Paying for it. I don't think so. I've paid as much as I could. <laughs> <laughs> not going to upset I'm, me. Steal it all you want, man. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Um, I hope Joe gets a, rebook, a, a fight rebooked because he's had these last two fall through. I don't know how long his in. knee will take to recover. I haven't talked to him since the oh, day. I was under the out. impression that he was like good to go as soon as it popped in, that it was like that sort of thing. I, he... he may have said that but this might be some breaking news i don't know if I was, he asked dana white if he could fight after the main card he's like i think i can do it i think i could get in there let's go fight after the main card he wanted to be like last last and one more <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's how fight. Badass he is. like he was able to barely stand and he's like Let, i got this but um I, I don't know like in terms of really being able to train and go through a training camp if he's there yet or not is and he's an active guy camp, like, like you would assume he just ended one He's got, he's got kids like there's, there's that point in like a lot of athletes careers where it's like, yeah, they might be able to keep going. Ryan Kessler in the NHL is a good example of that. He was a guy who played a rough game and they were like, he he can just keep playing. He plays through the pain. And now he's 38 years old worth tens, you know, probably $60 million, but he's got a million problems. He can't hardly leave his house because of all the GI issues from all the, the drugs they were giving him to make it so he couldn't feel his Given the choice, he might be worth play. $50 million and poop well. It, exactly. He might be Yikes. worth four, If he had quit eight years earlier, he might be worth $35 million, except he'd be able to go hiking. He'd be able to play baseball, soccer, basketball with his kids. He'd be able to jump and run. And so, like, is, is it worth it? Was that extra five years in the NHL now that he has is going to deal with a grueling remainder of his life physically? Like I, 
that just doesn't seem worth it in the trade off. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if Joe's in that same position where if, if he's one bad leg kick away from that knee being fucked or something. Everybody is. Here's my t- Joe has yeah. one trick knee, which he can live with. And uh, if he's lost 5% of his brain function, he's still way above average. He's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just not how brains work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you question my knowledge of brains. <laughs> Joe says it is. <laughs> I wouldn't disagree with him in person. <laughs> Definitely not. I wanted to ask Josh. I was over on your channel looking around. You, you made a video talking about, I didn't watch it intentionally because I wanted to to let you talk about it sure. so you were either roommates or buddies with a convicted serial killer while you were in oh yeah 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 how, uh, how did you meet him and then what was that uh friendship like or acquaintanceship however it was yeah i guess i should say acquaintanceship because me calling him a friend i didn't realize people were gonna get so pissed off about that but um i guess i should say acquaintance sure. uh, i mean i was in prison here as a disclaimer to everybody it's not like i just what am i supposed to go do go hang out with all the boy scouts and, and the people that went to too much church and got arrested you know mm-hmm. but uh yeah, his name is uh, Clarence Heatley. He was uh, known as the Black Hand of Death in New York. He was a terror um, for a long time. And he's a Talladega medium. And um, a lot of people are always like, if this dude, because this dude, man, he had like, he kidnapped Bobby Brown, for example. That's what I discussed in the video. There's a lot of evidence, you know, that the, he kidnapped Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston paid the ransom money. The dude was linked to like 13 murders. I had no idea that this dude was that big a shit when I first met him. Uh, he's just uh, an old orderly now, which is kind of ironic because in his criminal organization, he had a set called the janitors that disposed of the bodies. Uh, now he's a janitor for the rest of his life in prison. Well, that was um, his prerogative. Yeah, he came so, full circle, karmatic, if nothing else. You know, how, how, was, yeah. how, how did he murder people? Was he a strangler? Was he a, like a yeah. prostitute uh, kidnapper and murderer? Yeah, so the thing is, he wasn't a serial killer for fun, necessarily, like most other serial killers. He's a serial killer by definition of having a certain amount of victims, you know. But yeah, his typical thing was strangulation. Uh, uh, Many of the murders were were not committed directly by him. He was pinned individually with like 13, but like 50 have been linked to him and his crew. You know, they called him the Preacher Crew. Uh, There Mm -hmm. was some big movie about it called Paid in Full. And uh, I didn't watch that. I actually read a few conflicting articles and apparently got some of my information wrong in that video. And boy, let me tell you, I'm not hearing a lot about that. Um, (laughs) Yeah, that'll happen. But I had no idea that this dude was out on the streets, that he was a maniac terror, you know, that was like, they say if you overdosed on heroin in like the early or the late 80s, to early 90s in New York City or something like that, like it was his, you know, he had the whole police department bought off, he multi-million dollar. I had no clue that he was that big. I knew that he had been RICO'd. Um, I'm sure you guys probably know what RICO Act is, you know, the racket, racketeer influence, criminal, corrupt organization, you know, just big money oh. doing shady is shit. Is that like money. what they did for gangs where they could be like, they wanted to knock gangs down and so they were like, well, if we do the RICO thing, then any sort of low level nonsense, we can t- connect transitively up to these big guys, right? Climb up the ladder. Yep. The mob. Yeah. That's what exactly. It's a mob thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I had no idea. He's, I knew he was doing life plus 200 some odd years, but uh, the case was a lot crazier than I thought. And it was just interesting reading this because he's, he's had a stroke now, I think. You know, he's kind of hunched over. He's got a walker now. He's in his 60s, if I'm not early 60s now, mid 50s, late 50s when I met him. And, um, Man, it's funny because I just, I don't know. Everybody seems to be weirded out by the fact that this dude was so evil, but I, I shot the shit with him almost every day. I thought he was funny. He had a gnarly sense of humor. And this is the joke that I told I in the video <laughs> that is the number one thing that stands out to me about this guy, all right? I went to visitation one time. I don't even remember who I was seeing at this point. I don't know if I saw my mom or one of my friends came to see me, but he was there with his daughter, right? And his daughter was, she had dreadlocks and she was holding hands with another woman the whole time. Uh, and they were, you know, clearly very affectionate. We were walking back and uh, he called me Spider. He called me Spider-Man. You know, he's got a Boston accent. I'm not good at accents, but he's got a very <laughs> clear-cut New York accent, you know. He calls me Spider. It's short for Spider-Man because I wore my glasses when I was locked up. And we're walking <laughs> back, man. And I was like, hey, man, hey, it was good to see you in there, Clarence. You know, like, uh, what's your – he's taking another name now that I don't normally go into just in case people are trying to he, – he's a Muslim now. He goes by Muslim name. But um, mm-hmm. and, and I was like, yeah, that was your that was your daughter in there, huh? Or, or who'd you say that was your, your family? He said, oh, yeah, that's my daughter, man. She's uh, She says she's a lesbian now or something like that. That's a little girlfriend that she had in there. And I was like, oh, I mean – I didn't really know what to say to him. I was like, I mean, it probably took, you know, courage oh, to come in here. and hot. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? What, what do I say? Well, that's kind of where we're going with this because, uh, uh, I mean, she kind of looked a little bit like Tracy Chapman, you know? She looked like she drove a fast car. Oh, but, um, and I, I, So he was like, yeah, that's that's my daughter. She told me, and I was like, uh, that probably took a lot of courage, you know, to come in here and tell her dad in prison, you know, that she's out of the closet now. And he goes, oh, no, no, I don't care about all that. I was just telling her, I said, honey, listen, daddy's been locked up for a long time. If you're kissing women now, he's got to see it, all right? 
I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the cool. kind of interaction. This guy's cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, shit like that. Maybe I've got a bad sense of humor, but I laughed my ass off when he said that. And I know he was, I, I hope he was just kidding. Yeah. If he wasn't, it's even funnier, I guess. I but, you know, what I laughed. What do we know about these supposed victims? Yeah, uh, wait a minute. They, Who got hurt? Maybe, what were they up to that yeah. they were hanging around with this guy, you know, in, in, to begin Mostly with? drug dealers. Oh, Mostly drug see, dealers that owed him money. Okay, like, well, just fucking a, show a bunch Biden's of no America. good nicks. A bunch of no good nicks. He was cleaning the streets. Look at that, man. You know, not only are they dealing drugs, they don't pay Clean their the bills streets. on time. <laughs> <It's a> double <laughs> whammy. Hey, no, the crazy thing actually about that Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown situation: Bobby Brown didn't even owe this dude money. Bobby Brown owed somebody else money for cocaine. This dude caught wind of it and went to that drug dealer and says, "How much does Bobby owe you?" And he said, "25 G's." He said, "Here's 25 G's. That's my debt." And he said, "Okay." I'm good. And so then Clarence went after Bobby Brown as the owner of the debt now. Basically, just real life debt collection company. I've bought possession of this debt now. It's now in my hands. Uh, and went after him and kidnapped him. Did he Damn. ask for more than the 25? When way, he more. <laughs> <laughs> way more. Way more. Yeah, like 400 grand. Like 400 grand or half a million. Way Hell yeah, more. he did. Yeah, that wasn't, no, that wasn't no quick brief investment. This was, a, I'm about to extort yeah. the shit out of this guy. Looks like a Wolf of Wall Street over there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, yeah. He could have done that without buying the debt. He right, couldn't like have done it without that. the gun. <laughs> probably, but here was the thing, because I was thinking if he can't do that Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown's probably not going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, did you get the clearance? Did you pay my debt with uh, with Homeboy over on the other street? He's not going to ask questions mm -hmm. like that, but I think it would have been bad for Clarence's dealings with that drug dealer. He probably had no beef with that dealer, so he wasn't going to claim in this guy's debt. If he really wasn't connected to it, you know, that could cause issues there is what I assume. Mm -hmm. well, didn't I didn't ask him about this because I didn't know all this shit. Here's the thing. Here's what I'm trying to get out. He kidnapped Bobby Brown and got Whitney Houston to pay a $400,000 ransom <clears throat> to get him back. That has nothing to do with the debt that he owed. Like he pretends that they're linked. He pretends it made it just like it, it was justified the, the kidnapping. Yep. But really, he could have done that without buying the debt. You're right. Absolutely. I agree with you. I see what you're saying. You're saying it was basically just an excuse that he had. He saw an opportunity and just exactly. weaseled his way. It kind of was credentials with the criminals, if nothing else. You know, like, oh, no, it was legit. He owed money, bro. And I just took mm -hmm. care of it. Bobby was returned unscathed. I actually had the video. I have the footage in my video of allegedly, I obviously don't know that it's real, of her, him jumping out and get them giving each other a big hug and stuff. But I was wondering if that's actual footage of it. Why was nobody arrested? Who who let Bobby out of that car? Y'all ain't going to pull that car over or nothing, you know? Like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Y'all just going to let him get away? It was a crazy story, though, man. And I only knew him as the guy that, you know, he was always chill with me, funny sense of humor. And I actually took inspiration from him in a way. And as, as dark as that sounds, that man's doing life plus 255 years, man, or life plus 245. He's not getting out. No. And the thing is, he well, thinks he know. is. Unless he's really He thinks that. That's what he says, Kyle. Really he says he healthy. never knows. Yeah, unless he's super, super healthy. He's not. Um, he's, <laughs> he's doing what they all do after 25 <laughs> years, which is uh, get to the turn into the drink, you know what I mean, and uh, getting a little bit quieter. And they always kind of seem to lose humanity, do, lose a little bit people, of their color after uh, 25, 30 years. Do people ever go into jail or prison, like, with a book to try and show, like, all right, I'm, I'm in the – like, like if you walked in and were like, no, this is just Mein Kampf, a book I keep on me. It's just my favorite book. Oh, you're not, you're Nazis. Well, I, I'm certainly not someone you want to rape. Like, like that. Um, not that I in, know of. I so you're saying like, or if I go in with like a bunch of Malcolm X books and I'm like, I, I've got advanced vitiligo. <laughs> or <just something. laughs> right. You're saying like, does anybody come in there already waving a flag? Like the second they get in the door, which way they're going? Just you mean? trying to to, advanced to, to fit in to signal. Yeah. Um, yeah. not that I can think of. I mean, I know a guy, for example, that had, and, um, he wasn't exactly an acquaintance of mine, but I knew him and he had Nazi things tattooed on his back. You know, it was, uh, I think the SS that, raising up a flag. Commitment. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right. I think it was a, a corruption of the Washington where they were putting the American flag down, but it was a bunch of SS, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that being said now, listen, this is where it gets tricky. He got that on the street. So he gets into prison and they're like, yo, who gave you that? Where'd you get that? You're not supposed to have that. You get what I'm saying? That's his side of the story from when I was at a low security prison where nobody's going to challenge him on it. And I have no, you know, mm -hmm. I have no way to verify that he, you know, but his side of the story is that they challenged him on it. And he was like, man, I'm blah, 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 skinhead from the street, blah, 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 blah. And y'all can't mess with me. And that he rolled independent at the prison that he was at. But like you said, you know, he was already kind of clearly delineated. The, the thing with that is that even though all those tattoos look the same and somebody out there is going to listen to this and think I'm an idiot. Even though it's the same logos, they're all in different damn gangs. This might be AB, this might be AC, this might be AN. So I don't know. You know, you can't really just mm -hmm. come in and like, okay, you got a Swazi. Who you rolling with? Uh, 
who are you guys rolling with? You know, I know that they have their own little things to differentiate, but so you'd look like a poser. You, you go in there with Mein Kampf, fresh from the bookstore, thinking that it's going to protect you. Nice crisp pages, not even all wrinkled up even yet. A, they're like, "What's <laughs> yeah, your favorite yeah. part?" And you're just like, "Ah, oh, just the whole thing." The thing <laughs> with the Mein Kampf. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> I like right? I know that reference. There's too many good parts to pick. <laughs> <laughs> that, that part they translated into English. Oh man, it was just beautiful. You know? Hey, why is that in a Barnes and Noble bag? Oh. <laughs> a receipt for this morning. You're a poser. <laughs> I just I, I destroyed my other copy through overreading. <laughs> do, do actual neo Nazis really read Mein Kampf? Though uh, it's Not that literally I know the of. it is the only Nazi book I could think of. Oh. Can you think of another one? <laughs> David Duke no. has a has has a book. I'm sure. Is he a Nazi? Close enough. KKK. I mean, did he write a book? I'm sure he did. He, I just well, guess he did. I, well, it, it just, I mean, why stuff. wouldn't he? He was <laughs> a really influential books. racist, you know, for a long time. <laughs> Dude, he has uh, his master's in racism. <laughs> yeah, yeah. actually, he has a book. He has a couple books. My Awakening, well, A Path to Racial Understanding, well, uh, The Secret Behind Communism, and um, Jewish Supremacism, Supremacism. My awakening of the on the Jewish question. The truth yeah. about the goblins of Green. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> David Duke has multiple. <laughs> <laughs> Understanding uh, Green so Goblins. Green Goblins. Uh, new, book gold, from, question mark. Uh, new book from David Duke. Me and my friend uh, JK. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> like him standing Photoshop. Me and Wormwood. This guy looks fucking weird. If you pull up a photo of David Duke, he's got like either he's been Botoxed out of his mind or he has the most like uncanny valley face of anyone ever i'm almost like, there's no wrinkles that, i'm almost That's positive that fuck. he used to go on um like talk shows all the time like like jerry springer and uh geraldo uh i know i i think that That's howard stern i think howard stern used Is to it? have you david sure? duke on it, um for like game shows and stuff he's a politician if, if that That's is him, him he looks so different from his wikipedia page he looks like a ghoul in his Wikipedia page. Oh, did you guys see the thing about the Georgia Guidestones? Yes. Yeah, and I don't understand no, what happened. What right, it firstly, is, really. Firstly, let me tell you what the Georgia Guidestones are. Um, in Elberton, Georgia, um, which is like 40 minutes from where I grew up, um, we used to go to Elberton all the time. It's the granite capital of the world. That's their little claim to fame. Ooh, and uh, probably what those stones are made out of. It's exactly what the fucking stones are made out of. <laughs> They've been there since the 80s, and uh, basically it's this uh, redneck Stonehenge down in Elberton, and uh, on it written in, I think, English and Russian. Which, Swahili's and, one. And Swahili is a weird pick, but also Chinese, and um, a, a few of the, the, the bigger languages are, are like these... 10 uh, sort of tenements, if you will, for how to rebuild the world after an apocalypse. And it's sort of built there to last through an apocalypse and hopefully like the remnants of humanity maybe read it in one of the languages that they still use. And... So retarded. <laughs> okay, well, some guy thought it was a good idea and and under a pseudonym, he had it uh, created and no one ever knew who, who, who built it. And there's this crazy lady politician in Georgia who claims that it has something to do with QAnon uh, I think it's specifically the part about the world should have 500 million population so that humanity can live in equilibrium with our planet. She claimed QAnon told her this, I think. Yeah. She's on the that's, side of okay, QAnon. That's She's not battling QAnon. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the 500 million thing is the only thing I've seen about the guide stones, where it was like, well, keep keep humanity under half a that's billion. That's pretty much what I remember. But I don't know anything else. So then the other night, someone... Um, showed up and i've got the security footage here uh zach i don't know if you can show that oh i haven't um, seen that. sure let's see oh my god i can read what that says i just what? i just saw the photo somebody of somebody afterwards. blew up part of the georgia guidestones like 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 fighting the good fight i suppose it was just a cool look i've been there before it's a cool wow. little roadside attraction like you get out you look at it, you're like wow that really is big yeah That's she's crazy. a crazy there's a kooky republican who thinks that she's getting messages from QAnon that says that these this group of stones is a problem and she went up there talked about it in a debate and in her campaign and somebody probably not her exactly but someone inspired by her most likely broke them lame yeah did yeah. you say do you say probably not her exactly yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't think she knows probably demo. though I don't know. see her jogging out of the woods <laughs> in a pantsuit no dude i'm i'm fine with this and okay. here's why. That is one of the ugliest, least impressive monuments 
I've ever seen. You got to see life. it in the daytime, Zach. Give us a daytime image. Of, show us how em, show us how embarrassing exactly. and small and little Zach, and stupid it is. I'm feeling targeted with these insults. Do you know First why Stonehenge all, is impressive? <laughs> it's not because of the innate aesthetic. It's because it's tens of thousands Josh of years old. Joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's, this yes, isn't <laughs> impressive. It doesn't look good. They did this in the 80s. Well, is it's it true that it, no, this is really hitting home? <laughs> they were they, they were doing cocaine. They were like doing. They, they had like the beginnings of the internet, and this is what they came up with. This looks like dog shit. If they're gonna <laughs> rebuild it, take the whole thing down, make it look better, make it look cooler, maybe something a little metallic. Make you a digital. A person you know, everyone's a critic. I don't see your monuments. I don't How see about your a statue. How about a statue? Any anything is. Do you tell me that doesn't look incomplete and, and shit? That thing's huge. I think it looks all right. It's terrible. I, it's I, terrible. I bet it's eighteen I feet tall. I cannot believe you guys are defending an ugly statue like that. Oh wow, that's the Hideous. aftermath today. Hmm. Look, like, it didn't on. even make it uglier. It kind of looks that's, better. That's after they blew it up. <laughs> yes, it yeah, clearly. Oh, is this afterward? You can't tell because it's such an <laughs> eyesore. <either way. laughs> you were like, it's a little smaller. It looks better. Oh shit! Never mind. It got destroyed. And then, but don't worry. Still They've got a carving there, so you can see when the solstice is. The genius that made this. What are the edible plants in my region? No, nope, bitch. Here's solstice info. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you need the big dipper, I got you, fam. Well, I, no, I that mean, sucks. I, make it, make it, make it. Maybe glass, metallic. Make nobody it a comes thing. in here. Here, picking on the St. Louis Arch for no fucking reason. That's all I'm saying. You don't. Yeah, have just because to... it looks better than anything in in your whole city. Like you can't pick on it. What do you have? Well, ugly buildings. I, I mean, I don't know. We. What's the name of that really cool Atlanta architecture? We got six flags. What's the name? Hey, <laughs> ah, <laughs> 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 the Viper. <laughs> <laughs> Masterpiece of human architecture. Clearly, you've flags. never seen the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> we literally have a Batman at the six, six Flags St. Louis. <laughs> They're identical. They're identical. I it's the, it. They're all every Six Flags. What a disappointing road trip that would be. We're gonna all go to them. every Six Flags in America. <laughs> and it's the same thing. We're on the Batman again. Well, this time the, the Superman thing. is called the Flash, so I guess it's kind <laughs> of. So I don't think it's exactly the same thing. We've got Goliath here. I don't know if anybody else has Goliath. Is that the one that falls, or the one that shoots you up and then backwards? Neither. It's just a gigantic coaster. You go really high, and 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 the way you're seated is kind of traditional, but you're also more open than normal. It's uh, it's a really good one. Um, and I like acrophobia. That's the one that just drops you straight down. It's that thing that fat kid died last summer on. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah. Those, those are amusement rides. Does what do you like that value? Now? What do you like? Does he have less value because he's fat? I mean, more value when he hits the ground. If we're doing victims, math. And yeah. In terms like, of oh, mass and inertia, sad, that's no big deal. Yeah. No, I mean, I think, yeah. that, I think that anyone who's fat enough to die on amusement park ride deserves what they got. I, I'll ne- I, I retell the story <laughs> over and over about how sorry I felt. Use, like, like, I don't make fun of fat people in real life. Just here, because because there was this couple in front of us getting on this goddamn <laughs> roller coaster. I'm serious. It's it's sad. This bitch tried to get on, and her, her boyfriend fit just fine. It was the kind of... It was Superman the Ride. If you can... Sh- Zach, can you show us the seating for Superman the Ride? Relay down. It, you start on, like, a, a bicycle seat, mm-hmm. and then you pull the, the, the clamshell down over yourself. And this poor girl... It would not close. And uh, an attendant came over and started like oh. really giving it the business, trying to make it close on her. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. He was in the front because because I remember I had the <laughs> I got the flash pass, so I'm like mm-hmm. right behind her. And we're 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 the couple on the left, and they're the couple on the left. And there came a time when the attendant was like, I just don't think you're gonna fit, ma'am. And they had to get off, disembark, and the 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 boyfriend or whatever was a gentleman about it he i would have stayed and rode the ride i waited in line <laughs> i'll meet you at the exit babe. yeah, I, yeah. I, I'll, I'll take a picture him. i'm gonna take the quick i'm gonna take the fun way <laughs> <laughs> and uh and no they both got off and and, and walked away and it was real sad because even with a flash pass it's that like is a 20 sad. minute wait you know what that boyfriend That's needed sad. a smaller girlfriend you yeah. got slim right. fast or, or a bigger roller coaster. Yeah. Mm, that's the issue. That's Battle bigotry. Like <laughs> bigotry. <Not literally. laughs> they should bigotry. fucking tape her to the underside or <laughs> let her enjoy the, the ride. No, I, the we just let her sit sideways in two seats. I, I've seen someone get kicked <laughs> off a roller coaster exactly once also. It was at Six Flags when I was a kid, and it was a really big fat man 
who and it was at the Batman. The Batman is the exact same sitting situation that the one that was just linked, except there's no uh, foot guards. It's just your feet are dangling. And he was there and this guy trying in futility to get it to close, you know, and then trying to just do the, the strap instead of doing the click, just strapping it in. And he couldn't do that. And like, I, I must have been like 10 or 11. And I remember like feeling such intense emotion seeing that of like sadness and like <laughs> empathy of like, oh my God, that poor guy, like he's probably thinking about everyone looking at him and like how humiliating that must be, this poor person. It like ruined part of my day. I remember that because I was like so sad all day. About I, I get, do you guys get like, like obviously you're empathetic when, when people are feeling bad all the time, but like are there certain things for you mm. that like a trigger of empathy? Like when I see someone with like a lazy eye, I'm like, Dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I have so much. I have, people. yeah, a, a handicap, obviously. <laughs> but I was thinking of a lighter one, like a lazy eye. I'm a like, that's eye. so sad. That's like, like people are probably bullying you and be. Kyle, you're muted. Uh, people are probably bullying you and being mean to you. And there's nothing you can do about it. That 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 breaks my heart for them. You know what? I'm I'm really sensitive to people who have speech impediments that aren't Elon Musk. Very. Tr- he has a speech impediment. <laughs> He's got I something thought- going on. He can't fucking talk. He's fucking ill. What what is illiterate for talking? That's what he is. I thought he was was South African and autistic. Yeah, he is. He has Asperger's, and 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 Woody likes to mock his disability for some reason. Uh, Asperger's is not making you talk like that. They they describe. I read these articles. I looked into it. I was like, what what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And they're like, he thinks so fast, and he's so smart that his mouth can't say all the words that are zooming through his giant brain. And I'm like. He's not pinky. He's not the it brain. <laughs> you fuck this guy. <laughs> no, I think Einstein stuttered. Anytime you have actual expertise in the thing he's talking about, like in my case, it's software development, he's full of fucking shit. And I'm pretty sure if I was an expert in batteries, he'd be full of shit there. And I was an expert in like radar or whatever, he'd be <laughs> full of shit there too. All he does is tell lies and get people to buy that fucking car and he invented 12 chip. years ago and has barely improved upon since then. It, it, it like like Matt was on the show like Matt Farrow last week saying it's the same car he just repackages it. All, all he does yeah. is tell lies. You just you hate that guy. <laughs> He's been fucking you. selling lane center. All he does is tell lies. Not cooking. He hold you. on. He's been selling lane centering as a ten thousand dollar upgrade called autopilot since I was a young <laughs> man. What kind of horse shit is that? Lane centering, uh, glorified lane centering. You were a young man, you know, <laughs> a relatively young man, <laughs> relatively young, young man. Just, but but <laughs> he's just he's full of shit. He doesn't deliver what he's if the only Ford reason America is in tried, space right now. If he's Ford the only said reason. next year we're coming out with this car, and then six years later hadn't. If Ford said, give me $10,000 now, and I'll give you cruise control someday, buy my car. It'll be an auto driving taxi that makes you money while you're at work. That shit's not happening. But he told people that to sell cars. He's a yeah. lying sack of shit. He's a marketer. He's big. Look, look, all an, I know, he's all I know he dreams big. Yeah. He's the reason that America's in space right now. He's the reason those Russians or those Ukrainians have any internet. And uh, and he's he's let he's led an electric car revolution well, that's gotten the big boys involved to try to compete with him. And it's, it's going to lead argument. to tons of great electric vehicles from multiple manufacturers. But going yeah, forward, he, I'm going to ask that your points not be so good. Yeah, um, those but, are but, all but, pretty salient. <laughs> yeah, not good. <laughs> oh, he, also, he also made PayPal, which really rocks. Wow, like, <laughs> wow <laughs> PayPal. But some service that helps billions. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never used that one before. Oh, geez, PayPal. Yeah, I don't use that um, for primary source of income. <laughs> and, yeah. and, you know, it seems like he gets a lot of pussy, too, because he's got a lot of kids. Apparently nine but, now. Yeah, that, 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 that guy, that hey, guy is so funny. I bet he's paying he for it. For it. Yeah, he, you know, he, like, that guy, dude, all his I would, have you- <laughs> I would sire his child if I could. And I, would and I can become a girl just by declaring so. And, and then to get that child support, oh, I'm down for it. That's what everybody else did, apparently. Shit. <laughs> you, you're right about like when he says stuff about people's experts. I mean, I think this applies to every like Steve Jobsy guy, people who are like, like to, in a marketing sense, be the visionary, but in reality, they're going into the engineers and being like, figure this out. I'm going to go and pretend that I understand how the circuits work because you're all too aut- even more autistic than me. <laughs> like, I think that's what it really is, is he's just, 
he's just an autistic guy who is trying to do like a Steve Jobs impression sometimes. Yeah, and he's, he's not is, very he good at it. He must have something going Larvin, on. Larvin, because he's on like his second or third good company. It depends on if you count how many like companies he's doing right now with SpaceX and Tesla and I guess the solar roof thing's pretty it's much. A, it's a good, ra- like, it in fairness to him, kind of space it's a good it's ratio. kind of its own separate thing, the, the internet satellites. Those I don't cool. know. Is that separate from SpaceX? But let, let's make it separate. So he's got the internet thing, SpaceX, Tesla, and then PayPal, which he's not doing currently, but let's give him credit for the success that it was. Sure. And uh, uh, so he's pretty good at making companies awesome, I suppose. Smart Mark Swiss Chat was recently talking about how, and I, I, it had never even come to my attention. He said something recently that got attention again. I don't remember what it was, but it was another similar to like what he was just talking about declaration of this vast, amazing technology that's going to come out in no time. Mm-hmm. And of course, my immediate reaction when I read it was like, yo, that's so hype. And then my Twitch chat was talking about it. And they were like, dude, think about how many times he said we're going to have this by this date, you know. And so I think that I love the way that he thinks. I definitely see him as a visionary, you know, that wants this shit to happen. But I think it's mostly marketing. You know what I mean? I, I love the direction he's going. I love what he's trying to work towards. But I got to stop taking the shit that he says. I got to start taking it with a grain of salt, you know. Yeah. Neuralink yeah, I mean, and all kinds of self-driving cars. And it's kind of it overpromised, you know. Like, like what he said is like him talking about something you – like. I just need a 30 second clip of him talking about hockey. That's all I need. <laughs> because if he if he was like and another thing we we need uh fighting in hockey is unacceptable. It's violent and barbaric. I'd be like shut down Tesla, close everything. <laughs> I will never give this guy a dollar. He's a fool. Boycott. Ending fighting in hockey an absolute fool. Who could think that? And then I'd be on board. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he's going to talk <laughs> about hockey. It's not a big sport in South Africa. Yeah, yeah he's going to middle anything. ground. Yeah, talk about my, Lord of the Rings. The, uh, the thing that's yeah. always the thing <laughs> that got me. Ridden the Eagles. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> right straight to the end. I watched that documentary uh, about him and the SpaceX thing, and uh, or, or maybe so, or maybe it was somewhere else where I saw him being interviewed, and the guy played him some footage of maybe Buzz Aldrin or fucking Neil Armstrong, basically saying that someone like Elon Musk could never like have a space company and their rockets wouldn't work and that that was the purview of nation governments and that that little individuals didn't have any 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 anywhere to go and he almost started crying and i, I felt that. really he started crying when he when, it, when they played that for him and uh, i've kind of been on his team ever since because that was like one of his heroes saying something kind of crushing about what he was trying to do and it really it made him cry i don't know i like that even if it's not you know Buzz Aldrin, in my case, I know what you mean. Like, if I was in a band or something and, you know, Paul McCartney was like, Josh Blalt sucks and his music's never going to be popular, I'd sure. probably be pretty devastated. <laughs> yeah, if someone you respected like that said said something like that. Remember when Buzz Aldrin punched that guy out? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that <laughs> was sick. I watched, that, I watched a documentary yeah. with that guy recently. That guy's so aggravating. Oh, did you land on the moon? Oh, I, I know you didn't land on the moon. I can prove it. He's, You're and a just, coward. You're a liar yeah. and a coward. <laughs> and Buzz punched. Aldrin popped him one. <laughs> Deserved, deserved, <laughs> in my That's opinion. So good. That dude's yeah. crazy. I saw a documentary with him. He has like dedicated his entire life to following around the astronauts that he says claimed they went to the moon. That dude is like crazy, bro. Wow. Really? That was like that. That was multiple times that he had like come sideways at that astronaut like that. Was it? It was Buzz Aldrin. So you said, I right? thought Buzz Aldrin popped him the first time he ever met him, but I guess mm-hmm. not. Now he taken all he could take. Now I, it could be because he knew who he was. I very well could be misinterpreting it. I was under the impression they had come across each other, but he didn't know who he was. That doesn't necessarily mean that he harassed him like that. You're right. Yeah, what a maniac. Yeah, he was. He said, "I've got documentation to prove it and all this." And I have to admit, up until I uh, met Windigoon, I really wasn't all that into conspiracies in general. When people start talking about conspiracies, I just kind of tune it out. It's you know not very interesting to me. But man, I did see some stuff that made the the moon landing look really sketchy to me. And I was questioning myself, like, I can't question this. That's crazy people talk because they were like showing about how the foot sinks in three inches, but the space shuttle didn't sink in. And it had me convinced for a minute. And then I just read all the explanations. And I saw like either Japan or India. I don't remember which. Uh, maybe even South Korea. Some, some foreign space agency flew around the moon the other day and like took pictures of the of the landing. Yeah. Flight. You know, it, it would have been crazy. a globally coordinated effort here to try and pretend we went to the moon. Yeah, we and I saw this documentary and it was so good. And at the end of it, I was like, this is how they get people like this, because I'm going to go look up the answers to these questions instead of insisting there is no answer to them, you know. And they were talking about why a foot seemed like it sunk in, but it didn't look like the shuttle did, et cetera, et cetera. And that we landed well, I, there. And I was like, that solves I, it. I think we'll go back to the moon and at some point soon ish. I, I think with mm-hmm. our lifetime, we'll go to the moon. 
Um, they, they kept my whole lifetime. We've been talking about Mars and I don't think it's going to happen in our lifetime. I don't Probably think they're going to do it. I Have think they'll the, any closer. Are we any closer? Oh, we could do it right now. If we want to Elon Musk, it's just, it's just kind of spending the money. Like, like, and it would be a one-way trip at this point. Right. Is what, if I understand correctly. No. Well, I read an I, article about that. Uh, okay. when I was in County I mean, jail, could make 10 it, years ago, they could make it a one-way trip and it, it would be, if they wanted to, it'd be a lot easier. I don't right? think they're going to get many volunteers until they lie and say it's a two-way trip. True. Well, we're not looking for volunteers to colonize. We're talking about like the first man to st- or woman to step. You know, you know, it would actually planet. be oh, like, we're a good sending, way like three it. or four guys. Like we could, you know how Australia was just like Britain sending rapists and murderers and thieves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Let them storm the beach, man. Like f- ship a bunch of criminals out there to go first. See, yeah. see you're under the impression that, that that there aren't like highly trained experts chomping at the bit to get. No, they're there too, the- but we're not going to let highly trained experts take needless risks on Mars. <laughs> die. It's going if, if there's something where it's like, how deep is this pit? Well, <laughs> you know the you kind of questions the you need answers. Right, like, like, you, take from the you just push them in and tell them to count out loud, and you wait until they yeah. stop. How how hot uh, is Mars two, fire? Three. We don't know. How, how hot, hot is Mars, Mars fire? fire? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. There's no Mars fire. There's uh, there's no Mars fire. They, they they is there not? You no. couldn't light a fire on Mars. No. Why not? There's not enough. You, you need like a, an, an oxygen tank. Oxygen. There's barely an atmosphere at all, much less oxygen. Okay, well, you need like a a, a Bunsen burner or something, and see what uh, would happen, right? Because then that would be an external fuel. It could start the fire. I would assume so, unless yeah, it uses a lot of oxygen. Exactly. Have you seen like the way? I think I, I think it was a NASA thing that. Thank God we know this for the billions of dollars. If you light a match in space, the flame just stays around it in Spherical. a circle. And yep. think, guys, think of the applications. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into them. It would take all episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, so much of space travel seems to be like, we need this for technology. It's like, what are you coming up with? Uh, dry water? And it's <laughs> water that you can get in. They've and been leading dry. on Velcro for 30 years now. 50 years. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Velcro and... and why, are we, yeah. why have we gone from hating on Elon Musk to the entire space agency? What has space ever done for me? Yeah. At so many Produce things. Produce the planet? Five Hopefully. Do you, do you know does. what GPS is? No. The, no, no, the, 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 no. Josh, the construction of this planet saved us from the harshness of space. In space, though. It is still the, it is still the cradle for Earth. Look. Yeah. Mm. I live in space personally. I've spent, mo- <laughs> I've spent most of my life in space. I'm a big fan of space personally. No, you know? no I'm a terrestrial boy through and through. <laughs> <laughs> we say fuck satellites and all that. I didn't even think about GPS yeah. personally. I was like, you know, we really haven't done all that much in space, but you know, yeah, GPS is pretty nice. G- okay. They satellite TV. Huge, huge W GPS. Clocks. <laughs> yes. No one's taken GPS <laughs> away from them. Not <laughs> literally GPS. With me. I couldn't thing. find my house but, without GPS. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I remember Damn. Garmin. Do you remember Garmin being a thing you could put in your car, like yeah. mm-hmm. in two thousand two, two thousand three? Was that the little GPS? Thing? It was He's the like little this? GPS with yeah. that like had a bag of sand it sat on, and like yes. a, a non, and like it sat on the top of your uh, your dash, and that that revolutionized. That changed the game for me because I was no longer worried about getting lost all the time. That's been around for twenty years. What yep. what have you done for me lately? Is what I would say to NASA. We made faster GPS. And it's on your phone now. That's about it. Well, at least yeah. accessible instantly on your phone. I think that might be about the leap and bound here. Yeah, but that's that's double counting the, GPS. The, the fact that I have no answers True. for you says says nothing about the fucking space engine. I think it says everything. <laughs> I think I think everyone benefits. listening can draw their conclusions in time. If a layperson can explain <laughs> the benefits of space travel, damn it. Oh, what I are think, we doing? Um, spy I pictures. Think, I think, uh, yeah, but but we don't get any benefit yeah, from that. Spy, I guess Google spy. Earth is pretty sick, but we get to play that yeah. stupid game. Um, oh, yeah, GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. GeoGuessr that's two. W. <laughs> that, that is two, but GeoGuessr is just a form of GPS. So it's really trying to triple count the same GPS. Hey, I don't thing. think it requires like satellites at all, though. It's just that truck driving around taking pictures, right? What is GeoGuessr one might thing? Be, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, but how would they know where to go? But the satellite is. You probably just drive. By that logic, all things are GPS. So yeah. just don't do that. Whoa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No, I don't like it. I don't think they've done anything re- useful in the last 20 years. GPS, like all the examples of GPS triple counting. What have they done? Have you they, del- the have they made a more a, a tastier chicken? Uh, like anything like that? Y'all know a real physicist uh, actually, will be shutting us down. Tractors oh. are self-drive now. <laughs> I'm going to tr- quadruple count GPS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it use to self-drive? Oh, it's not telling. I don't know. <laughs> Always has been. Oh, they, they've done so much more than GPS. Here's five things immediately related. Global positioning. <laughs> like, <laughs> they keep making it better. Yeah. Um, I think the, the anyway. future of that, like the, the next big leap is being able to mine an asteroid and maybe bring it close enough that you have this. You could go fetch an asteroid and bring it into like our orbit or something and just be up there mining it at close orbit at your leisure and sending whatever the raw materials back you think to that Earth? would like destroy like earth's economy like imagine that we do that and we pull it off and it's an, a meteorite or asteroid with literally the most as, as much metal. as much gold as is on earth or something yeah, that that's an interesting mm. thought because I, I've I've heard them like talk about asteroids that would be like that. They would be so rich in in rare earth materials, yeah, like things it, that here are very rare, but wouldn't be perhaps in an asteroid. Trillion dollar asteroid, right? It'd probably no, be, that, it'd become like the De Beers Corporation, where like whatever company owned the gold infinite supply would just release it in such a slow measured supply that they could artificially inflate the price. And that's kind of the whole point of the expanse right that the you know you've got those guys out there mining the asteroid belt and sending the raw materials back to earth and mars the inner planets um, mm-hmm. but they've just built cities on the bigger asteroids and they're they're flying around mining them all the time no i think that's like the next if, if humanity lives for another 100 or 200 years i think that that's our next big thing is mining asteroids it has to be probably that like before that. colonization i would think yeah It'll drive. Would like, it would uh, drive colonization. It would be yeah, like a gold it rush. It would be like a gold rush for uh, space. The same yeah. way, the same way the gold rush uh, drove so many people from the east and the west to California. Imagine this: this seems- zero calorie food. <gasps> what the fuck are you talking about? Like the applications of space travel. <laughs> if they came up with zero calorie food, like a pill you, you could, take you and it has all the nutrients. And they make zero want. calorie food. It just sucks. Well, I'm the zero calorie. Have you heard of food. celery? <laughs> yeah, not celery. <laughs> Like steak, <laughs> zero calorie steak, zero calorie shrimp, zero calorie surf and turf. There's Crap. more than just steak and shrimp, but that's what I'm thinking about. Keep naming right now. foods. So what's the purpose uh, of zero uh, steak, calorie shrimp? <laughs> what's the purpose of it? Like, so you don't have to. I think you burn just want you to have a big meal. It's so you can overindulge and and not feel bad about it. I thought that was oh, so like literally not. I thought this was like you were saying for us to get deep into How space, about we're gonna this have thing? to make the zero right. calorie. But now no, this is just for shit no, this, gigs, is, huh? this is just about a like. If they could do that, think of the marketing potential. Who would have to be sold got on one zero better. calorie food? No one. Everyone would Not be if it eating it. it good. So you know how you ever see one of those cows that has the port in its side so that you can see its digestive system? Yeah. No, no. I've it, seen clear sides on motorcycles, so you can see I've how heard they of work. That, they like do this that. to cows too. So <laughs> really, they they, they, they cut a hole like a vinyl window on a cow. <laughs> Almost. They, 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 they cut a hole in the side. Show us a picture, Zach. Look up um cow with port inside that'll do it that'll uh, do it cow but, skylight but they have this <laughs> they got this hole in the side with like a plug so they can like pop the plug out and reach in and like be like this is how the cow stomach works you see i think that what oh you God. want this is true is, zach's about to show us uh what you want is one of these taylor and you oh want one of these God. ports Are you where your belly button me? is and mm-hmm. and any every time you have a meal you just take your shot back and you stick it in the port and you suck the meal back out of your stomach, and then you go right back to, to dinner. Okay, See, this is and, this is, and, and I know what you're steps. thinking. I know what you're thinking. I don't want a port in my belly button, but where they're going to come in Whatever. eight different styles. I've got an eight <laughs> ball. Okay, mine 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 looks like an eight ball, and, and it's styled, and um, and every it, this is called sixpackforyou.com. I I, I install <laughs> them, um, and um, can I have like a, a skull and. Can I have a skull and crossbones? On ah, that? option yeah. three, yes. <laughs> I'll take oh, a heart cool. made out of a domino. I thought this I idea like was stupid until I imagined my belly button replaced with one of those ship's wheels with all the prongs out the side. <laughs> oh, <are> we... <laughs> <laughs> now we're <laughs> <kicking. laughs> uh, now yeah. then. And you're going to feel stupid Straight until Popeye. you're 10,000 <laughs> calories into a feast and it's all just being fed into a bucket you're, that you then you go can donate. You eat until your teeth right hurt. Off. What the fuck is with That's these cows? Crazy. That one's leaking out of port. Yeah, it's not greasy. It's because they put diesel in it <laughs> <laughs> that's a diesel powered cow that looks miserable that's oh not miserable God. it's got hay 
I'm, yeah, I'm right. Steve-O, yeah. and this is put sugar in your cow's gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> this cow's totally not going to work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, even Farmer so, Johnny so, come out. <laughs> so, so the purpose of this, um, in my experience, has been for an educational type thing so that you can show the, the multi- chambered heart um stomach of a cow and how it ruminates and digests and everything it was part of school we, we looked at a cow and the guy reached inside of it and got some goo out and showed us the the goo and and it doesn't and it, hurt the cow at all oh no this, we all took turns really fucking it. this really Word. does look no evil. no nothing like that <laughs> that looks evil to you to be uncomfortable like yeah. the cows love it they, they love it when you <laughs> 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 they like it when you, you scratch them behind the port. <laughs> <laughs> they like it when you open it up and give their a little intestine massage. Oh, Take the inside man. of the udder; it makes their leg kick. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah, gals. it's a little sad, I guess. Um, I, I think that if aliens came down and diff didn't di differentiate between intelligences, they were like, "Oh, the humans—they're like this tiny amount smarter than the cows." But they keep the cows in that pen, steal their babies, and put ports in their stomach. We'd look like the, some real villains. See, but yeah, like, I don't buy that thing. We're like, no. what? What race would be so beyond our intelligence that that intelligence and analytic ability would prevent them from discerning between two wildly different populations, i.e., us and cattle? Maybe like if they, if they were that smart, they would not go. Mm, they are all similar in our eyes. They would be like. Well, this is clearly the dominant species on Earth, much smarter than the rest. Pretty I, dumb by our standards, but look how they uh, well, subjugate the lower creatures. I think it's right there. Thing. Do you differentiate between insects? Are you like ants? I was about to... so much smarter than grasshoppers. And if roaches. if grasshoppers had societies that had buildings and structures and they organized you see a termite mound? ants build houses. Literally, ants do extent. that. Like ant, ants must think chambers. themselves the humans of the insect. They have world. a queen. Like, look at this. There, yeah, we have a queen. We have a social is, structure. We have uh, uh, bees uh, do something you know, similar. We're building bees. structures with these tunnels underneath. Crickets, on the other hand, just jump around like idiots. They're not that smart is, like us ants. That but is true. Here we are so much smarter than both crickets and ants. Me at least. You know, you I did the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 we think that crickets and ants are basically similarly stupid. Right. Well, you guys the the giving... same way that I mean, we but even just now in this conversation, we revealed mm -hmm. that we do put value on the ability of the ant to form structures. Now you and say so we, we, but it was me. You, on the other hand, weren't getting it. Therefore, in the hierarchy of people, I'm just saying. I don't know. It seems like I'm <laughs> implementing your argument to beat what you were trying to say. Well, see, the problem <laughs> here, Taylor, is if uh, the aliens send astronauts like you wanted to, they send those retards, then they're not going to be able to differentiate between anything. They're just going to kill us all. I and think that like, like maybe Mars. maybe the if aliens you want to take my argument and act like it's yours, then I'll just call you Elon. Well, like maybe the aliens <laughs> yes, this are, is true. <laughs> maybe the aliens no. that come aren't even don't even have bodies. Maybe they're like machine people, like uh, intelligences in a machine. So when Could they be. look at like humans and ants, there's not a huge difference because biological because we're all, we're all they biological. Wouldn't be, they wouldn't be living though. They sure would have they been would. created by Living? something else. They could have taken their intelligence and injected it into machinery long ago, and now they travel the the uh, the endless uh, reaches of space with their infinite lives living in their machine craft. That's a real that, sci-fi that, theory. That's what I assumed he meant is the continued yeah, sure. consciousness in a machine. Why not? Would it be their consciousness? Isn't well, that interesting? Now that like, is a different topic. Like, how yeah, would you don't. download it on? It would be like copy and pasting a document. So you would die, and then a mimicry of you would survive. That's the whole transporter paradox. Be you. Yeah, that's the transporter yeah. paradox in, in Star Trek. So when you beam someone to one place to another, it tears you into a million tiny pieces down your atoms, remembers how they were stuck together, and tells the machine somewhere else to build a new you, basically, with the atoms in the same place. And you pop out, and you're like, hey, I made it. But it's not really you. you died back on the fucking Enterprise, jackass. Yeah, it's season and it's one. just a new you every time, right? Season one, Captain Picard, you're dead. And I Bones say... never wanted to get on the thing, and he kept making him. It was mean. <laughs> died yeah, over and over again. Interesting. Over I, over. I would say that I look at most animals, and this is not correct, but this is like a blanket way of looking at it. I look at pretty much animals as animals. That's not really correct. Some monkeys use kind of tools, you know, and some mm -hmm. some yeah. species of animals. Dolphins seem to have really intricate mm -hmm. communication. Both Ants those species discovered rape. houses. Oh, yeah, and, and <laughs> utilize it to the fullest extent, which very few species have successfully pulled off, by yeah, the way. The I orangutan. That can't be true. I think they all know how to rape. You ever see Probably. a frog gangbang? I've seen some dogs no. where it was definitely yeah. not consensual. The, fro the frogs, I was I was looking today, the frogs like getting this big pod together, this mash, and the and the and the and the females <laughs> start and the females just start spraying eggs everywhere. <laughs> and the males show up and they just jizz. Like just they jizz, it. they shoot more cum <laughs> than I do. 
and it's and, and it's wow. this big foamy like Man. eruption of Good cum. Them. And they're and like five Great. or six of them at a time are just covered in eggs and cum, and they're just doing that ribbit thing all balled up together. It looks like <laughs> a hell of a time. So it's like six males Zach, all hoping Zach, that there's sperm Google, clad. Zach, would you Google Pretty frog much. orgy real quick? <laughs> and 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 you're gonna get a picture of like a bunch they're, of little green FBI. tree frogs all balled up together fucking. And there ought to be a lot of foam. I want a lot Actually, of foam. Actually, look up. Lots look of foam. Up, uh, look Extra up, foam. Zoom look up the foam. gay frog orgy. I want to yeah, see no if, if Alex Fine. Jones is on to something here. Actually, I went hardcore <laughs> and binged frog orgy. You cannot show these images. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Don't frog. bing it. <laughs> uh, bing, Google, the search bing. engine for degenerates. <laughs> Dude, bing is where the porn the is. Pedophile search engine. <laughs> yeah. Someone was telling me nine that, out that of ten pedophiles agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's also the search engine of Wings of Redemption. Coincidence? Ooh, <laughs> that's find out. Oh, that is frothy. <laughs> Wait, I've seen that video. So yeah. Wait, is that the oh, frog? Oh my god! Yeah, that's is. come. That's come. Oh, it's frog. Color. They're, they're all dumping loads on the big piles of eggs. And there's like one poor girl under there somewhere, oh, allegedly. Poor. She's having the time of her life. <laughs> she was literally made for this. This is her, her <laughs> maximum dopamine. She's built absolute, for it, you might biological. She was built for it and no other purpose <laughs> than to be Which drowned one is in the female? Semen. Yes. That's what they're asking right now. Which one's the female? Well, Sorry, Frank. They're, again, they're like, like they're having, they're, I think they're just like, uh, shooting eggs out and then they're like coming all over the eggs so like i don't even know why they're hanging around yeah I knew a lot. Uh, what else to be a lock and load tie-in i mean what else do they possibly to have be. to do other than hang out but well, they were taking lock and load only one frog could have made that much fun all right, we see <laughs> frog jump. thank you zach appreciate it i don't think there's much. any lock and load in this week's rotating jiff oh uh, there's well there's there should not. have been <laughs> god damn it Mm. We oh, sell the, the best cum pills on the internet, and it's we important that people know about it. We load in there. The finest cum pills money can buy, people. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, for I, what's worth, I was going to say, I think that all animals are basically same degree of intellect, man. That's not nah, technically they're true. Not. They're not. They're no, I'm people. just saying that I look at it as like we got humans, and then everything else is on that totem pole of they're kind yeah. of conscious or not. That's so not that's true. That's racist or species or something. Yeah, it's it it's definitely, definitely is. It, it's, I'm more yeah, into homo sapiens over all other species, man. I think they're the master species. Oh, yeah. Gay. I'm just gonna say that I'm coming right here on PK. Uh, I think the Homo Homo sapiens the master species on yeah. planet Earth. Um, <laughs> You're the. I'd rather. It's possible an alien wouldn't think I'm really worthy of life. I guess you know. I mean, I I don't say I I used to hunt when I was younger. You know, I'm a felon now, obviously. But I used to go kill deer. Deer don't build mm -hmm. houses, but I stomp on an anthill when I see it. I kind of regard them both as you stomp on them. I'm alpha. Like Not anymore, form? but when I was younger, I still do. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop on an animal. I thought we were going really to see him. I thought we were about to connect. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll connect with you on that one. If I see him, I've like, been in Mississippi. Now I'm in well, New Orleans. Fuck, we don't like your this kind big. here. I'll oh. tell you what. I, I could be real spiteful. I saw an ant on the like one of those big orange army ants was running. Down. Yeah, I, I was moving and I was so tired and sweaty, but I saw one down on the asphalt and I sprinted after him. Just to kill him. <laughs> Just to so there'd be me. one less of those cocksuckers in the world. They look like they hurt so much if they ever stung you. <laughs> <laughs> Glowing orange. You had to go. Yeah, they're, they're huge fucking army ants here. They're like mm. solitary ants. I've never seen more than one. Yeah. Bu bugs, I have no empathy for bugs. I would... I, I would crucify a cricket and put it on my front lawn as a warning for other crickets if need be. Oh, like, shit. When, when flies get in my house, I'm... I'm a master shit. with a with a dish dishcloth. My wife I goes. A <laughs> you, you, I, I want to watch you because I'm an artist with that dishcloth. I'm so <laughs> I'm so I'm so fast with it that they samurai. Can, you can fly. I'm a samurai. I, uh, I'm an absolute dojo master. With I just moved into this house and I saw a roach it ran up the bathroom wall. I'm gonna have to get the exterminator in here. But anyway, this cocksucker ran up the bathroom wall and I grabbed a shoe and I went after him. And I didn't want to smash him into the wall. You know, I don't want to make a mess, so I just like tapped him. Well, he falls into the tub, and he's all crippled now. And I feel a little bit bad because he's one of the little ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I go to, like, finish him off, give him the coup de gras. But I missed, and I only hit his ass, and it just <laughs> smushed his ass. And now Ooh. it's just the front legs, and oh. he's trying to crawl out of there like a you Vietnam. You monster. <laughs> like one of those guys in, uh, in, in that We Were Soldiers movie when the napalm hits him. He's just oh, trying to <laughs> Like the front end's just trying to crawl away. and I had He's to trying to jiggle down the drain. Quick. I have honestly a, felt bad for it. <laughs> have you seen those salt guns that you have, pump and shoot? Got one. I, threw I it have away. one in the other room that my brother bought me. It's like a joke birthday gift earlier this year. And what it is, it's a it's a 
you put table salt in the top and then you pump it and it loads like a shot of a little shot of table salt and then you shoot it and it's very short range but it shoots salt and that's supposed to kill bugs mm -hmm. and if first of all Wasp. No, no use on wasp. it does not at all kill bugs. <laughs> I, for, you tr if you tried it on a wasp, you're fucking ridiculous because there's zero chance this shit is doing anything but upsetting a wasp. We got it, the 2.0. Like, I've, I've gotten like, there's like, the I, I've, 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 I've abandoned the, the salt shotgun in favor of my old dish towel with flies because I'm better at whipping them with the dish towel. Like yeah. I was I was doing range practice for the past couple weeks where I'd be like, oh, <laughs> a fly in my kitchen. And I'd like, go grab it and cock it. And I'd be like, okay, I'm five feet away. Okay, that just moved him a slight bit. All right, <laughs> let's wait twenty minutes to see him again. I there was we got the two point and it kills flies. There was, but there was a, a beetle, like a little. It, it looked it was the same shape as like a, a tiny little silverfish, but I got close enough to see that it wasn't a silverfish. It was a, a oh, beetle. Yeah. Those and, long skinny bitches. Yeah, it was a long skinny thing, and I thought it was the biggest silverfish I ever seen, but it was some weird forest bug that got in my house, and I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. And it was on the wall. And so I went, this is just last night. I got my salt shotgun and I cocked it. I went in my dining room. It was at about like nine feet tall up on the wall. And I beer, shot it. That's exactly what it is. Bug assault. I got the upgrade. And yeah. it, it yeah. hit it and not even enough to knock it off the wall. It just staggered it. And so then I cocked it again and like reached up, extended to where the <laughs> barrel was like maybe three inches from it. And I blasted it and it comes down and it's like wings are still working. Now it's on the ground and it's moving. And I'm just going, oh, go, go, bang, go, go, bang, bang. <laughs> are you ready for I it used, to be over? I used an entire top container of salt and I shit you not. <laughs> It took me probably eight <laughs> minutes to kill this bug, and because I, would, I, I was trying to kill it from range, and then by the end I was just like like Can execution style putting it directly above it, and like it was still thrashing <laughs> around afterward and shit. What I realized about five minutes into this bloodbath was that the salt was only strong enough to dismember all of its little bug limbs. And so it got to the point where like, I was looking like, all right, he's not moving. He must be close to death. I got a little closer. No, it's just, it had blown all of its legs off. It looks like a roly poly. For, except for one crawler. Oh, no. and I was like, this oh. is horrific. And so I got it with one more, just right in, <laughs> right in the back. And it Took blasted it underneath my drink cart where I like keep my, my wine glasses and my, my wine and vodka and stuff. And it just, it died. Uh, a painful death under there, I think. I found it what the next wrote. morning. Oh, you found yeah. it this morning, dead. I found it this morning. I went <laughs> under there. Yeah, had and it, it was crawled dead. all the way to your living room with one leg. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was about to say, you found <laughs> it in another room. Like little Dude, soldier. I, they, there's so many bugs around here because I live so close to the woods. Like I, I found a, a brown recluse the size of this fucking, you know, sponsor I weed container. Ones the other day and like it was so foolish that it thought i wasn't awake at 1 a.m and that i could just walk across the kitchen floor <laughs> no no i pinned it crushed it enough for it to feel it but not to kill it, it want, i want it to know Wait. i want it to know. i'm kidding i kill it right away <laughs> just, i'm not gonna slowly crush a bug but yeah brown recluse are the worst bugs out there the the the, the what about the murder hornet Okay, not as bad. The brown recluse is the worst thing we have around here. No, I think because the there's a million good. billion of them in in all of our walls in Missouri. Apparently, like oh, Missouri God. is the brown recluse, like like home home see. turf. What the fuck? Oh, I, I've been bit by a brown recluse too. Like usually, yeah. it just uh, I got bit on my arm and it just kind of formed a little because they tell you it's going to bore out a hole in your arm, but apparently yeah. that's only if it's like a oh, big boy and you're already like not that healthy because right all it did for me it gives you like this scab that's like raised and it feels like you know like if you were to like put a pen tip with the point out like under a piece of cloth and you were to feel the smooth cloth and then the rub over the pen tip it's like a really right. hard feeling like right under the skin and then right. it just fades away but i also know people that have like got little green. little like holes in their skin from them you ever seen a guy who green got back? Okay. dead you flesh you got bit in the dick Oh no! Yeah, his dick, his dick rotted off. Yeah, did yeah, he just not? Do now, huh? That's the story they always told us as kids. Like, like, be careful with hmm. that. that guy. That guy's dick rotted off because he was embarrassed to tell anybody. Always tell kids if something's wrong with your dick, tell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will. I promise. I'll protect the family jewels. I mean, like for 
for a brown recluse to like rot an appendage off or like bite you in the pinky and have it rot your pinky, yeah. you would have to Very have common. full knowledge that your pinky was rotting mm -hmm. for like eight days and yeah. be like, ah, I'll handle this tomorrow. I went to the hospital. <laughs> like, 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 like procrastinating as you're seeing well, bone you know, you exposed. Get bit on the, you get bit on the balls and like you're embarrassed. You're like, oh. It, maybe it's just an infection. Maybe it'll like, won't be. maybe, you know, like, like some people don't realize they have a serious medical situation going on. It mm. is. And, and it's a product of our American system, right? That a mm. lot of people wait until it's too long to go. Yeah. And, and so it's expensive. Because yeah. we've spent our whole lives being like, would I be silly to go? I need right? to, hang on. Let, let, let me see if, let me have some juice. Like, give me right, some juice. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, see if how it feels tomorrow. Because if juice fixes this and it saves us eight thousand dollars, then we're gonna feel real lucky tomorrow. But then let again, me try a little that. emergency powder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do the trick. A little airborne pill, like I'm going on a flight. Cuts is the it, you know. There's those borderline cuts where it's like, ah, is this stitches or not? I think it's stitches. And you're like, <laughs> you like look on the inside and you can see deep down inside yourself. You're like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. need a little stitchy here. Yeah, stitches not as bad as I thought. Like I yeah. remember my my like memory of stitches comes from when I was a child and like someone would get hurt and they'd come to school and be like, I had to get five stitches. It was horrible. And it's like, oh, so they just sew you up like yeah. you're some grim poppet. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? But like after being an adult and getting it, it's like, oh, those were just my, my five year old friends were freaking out and as five year olds are wont to do. Yeah, I, uh, I felt a lot as a kid. So I was I don't know, I, I had to get stitches uh on my uh like chest like torso area like right down here somewhere oh uh, damn I, I fell on like it's a big deal it's like three stitches when i was a kid i was just saying yeah, what'd you like, what'd you a, fall uh, onto glass bottle in a uh, parking lot Ooh, so it's just it had to be stitched up the heel right tailgate yeah i guess i don't know i got this little hairline uh scar on my ribs but yeah, anyway better than a hair lip scar like joaquin phoenix Ooh, damn yeah yeah that's real mean that's real mean taylor i don't think we were talking mean. about well, I think I think his character would have been more empathetic in the village if they would have left it. Yeah, yeah, he would have. I bet hair lip breath smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be worse than? <laughs> because it's your mouth is dry all day oh. because it's oh. you know, all those things. Open. Do you think the one tooth that always has to stay dry is more prone to like Do you maybe kind of yellow? I, I bet. Yes. What Do you think that that makes you breathe through your mouth more having that? Oh, it's just like, open all the time. It's just open. My mouth so opens no... all the time, too. Not if but I don't not want it to. always open. Look at it right now. My choice. Close. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Busted. Busted. You can't, I can't argue with this man. Oh, another fucking bullet in my chamber. <laughs> just check out your mouth right now. What is but it? But, like, everyone's <laughs> mouth is open all the time. We managed to keep it, like, not totally dry. No, but if there was a, We're a continuously slice closing. through. I'm continuously relubricating my mouth. I just think, well, <laughs> wait, what was that? Oh, I just yeah. think that if your mouth was always, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? No, I wasn't going to. I don't oh, know what you're shit. doing. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I was hoping you was going to do the impression. Of who? I, I'll do it. Of just, the hairlip person. <laughs> oh, oh my what, God. Is, <laughs> what is the hairlip really person that was like? coming? A lift? No, maybe, maybe if it was like always, that tooth was always dry, though. That could lead to some sort of bad breath. I Maybe remember so. uh, yeah. there was one of the meanest O and A clips. I remember laughing my ass off at, and like it, and even at the time being like, "This is mean as shit." Is there was a clip of a caller calling in and wanting to talk to Anthony and Jim, and the, and he was like, oh, "I wanted to talk to Anthony and Jim. Uh, they were talking about hair lip people." Oh, and no. how disgusting it is and I think oh. that's pretty messed up and he was talking like that and Anthony's like why are you one of those disgusting people are you one of those dis tell us tell us you animal tell us are you a hair lip person the guy's like I am a I don't see why it matters but I am a hair lip person and Jim's like gross animal 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 <laughs> screaming at him. it's, it's so There's fucking mean hell. it's Call so mean spirited it's it's uh, but that's also one of those things like I hated myself for laughing at because similar to the lazy eye, I was like, oh, that hair lip, like you can't control that. That poor person, like it's not just his fault, a, but it's kind of funny. It it's not his fault, but it's kind of funny. Exactly. Yeah, it summed up well. There's a lot of things that are horrible that are also funny. You can't you can't help what you find funny, right? 
That's like a major surgery. That's not just stitches with your lip when you when you're born that way, huh? They have to do like a major surgery. Yeah, yeah. Right? Some some bone work in there, and they get. I'm it back assuming, yeah, you're just gotten missing a spot right there. I figured it's not as simple <clears throat> as like some stitches. I wonder yeah. why they can't get it even more perfect. Right, they, like, might, like, they might be able to mm. now. Maybe. <clears throat> I, True. Typically, you get, like like Joaquin Phoenix, for example, you could still see it. Like, why can't they get it perfect? Perfect. Like, there's there's plastic surgeons that get shit really really right. I bet he got that fixed. A long, long time ago, yeah. and so like what he's probably like fifty years old or something, and so yeah, but he's there's he's, a possibility sure. that this got fixed like forty plus years ago. Yeah, but they've always been rich. I think his and he was wasn't even famous. Oh, was he rich back then? I want to say his. I mean, his brother was an actor. You know, River was an actor. I thought the mother was too. We're talking about Joaquin Phoenix, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. I think that they were already pretty wealthy when he was born. I don't know. I think they did a really good job of it. Like, I think it's quite. I mean, it's, it's it's close. There's a fucking little scar there, and I, I didn't I know he had have, it until close up. I would have never noticed oh. unless someone pointed it out to me. Honestly, when you see him as Commodus right. in a in a, a Gladiator, it's really <laughs> evident. When he's I watched uh, Walk the Line, dude. Walk that, that's the line. I didn't really notice that much until they zoomed in on him, and then I was kind of like, oh, he's got you know the little yeah. scar and a little twist there, but not so bad. Very subtle. Huh? I remember like that was the first movie I can remember watching. Joaquin Phoenix was Gladiator, and like when he gave that speech to his father being like all these traits you admire you know valor honor i have ambition cunning like and yeah cunning Cunning. and he's like talking about all that shit and i'm like like this guy's pretty cool like i i like him like he's right he's gonna outsmart his dad because he's more ambitious and he's more cunning here and yeah that that was i haven't seen gladiator in probably 15 years literally like probably 10 to 15 Same. years i wonder if it still holds up because i loved that movie yeah and you were too. really into the speech did. but then you I, realized yeah. he had a hair lip and you doubted him and you were like never mind he can't do it he's one of those guys fucking immoral <laughs> yeah, if anything it shows you can do all things through through christ who strengthens you it's true it's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> proof you don't remember those songs i can do all or those uh kyle does he went to sunday school where yep. they were like i can do all things through christ who strengthens me Lord, I lift your name on high. You're all about that song when, in the context of, of uh, church. Dude, Is that all dude, they sang at your church? That was the main one from Super Wow, and we sang it every day. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the first. Too, we sang it so many times. Um, it, it was, God. Well, thank God. God you wanted to sing his praise. I haven't heard it in 20 years, and I can still remember it. Oh, yeah, sing your fucking, praises, all... I remember it. <laughs> it's a very simple song. Away. Man, I'm glad I don't do that anymore. Oh yeah, I went to a Catholic it, wedding recently. I, oh, brutal, brutal! Because they went, <laughs> they went real deal Catholic wedding, like standing, sitting, kneeling, standing, sitting, kneeling. And I am like, I was sitting there next to my wife. It was one of her friends. I didn't really know the guy very well. He's getting married, and it's in the church and everything. And the the priest starts talking. It's like a Saturday at like eleven thirty in the morning, and maybe and he starts like telling a story and then just doesn't finish it and he does that a couple times and he's like really emotive and everything and i like maybe five minutes in i'm like honey this guy's fucking drunk i was about to say <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like this, this and, and like i like my whole dad's side of the family are are catholics and so like i knew you know like in catholic communities like when they throw big parties priests just come and hang out like that's a very common thing and they get fucking wine drunk and they have a good time and so i was watching and i'm like this motherfucker's wasted doing this wedding and he was literally doing stuff where he's like and i want to say to Young Matthew oh, no. and young Liza, <laughs> Hi, that you have Michael. many, <laughs> and the Lord, w- and it's like what, what? Like he had many, what? Now we're what? the Lord. <laughs> we didn't go. What's happening? You what is going on like here? What? Why? Like he started multiple stories, didn't finish it. <laughs> At one point, like they, he, he just he went up to the other priest. And the other priest acted, I don't know the Catholic rituals, but he was doing something where he was holding a chain with the incense and swinging it because they'll like ring bells and then swing the incense. And I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about Catholicism, but I could tell from the body language of like the assistant priest that this guy was like freestyling his 
his stuff that day. <laughs> Not you know, the respect or whatever. A, a little spin, a little flair, like because the guy who was like the the retriever of the the incense reached out to do it and the guy gave it a few more flips a few more flaps and then the guy brought his hands back like i guess we're playing it up today and then he went back and grabbed it yeah that guy was drunk 100 percent, and the wedding took two hours holy shit two hours and Good then i reason. hate catholic weddings the, worst. <laughs> the fucking worst oh have you guys ever had to go to a real catholic wedding and no. sit through yeah wedding? i think i had one it wasn't two hours though we did but you you weren't standing and kneeling and all that were you Oh, now that I think about it, one of my um, best men. What are they called? They're called best men, right? Yeah, they are. The groomsmen? Groomsmen. Yeah. Groomsmen. That's it. There's one best man. But one of my groomsmen passed out. It was so oh, hot. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. And uh, and you had to stand still. And Was he standing leg locked? He fainted. Probably. I guess so, yeah. Were you in was a church? Lock and you, I was in a church, yeah. My wedding ring was too small, but I wanted to put it on my finger anyway, and it couldn't come off. And then it started like getting bigger, and it was purple. Oh, and it was like being <laughs> Holy strangled. Fuck. Yeah. And, like, it's all, dude, there's a ceremony <laughs> happening, and I'm doing one of these things. Like... <laughs> like, trying to like get it wet and like get it off and stuff like lube it up and shit it's not working i'm not getting it i'm fighting it i'm fighting it. the fingers turning purple, and purple. Oh, no. <laughs> it started to become like a medical emergency but i eventually wrestled it off holy shit that's so scary <laughs> yeah, that in front so of funny. everybody i'm like and, the, and i'm sure like, word is getting passed back yeah. that yeah. woody's trying to get his ring off it's too small <laughs> lose his finger call Why it, didn't call he put it on his pinky <laughs> that would have been a better move. That's so funny. Yeah, that, it doesn't seem like you, you didn't. There was no priest doing stuff in front of you. No, like, there was. Yeah, there was a oh. priest saying shit. I didn't pay that much attention to him. No, it's boring as shit. I think and, you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody looks at you, say yes, and you're good, right? Yeah, th I mean, this whole thing was for someone. I didn't even know where it was until like 10 minutes beforehand. Like, I didn't know how to get your, there. Your own anytime, wedding? <laughs> yeah. Anytime someone asked me a question, I'd be like, because I, I worked a lot. I went to school at night. I had a full-time job and I had a side business at the same time. And I didn't do any of the wedding planning, which to some people might sound bad. But in my little environment, everyone, like the the people who wanted to be involved in the wedding planning were fine with me saying yes to fucking anything. I was better than yes. I was, why are you bringing these details to me? <laughs> so it's a step of, it's improved in my mind. Yeah, so uh, your involvement would have only slowed her down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, like, yeah, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? I want you not to bring this to me. <laughs> like, that's well, what I want. say that, Jesus. Well, I said it better than that, but I said essentially that. And, uh, and but it wasn't like it took a lot of those. myself. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So like, people, my friends and stuff would be like, "Woody, where is the wedding?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know, you know better than to ask me these questions. They they should let me direct you to the to the bride." I remember getting those texts morning of. Oh my! Where God. like a buddy of mine that like I've known for many years is like, "Hey Taylor, like, where's your wedding again?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Like, dude." It's I'm getting married in 40 minutes. Like, like are you kidding me? Like you you're you couldn't have texted me last night or something. But yeah, it, we did our wedding so quick. It was outdoors, it was hot. Mm, smash mouth we, wedding we right up the middle. We knocked it out. We knocked mm -hmm. it out so quick. We were we I like I wanted it to just be, you know, immediate family and everything, you know, you know grandparents, stuff like that. If they want to come, that's great. But yeah, the, these long weddings, I don't care for it. No. Don't care for it. I, uh, most people don't want to be there. The last wedding I attended was Jeremy's wedding. It was embarrassing. Were there red solo cups involved? I'm not at the actual <laughs> ceremony. Afterwards. Uh -huh. Certainly afterwards. There, the reception there were, had red solo cups. I don't know if they bothered with the cups. Uh, <laughs> they drink it out of their hands. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> party monster. I just I'll have open. a Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one hand, ah, two. hot and salty. <laughs> <laughs> one hand, two. No, you, um, you guys would have enjoyed my wedding then. Was, I remember a lot of great. denim. I remember there being a lot of denim mm -hmm. uh, at the wedding. Mm -hmm. I remember being uh, very hot. That's why I thought of it because you mentioned being hot. It was outdoors in a park. And I don't think we asked, they asked the park if they could have a wedding that day. I think they just went out there <laughs> by the rocks. And I, I don't, I remember a cowboy hat. Uh, there were definitely cowboy hats and mm. there was definitely a lot of denim. Dude, and I, I, I think I was the only Sorry. one wearing a tie. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. You were the only person in a tie. Well, wedding, huh? you know, 
it was a. Uh, I only went for the lulls. Uh. <laughs> the only thing I was like very very passionate about about my wedding was the food, <laughs> and that's because and you oh fat jokes. The 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 real thing uh. is I have been to so many weddings where they do half measures for food, where they'll be like everyone can get steak or chicken. You can get a horrible chicken Parmesan or the cheapest steak in America, <laughs> the, the worst stuff. And it's about the, and it's more expensive. And so I was like, no, I want Pappy's Pappy. Like you guys aren't from St. Louis. Pappy's is a very famous barbecue place here. It's not a chain. It's a, it's a small, it, every, if you know someone from St. Louis, they know what Pappy's is and they know it's like the best fucking barbecue. And I was like, I want barbecue because with barbecue, I can go tippity top of the quality of barbecue for the same price that I would get a bullshit chicken Parmesan meal. And like Mm -hmm. literally during my wedding, like beforehand, like during the beginning of the reception, when people were coming in, they would see the menu and everything. And I had dozens of people be like, are you fucking around? You got pappies. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, pappies is catering. And they're like, dude, that rocks. Yeah. Like, this is, this is the best. Multiple people be like, this is the best food experience I've ever had at a wedding. We, we ate the entire place out like, of all of the meats that we paid for them to bring. Like, and it was like, I was so proud after that. Pappy. I was like, Ooh. I was like, hell yeah. Like this was such a win. Everybody loves pappies. And everybody went home being like, I had a great, huge barbecue meal and I'm full. I didn't get some bullshit chicken parm that was bad right. of cheap cut of meat. Chicken. So keep, keep that in mind, folks out there getting married. Was you when, when you when you made this selection to to be, to get pappies? Were, were there any naysayers out there in your family <laughs> or, or, or 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 involved with the wedding? Was there anybody like oh, really Taylor pappies? No, no. Like my my wife, even at the time when we were talking about it, I was like, I'm very. You know, I always get pissed when I go to weddings and they say they're going to have some nice steak thing that you picked and then it's dog shit and bad. I want people to have like good quality, like what they would get if they went to a barbecue joint. Like that's what I want. And so that's what we did. And it, nice. it worked tremendously. Everyone loved it. Oh, yeah. She was on board 100%. Like, I'm not lying. Everybody in St. Louis knows what Pappy's is, and everyone loves Pappy's. Like, which is. Well, now I want to know great. about Pappy's. Now I'm going oh, to they make uh, Oh, they're, they're burn ends. Oh, do you know how fast the burn ends went out at our wedding? everybody was just feasting What's on the burn, burn end? end you don't know what a burn end it's the end of the brisket that is like a little crispier a little fatty or super flavorful i love burn ends. you know how like yeah. the corner brownie in the pan is like a little crunchy on the sides mm-hmm. it's like that for meat sort of so that's a great comparison yeah it's, it's like the corner yeah, brownie extra of meat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah have you seen how did your chicken turn out all corners yeah 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 oh, like that zigzaggy. Awesome. yeah, oh, yeah. Look, it's got a maze in it it yeah, does. all corners. That's awesome. Yeah. I, by the way, my wedding was like 30 minutes. Did I ever tell you guys I got married and I was still at the halfway house? No. <laughs> no, that no was like more. the day you before got married I got married. The halfway house? Not like I was allowed to leave the premises, but I was a resident of the halfway house because I just got out of prison the second time. Best man is in crack withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did not allow anybody from the halfway house anywhere near it, thankfully. Fair. Um, no, I. The, it was very, very obvious that they assumed that I had, because my wife comes from a good family, uh, you know, they're well to do, et cetera, like that. It was very obvious that they all thought that I had hoodwinked some young, attractive, well to do girl and mm. fell and manipulated her into wanting to marry me and that her family probably didn't support this. And How they went through target great, were they? It does uh, seem likely. Continue. Yeah. This is, <laughs> does this? All right, well, listen, I'm different now. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but but they, they come to me like the night before, like, 20 hours before I got married, the lady calls me to the back, the director of the halfway house, and she was like, they had called my girl's family extensively, talked to my now mother-in-law, my now father-in-law, and everybody in the feds was just shocked that this girl actually wanted to marry me, and we had some family support. So uh, they pretty much just told me, they said, hey, check it out. You can get married tomorrow. You cleared. So I had to call my wife and say, do you want to get married tomorrow? Well, she was my fiance, you know, and she was like, yeah, I guess I've been trying to. We had been talking about it, you know, mm-hmm. but they had never given us clearance. They were always dicking around about it. And so I got a clearance for a two hour social pass to go to the justice of the peace in Mississippi, this podunk town in Tupelo, <laughs> Mississippi, you know, and uh, we had a nice little wedding, man. My in-laws made it out. Everybody got a little bit dressed up. We only had me, my wife and, you know, my brother and her brothers uh-huh. and our parents there, but it turned out nice. Uh, but on the topic of That's wedding great. food, you know, needless to say, we didn't have time to prepare any catering. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. I was only cleared. Technically, I was allowed to go to the justice of the peace back to the halfway house, nowhere in between. Totally against the rules. If I get caught anywhere else, of course, I get in trouble. But I had to have a celebratory wedding dinner. So we pulled through the Burger King up the street. 
and I wolfed down a Big Mac in like four bites, went through the door, all happy, Whopper, got caught with a okay. vape. I was trying to smuggle it. Oh, what? Uh, no, it wasn't McDonald's. It wasn't McDonald's. I ate a Big Mac. My bad. Right. You tried to smuggle a vape in? Did I say the wrong? Yeah, yeah. I've been smuggling a little vape in forever because, you know, obviously I didn't quit nicotine. Yeah. And Did so your ass in, get I looser over time? Do what? Did your ass <laughs> get looser over time? over time? Is it like a bag of holding where you, you, you know, it gets more... No, no, I mean, it's pretty pliable. It's like a muscle, you know, you work it, you know? Yeah. You know, the build's up extra stronger. But no, no, I was was putting it in my waistband, for real. I I would basically just stick it right there under my belt, and they wave a metal detector over you, but I guess that uh, my wedding had me a little complacent, and the tip was popping out like this, you know? And I don't know what they thought was probably poking out at first, but they damn sure that lady grabbed a hold to it before she even thought twice about looking at it. And uh, thankfully, it wasn't my penis. It was a vape, and she whipped it out, and they let me make it, man. They did not write me up. She said, this is one of them vapors. And I said, yes, ma'am. And she threw it in the trash and said, you're lucky it's your wedding day, boy. So I didn't get in trouble. I didn't get I didn't get rode up or nothing. But that's about the most magical wedding experience I've had is a 30 that's second wolfing down presence. of a Big Mac. You don't go back yeah. to prison. That was my wedding present. I would have probably not really gone back. I would have just like <laughs> lost some privileges or whatever, you know. But still, it was still cool of them to let See, it slide that's like a, that. That's like the epitome of a a great story. It was like a good wedding. For a wedding. Yeah. Yeah, like it was, that's it was, something that you'll have fun telling for your whole life. You would that's not awesome. know from the pictures, bro, that it was this rushed and put together. Like, we got some great pictures, you know. I had to borrow a suit for my brother-in-law because I don't own any nice clothes. I just wear, like, band shirts and cartoon shirts. Yeah. Um, but it came out really nice. Nobody got food except for me, and I'm not supposed to have the, the Burger King, I mean, the McDonald's, so we're, like, a third of a block away, and they're like, hurry up, Josh, hurry up, because if they see me with the Burger King, then they're going to be like, hey, motherfucker, you went to Burger King, so I'm over here like, Ugh! Looking super <laughs> yeah. romantic. Trying to house the whopper. Yeah. <laughs> my wife has like got all her wedding makeup and her beautiful hair done and a dress on. And I'm over here just shoving this Big Mac in my face and cramming a fucking vape down my belt. You know, like, all right, see you tomorrow, baby. Hopefully you're going to let me how out. Much, if you're this locked down at the halfway house, like how did you spend time with her? Uh, So at first I was working my family. They owned a vape shop. And so this is kind of a loophole, but my out, gainful dude. employment that I was required to have was with them. So I hung out with my wife all day at the vape shop and sold vapes, you know, and just pretty much shot the shit. I uh, ended up getting, you know, the business started slowing down whenever all those people vaped the black market weed cartridges and died or whatever mm-hmm. happened. Vape market in our town just like basically shut down. So uh, then I started working cutting oh, wow. furniture. Um, and at that point, it was basically she could visit me on weekends at the halfway house. And other than that, it was all how much we could cheat. Like, oh, my wife's giving me a ride to work, you know, and I say that I got to mm-hmm. go to work an hour earlier than I really do. And then my wife picks me up and then, you know. Um, the main yeah. thing to keep in mind is that I wasn't running around like doing drugs. I wasn't constantly causing trouble in there or like I was barely visible to them, you know? So they mm-hmm. kind of gave me a little leeway in my opinion, man, if you, the respect goes both ways there. Like, yeah, they knew, I, they probably knew I was breaking the rules a little bit, but I wasn't doing anything too malicious, you know? And I yeah. was trying to be respectful the whole time. They, you they see, ideally the want was, you to reintroduce yourself to society in a healthy yeah. way. Like I imagine that. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Some people power trip over nothing, but I would imagine a halfway house operator would be more concerned with like, you're good. Get the fuck out of here. Cause there's an absolute lunatic showing up on Monday and I'm going to, he's going to need my focus. Exactly. What's your job cutting furniture. Uh, I, I worked at Ashley furniture. I was a machine router. I was, uh, I didn't cut it by hand. I would put the programs into the computer and the machine would route out the wood parts. And I'd stack them, count them and label them. So you like uh, program the CNC machine. To, to yeah, it was a CNC router. Yep, exactly. Okay. That was what I did. And they got realized pretty quickly. From Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I hated the job, but I mean, it, it got us our first apartment. My wife was pregnant, you know, uh, she was pregnant before we were able to get married. Not even just by coincidence. I mean, we would have been married if it was up to us. But like uh, I said, yeah. they were picking so around. she took him to work an hour early. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the best pregnant. part is that she got pregnant while I was at the halfway house and they tried very hard to find a way to get me in trouble. They tried very hard, but they had no way to prove I was ever out of bounds of the area that I was supposed to be in. I was just able to say that. She got pregnant. Y'all don't know when, where, how, or whether or not. They couldn't prove I broke any rules. There's no rule against having sex, technically. I'm it's just the rule is that where I can be at what time. You, you, you know? didn't play it like, that whore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that whore. I, I was My say, God, this is news to me, folks. I was <laughs> going to say, they were really pissed and they were really you know, surprised and all that. But I guarantee you that they had to have thought in the back of their minds, like that girl got pregnant by somebody else while he was inside and he's trying. they're trying to dump that baby off. Now, we don't have to worry about that. That baby is about my twin. My daughter came out looking just like me, and I trusted her. But it's funny because I thought about that months later, Taylor, when you said that. Goodbye, Wood. He must have He had enough of your shit. Woody was like, nope. (laughs) I'm peacing out. uh, Do you have any automatic blinds in your house? Did you do that? Automatic blinds? Like a a remote blind? Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I mostly have uh, curtains in my house, not blinds. 
So what do you have any uh, auto shades in your house? Auto blinds? Nothing like that. It'd be cool though. Are we looked into it. They're stupid expensive. Mm. I, I, I wanted protection or for light blocking. Both. Or both. I, we both. needed custom curtains, and it was like, ooh, what if we motorize them? Curtains are dumb expensive. Like you can spend oh. thousands doing a room and then double it to make them remote controlled. And I was like, yeah. Oh. We had just bought this house and everything, and just you need so much furniture and so many curtains that I didn't want to pour money into it. What is yeah, the I could see if okay. Yeah. So in my house, I have uh, really tall ceilings in the living room. It's kind mm-hmm. of odd. Yeah. And uh, there are these two windows really high up that the sun comes right through all day. And it ruins the TV, basically. You can't watch television in that room. But mm. if I could cl- click a button and have like a blind just go down and completely black them out, because there's no way to get up there. Is it like, a window or a skylight? It's two big windows up there, um, sort of parallel with the ones on the ground floor. There's just two more up there. So I'm going to get some auto blinds, and I'm I'm the the only question is if I mount them myself because I got a new ladder today. I got this like little giant uh, ladder. It'll do. I've the got standard. a little giant right there, right behind this desk. <laughs> Which one does it go crazy tall? It gets pretty tall. It's got those orange clips on the side that you like pull it up, and then you snap all four of them down. And it okay, it starts in. as an A frame, but it'll it, it'll go straight, right? Yeah, yeah, it gets pretty big. So that thing's in my living room right now, and I had to stop short playing with it before the show because we were starting but i was in the i had straightened it out and i had extended one side all the way and i still had the entire other side to extend and it was almost up there where it needs to go i think but it looks rickety dude don't dude just extend the other side man don't don't climb it at at a weird angle no i I mean i'm going to like put it the way it's supposed to do but when it's completely extended it it looks kind of rickety i i I don't know bend in the middle a little like, does it uh, have to be ex- it totally oh, extended we're going for you up to there. get there? I'm going up there tonight. It's going to be how, how tall are your, your ceilings? <laughs> All the way. <laughs> uh, They're at the top of the... My, my living room is like 20 feet or something. His ceilings are at the very top of the room. Um, Damn, that's I, fancy. How, however tall that ladder goes, <laughs> I'm not positive it's going to be tall enough. It's They're that tall. Like, like how, how tall is that like ladder? 18 go? foot ceiling. Probably, probably no, I don't be reaching up there, man. That. That's how well, you fall. You're, you're in a ranch style house, like I me. think it's so 25 ranch style feet. houses have like, those big. Like, when I'm, when I, like I had the repairman standing there and I was sitting on the couch watching him work on the fucking internet for two hours, uh, Tuesday. And I was like, yeah, like four of him would go up that wall easy. I, they're, they're really tall. I'm gonna put a, I want to, if I can find a discreet way to put a climbing rope in there. I'm gonna hustle, <laughs> I'm gonna hustle up 25 There's feet. There's absolutely living room. no way to install a discreet climbing rope in your living room. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. Discreet Here's how you do it. Rope. Here's how you do it, Taylor. I have to build climbing pegs to cl- to from the top of the staircase. Yes. I have to be able to cl- monkey bar my way out there with discreet hand, with hand <laughs> with with handheld handhold sized pegs that I like yeah. grab and I monkey bar myself out there with the rope over my shoulder. And then when I get there, I want to pull myself up. You can probably leave in, those and get and the deposit I, back. And then I slide <laughs> down like a fucking, I took down the Fuck, one fine. in my, I, I need to check, see about my deposit in the last place. Cause I had, I had the sex swing mounted directly to the ceiling. Did you putty just, it? Dude, there Put was a little no putty in there. Put- I was so beat from all that shit. I was like, putty be damned. Y'all figure, <laughs> you know, like, I figured, charge me a couple hundred for putty. I'm done. I'm, I was sweaty. I was done. It was getting dark. And I, you know, I had a drive ahead of me. So I left. I did the same thing with my, the last apartment I bought before I bought a house like four years ago is I had a dart board up on one wall. And I don't know what it was that like I assumed because I could throw darts and hit the board every time that other people could too, but there were just hundreds of holes of darts oh, in my shit. wall. <laughs> and I remember like, I literally, I puttied like the top couple dozen and then was like, I don't care. And then just <laughs> left. And then when they were talking about like the, um, if I recall correctly, when they were talking about like not giving me my, my deposit back, I just talked about all the times I called them about black mold and that was never handled or discussed. And they just gave it back to me. Nothing happened. They were like, hmm. okay, never mind, you win. They were like, oh, is this the black mold guy who <laughs> hasn't been able to use his back door because it's broken for two years? Okay, give him his money back because he's called half a dozen times about black mold and his rear door not working and being worried about having to walk out his front door into the most dangerous city in America to round the building and then walk through a dark alley in the most dangerous city in America and then go through the fucking lot. Is it Horrible. the most dangerous city in America, literally? It is. It's a it's a point of shame for St. Louisans. 
<laughs> are, are, is that what you guys call yourselves? I think that's what it is called, St. Louis. St. Louis. It should. You should be called the St. Louis. Ooh, I, I like that's better. I like that better. Louis better. City in America. The St. Louis. I'm a St. Louis. I'm a St. Louis. I'm a St. Louis. Well, there are there are a ton of Italians around here, so that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm a St. Louis. Louis. They got ran out of Chicago. They got ran out of Chicago. They went over to St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> they, they they fled Chicago and then guidoed up St. Louis. They were forced out by the goblins. <laughs> <laughs> we was forced out by predatory loaning practices. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to calculate the exponentials in the day? <laughs> Interest and use. I, can buy here oh, right? I have a source here that says St. Louis is the second most dangerous city in America. Can I guess the most? Yes. I, I bet you'll get it right, but yes. Is it Gary? Well, you got to go for Detroit. Yes. Is it, it's Gary? Detroit. No, it's Detroit, according to this thing. Fucking Where's losers? New Orleans? Please tell me New Orleans isn't We're on that We're winning list. again? Uh, what, what Memphis is, is third, then Baltimore Fuck. is fourth. Springfield, Missouri. You guys got a couple cities on there. Missouri all up on that list. Oh, you know, it's it's weird <laughs> no, calculating that, though, because idea. per capita, like, do you count one of these wild spree shootings in, like, Uvalde, where so many people die in a year mm. like like it's there can be some aberrations but that doesn't seem to be happening on that chart it's literally the most dangerous city they're using America. violent crime see what you mean thousand that's their thing okay violent crime okay so i see what you mean that an outlier could be like a mass murder yeah some crazy that could stuff. suddenly shoot one way up the list <clears throat> there could be a city with five people in it one gets murdered now 20 oh, percent of the population of the population dies yeah, murder murder every year, year. <laughs> <laughs> where where is this this good list that has st louis at two all the ones i'm finding still have us at one and that's uh, obviously fake fucking news not a huge improvement because we are not the most dangerous city it's that shithole detroit <laughs> um, he's happy to get that one, one. number two be, is not that big it's of funny gotta, when gotta, I be, gotta be gotta be embarrassing to live in detroit that fucking shithole man 30 seconds wow, ago it was one. him <laughs> How do you really want to insult people from detroit Mine's They're the murderers. One. They're murderers. Yeah, I don't care. All They're I know about Detroit is I guess the area code is three one three. That's all I know. You know what the, the funniest thing I've ever heard about? We'll Detroit probably is encounter another murderer on the way here. Those people who get their porches <laughs> stolen. Wait, your a whole porch? porch? A porch? Or Zach, porch you, show, will you pull up a news article about about like Detroit porch stolen. Grab me that. Like, like, oh, you grab gotta me be that. shitting me. Yeah, I guess like like maybe. Why would maybe you want to steal a porch? Is nothing sacred? Maybe That's I just fell game. victim to an internet hoax or something or some silly joke, but it seemed to me that folks were riding up and, and yoinking people's porches off Where their houses you... in the night. <laughs> what Where do you, you store you know it? How do you get away like with it? Good business that people don't do. Pet oh, rams. my God. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Man. Stoop kids oh, afraid fake. to leave a stoop. Oh, I thought oh, it is a stole whole boy's porch. You know, That's I just so believed. funny. Though. I told you. That'd be hilarious if his <laughs> porch was stolen. I think pet like kidnapping and ransom because there's some money in it. Right? It's really easy. Dogs love people. Just get a dog, put it in your truck. Dog napping? Yeah. It's happened before. Now, are you going to resell them or ask for ransom? Ask for ransom. Ransom. I agree. I agree. It's in a metal value. Be Mm -hmm. honest. If if someone said they couldn't pay it, would you send them their dog back anyway? Of course. I'm not a monster. What are you going to do? Kill the dog? That's the only other option. Well, yeah, I mean, I have a, a a business reputation to maintain. I can't get the dog back. You know what I would do? I would send outside. them. I would send them a box with their dog's head in it to show that I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> you want the dog back? You want the rest? I would, of it. Kyle, you get one or two dogs back. You get a reputation for not needing the ransom anymore. Taylor, you start with the tail. <laughs> Just like a gang of retarded murderers. You like, the wrong end. Here's, here's your dog's head, so you know it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't owe you the money anymore, I guess. We'll send you a foot next. <laughs> it's like, all right, Thanks, well, Elon they Musk. overplayed their hand. <laughs> Give us the ransom money, or if you ever want the rest of your dog. <laughs> if you ever want to see down. the rest of your dog, you're gonna leave a 15 pound bucket of sour skittles at the corner of Fifth and Maple. <laughs> no cameras. You come alone. <laughs> it's not cut out of a magazine it's cut out of a coloring book <laughs> yeah it's cut out of a coloring book <laughs> ransom cut from a coloring book yeah all, all of his all, it's like uh, the stuff like a is for apple like that's his, his <laughs> right. no he signed shit. it at the end no i hmm. I, I agree from the though. misspellings we can infer <laughs> Who was it? Is it la- remember when lady gaga's dogs got kidnapped like last year yeah no maybe that that's why it sounded familiar that was actually a false flag Oh man, nobody really kidnapped Lady Gaga's dogs. A fall- no, like from that was Syria. Syria again? Oh, again? Yeah. Damn it, they were, man! They were trying Mad to shut man. down. They were trying to shut down news stories about genocide, so they stole her dogs. 
Because I can't like, believe hard you, I, to get away I can't with. believe you didn't hear about that. I, I don't believe any of that. Um, I I, th- I think you're watching too much Alex Jones. Yeah, you're, you're free to be a fool. <laughs> I, I, I think we could make a, a a decent living dog napping. And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What? How much trouble do you get in for stealing a dog and ransoming it? Like like now I I, I guarantee. I'm not even like, sure there's a rule against it. Extortion yeah. or blackmail. It, it, all right, so it's got to be general. like some it's theft of property and it's problem. But but what else is is there some That's sort of insulting like, to dogs? Are there probably. felonies? That's what we need to know here. Is it some, is there maybe some sort of crime like? Asking for the ransom because and using some electronic devices. There's there's always some like, weird law about that about about utilizing electronic devices to further your fucking criminal gains. You there's know, workarounds for that. Oh, right? State right. and foreign commerce. <laughs> Just enter a fucking letter. Cup in the string. Yeah. Oh, guys. This you, is, oh, here's this what I do. News. Here's what I do, Taylor. I'd write her a real letter and I'd put a paw print in blood. <gasps> They'll know it's but it's dog. only it's only got two pads on its paw now because, <laughs> no, God, because oh, she's don't. been dilly dallying. <laughs> Taylor's out of the operation. We don't we don't hurt the dog unless they you know refuse unless to they ask the money. for it. You ever seen from Dust Till Dawn? He's like Quentin Tarantino's character, like no, no interest not. in keeping the hostage or getting the money, just straight wants to kill it. No, just want to suck toes. <laughs> just, just like Quentin that's what he wanted to do yeah that's, he, he did that's pretty much always toes. interested that is he wanted that, to, that guy loves well, what he toes. really wanted to do was rape that woman to death which is what he did it that's wasn't really at all he's a guy who knows what he likes and i respect that yeah he took it in that movie that's for sure just and then like he comes RV back and he's like no oh, wait she was, uh she was getting crazy he produced that movie no that's a good movie it, it's one of those that like makes that crazy twist if you ever see from dust till dawn it's good but mm-hmm. no he yep. plays a really awful character in that movie yeah like like he he leaves him you know uh, he leaves him alone with the waitress or whatever and he rapes mm-hmm. her and murders her in there and he comes back he's like what is wrong with you is this what <laughs> I do is this and what Quentin, you think we do and Quentin Tarantino's like you don't understand once you left she uh, was a completely different she turned person. into a different person <laughs> she started fighting me and he like, he said yeah you remember what he said can you even say it on here he said she wouldn't have said shit with a mouthful of yeah she, yeah dick. It, yeah, something you can say like dick. that. I don't know what le- what we, line. You can of say you, there's no line here. You can say whatever you want, but okay, um, but, but no, steer that, clear of hard R's. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, um. Yeah. Sure. If you want to do that, that that's your prerogative, really. Um. You were in prison. You you, you probably had <laughs> you were both in prison. You can both say it. I we all know the lines been crossed. I don't <laughs> this is not how it works. That's not how it works at all. I I mean maybe in like small doses. Yeah. That's the only I mean, movie of in course, my life I've ever started over, by the way. As soon as it was over, I literally the, turned it on. The N-word being non-consensually detained. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant we got a pass for going. I was like, quite the opposite. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you can <laughs> say the F-word. Felon. That one's a bad word. Refor- it's reformed convict. A is felon. The, is the correct vernacular. Reformed <laughs> convict. It's reformed Still got to check convict. that box. On a yeah. job application, reformed it, convict. Reformed convict, like you, like you became religious. That's what we prefer to be uh, referred to as. Yeah, man, you're being insensitive here, throwing the F word out there like that. Yeah, please, reform. Come on, convict. man, we're reformed convicts. A reformed convict. It's 2022, man, get RCs. with the times. RCs for short. How about a POC? <laughs> oh, How about POC, person of crime? Uh, I mean, I like we'll take that. it. You know, you we'll like take that. It. You're a yeah. person of crime. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a person of crime. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. Dude, oh, I got to dig it out. I, I'll look for it like in unpacking this week. I found, and maybe I showed it on the show in the past, but I found my workbook from my like drug class in prison. And, and you know, all the nonsense yeah, yeah. that I had to like fill in the answers to. And, you know, they go page by doubt. page reading the answers out, by the way. It's like, it, what did everyone get for number four? <laughs> and it's like we all fill that shit in but there's questions like i don't know when i was on the streets i would see they like fill in 80 percent of it and then you have to like basically admit that at yeah. one, one point you were on the streets committing crimes <laughs> that's already known <laughs> like there's no like, like like that's already like worded in and then you have to say like i the I reason i, I, I committed crimes was because x y and z and there's none of the answers are good none of the mm-hmm. answers are good it's all this self-incriminating bullshit and I'm just like I'm the only one there that's for the. A low I committed level drug this crime, crime because I, know, a, man. I am guilty of a crime. <laughs> B, you weren't trying I to make money. Everybody else there was like criminals, like they ran right. drug mm-hmm. businesses, like all and of them were drug dealers. And they were that. talking about how much they moved and how much weight. There was only one of them ha- had anything to do with weed, and he was moving like a ton. Like, <laughs> like, like, like he's like half an ounce. We moved like. Trouble. hundreds of pounds mm-hmm. like, like 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 he's like i didn't get locked up for that but we did 
I had like, and they would have like a quarter ounce of cocaine or something on them, but they'd be fucking drug dealers and shit. Nobody was there for half an ounce of weed. No, of course not. And, <laughs> and I agree with you because I did, wasn't really in a criminal lifestyle before I went to prison. I was in RDAP for a little while and it's the same way. I kind of struggled sometimes. They're like, now admit why you were such a criminal on the street so you can get better. And I'm like, bro, uh, I've, I've always been a POC. Trolling. Always been a person of crime. Yeah, we OG that POC. lifestyle. Yeah. O- an OG PO crime. Yeah. All I really did was <laughs> buy and use drugs. That's the only crime I really did. Like, I didn't really steal stuff. Uh, I didn't do vandalism. I just bought and did drugs. You know, that was it. And now, yeah. as Taylor's about to tell you, you can order your drugs right off the internet from our wonderful sponsors legally. Yes, we you can. You can get your, get your THC products online, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. First, we're going to hear from our friends over at Lucy. This episode of PKA is brought to you by Lucy. Lucy Nicotine is a company founded by Caltech scientists and former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. Finally, tobacco alternatives that don't suck. Researched and developed for four years to be made for people, not patients. Lucy has created a nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine that comes in three flavors. Wintergreen, cinnamon, and pomegranate. Cinnamon's the way to go. We've said that many times. Lucy also has a lozenge with four milligrams of nicotine and cherry ice flavor. Each and every flavor actually tastes great, and it's convenient and discreet. Their products can be enjoyed anywhere, on flights, at work, on the go, even in the gym. It's 2022. Get rid of your cigarettes, unplug your vape, uh, throw out your dip, and get some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. This is the real deal, folks. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month, regardless. Wait. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple, and you don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Painkiller already listeners go to lucy.co and use promo code painkiller to get 20% off all products in your first order, including gum or lozenges. That's lucy.co.co and use promo code painkiller at checkout. Also, we have to give this disclaimer warning. This product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical to all of our listeners. Uh, head over to lucy.co and be sure to use promo code painkiller for 20% off all products, including the gum or lozenges. Check that out. This episode of PK also brought to you by Blue Chew. Spring has finally come, so let's help you do the same. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, competence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversation, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. We've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you so much, Blue Chew, for sponsoring with your dick pills. Uh, Get a hard ass dick. It's a great product. Check it out. Code PKA, bluechew.com. Also, as every episode is, this episode is brought to you by Lock and Load, the finest oh. cum-improving, volume-increasing, orgasm-improving oh, pills oh. in the whole world. Look at that. That's what it's going to be like <laughs> so frothy. if you're gay and it into works. So check that out. Code, oh, his PKA, eyes. His eyes. code PKA for 10% off of Lock and Load and 10% off of everything at Derek's site, Gorilla Mind. Tremendous products. Try the... Uh, Try the pre-workout, no stim. Code PKA, lock and load. Check it out. Or, You're missing out. Yeah, everyone, it's taking the world by storm. Do you guys know how many fucking bottles of this shit we're having to make? A lot, because everyone's jumping on board. Don't fall behind the, the curve, friends. All of your compatriots are busting like champions. Don't be left behind. So check it out. Code PKA. Or code jizz. Final, or Jeez. code jizz. Also, Jeez. yes, we, we talked... Uh, you can use code PKA for 10% off lock and load, or you can use code JIZZ, J-I-Z-Z, for 10% off lock and load. It's so use code harder. JIZZ. Check it out. 10% off lock and load. Hope you enjoy it. It's a quality product. A very high quality product. And finally, our brand new sponsor of the evening. Everybody listen. Wonky Weeds. Wonky Weeds. Are you or a... Wait, did I send that? Yeah. 
Are you or a loved one interested in THC products, but you're not sure where to get started? Well, wonkyweeds.com can help. From the company who brought you deathbygummybears.com, wonkyweeds.com was created for the common THC consumer to enjoy a huge variety of THC products. That's why wonkyweeds.com, no matter your preferred method of consumption, we have a THC solution for you. At wonkyweeds.com, you can find pre-rolls, distillates, cartridges, disposables, gummies, syrups, even chocolate-covered potato chips. No matter what you crave, Wonky Weeds has you covered. These products are of the highest quality and correctly and accurately dosed for your benefit. With many different products and customers all around the USA, American-based WonkyWeeds.com serves all states where hemp-derived THC is legal. So whether you're a current THC enjoyer or just interested in trying something new, go to WonkyWeeds.com and use code PKA20 for 20% off your order. Once again, that is WonkyWeeds.com, code PKA20 for 20% off your order. And very high quality stuff. Like I said, Wonky Weeds and Death by Gummy Bears, same company, just different banners of products. And so that same high quality of Death by Gummy Bears with their uh, infused dosages, you're going to get that as well with Wonky Weeds. And they cool the stuff. reason they, they they reached out to me is literally like uh, the episode had been live for maybe one hour two weeks ago when we advertised death by gummy bears. And I got a message from the guy I was speaking to over there. And he told me one hour after it went live, he was like, Oh my God, like <laughs> this is un one hour. We hadn't even gotten to the ad read yet. Like if, if someone started, and he was like, Holy shit, we've never seen online orders like this. This is insane. We have a number of banners. And so we're interested in doing more than just our gummy banner. We want to do our main product banner as well with the, the vapes and the carts and the disposables. And I told him, I was like, dude, this is going to do even fucking better than the death by gummy bears. Because a lot of people I think were a little intimidated. And there's even a class of THC user out there who doesn't like edibles as much. They enjoy things like, uh, like these vape cartridges and they just like it because it's easier to kind of meet out your your dosage with this that's what kyle's using right now and so check yeah, out the vape cool. cartridges very high quality stuff they've got this delta THCO. eight they've I, got um, thco this, they've got delta eight they've got uh delta, delta 10, 10 apparently i've got i've been smoking through a thco one right now and i've always been the one who's like i can't tell much difference between thco and delta eight well because these guys actually accurately dose their shit i can absolutely tell a difference between their thco and their delta eight me, vapes i'm not a vape expert but the gummy was irresponsibly potent i ate that <laughs> bear's feet off <laughs> i've never you been ate so the high. dick too you were warned <laughs> not to eat the bear dick. I, 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 you showed us that bear. Look, 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 look. It's I, I very may have simple. eaten his knees, but I, his dick was. His it dick just was looked tem tempting. Well, was see, the gummy bear that, dick. you could not extend past the feet. Okay. Yeah, he's right. I think you I ate, ate dick. dick off. Yeah, you you that strong? dick, dude. I, they're oh they're very God. strong. So Josh, so I just the feet, literally, dude. Last week I. I, I saw like a little, little bit. Night. It Dude, looked like you were having so fun, but I didn't know. High. I was so <laughs> high. I was like, like, is it okay to do this? I just ate the feet and the dick, and it was so high. I was Woody like, has a, so, so this is a like good a thing to racer. This is a good thing to bring up as well. So the the Wonky Weeds banner they have, they sell edibles as well, but they sell weaker gummies than okay. the uh, Death and by the Gummy Bears chips. guys. And uh, so the, the potato chips that are covered by chocolate, it's like if your tolerance is very low. So there's a huge bag of chocolate covered potato chips and the entire bag has 50 milligrams of Delta 8 in it. And so there, it's very low dosed. Oh, but okay. I swear to God. The amount of chocolate on these chips, it's so low dosed that I ate mine like snacks because I couldn't taste the weed and the chocolate and it melted on the way to my house. And so it was just a giant ball of chocolate and chips. And so I was just and, eating and chunks out of that and it tasted ate, good. But if you're trying to get the stoned, the gummies are the way to go or these vapes. And the one I'm recommending is the either the granddaddy flavor of <laughs> THCO or the gelato, gelato? flavor of THCO. THCO is markedly stronger yeah, than Delta like 8. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like Yeah. I don't want to hold it like forward too much. It tastes, it like, tastes like real grandparents. <laughs> well, this one, it, it tastes like granddaddy perp. It's got a little, little, uh, little grape flavor to it. And the gelato, they all taste good. But I would say if you're looking to get 
a little further to where you're going with fewer hits, go for the THCO or the Delta 10. Yep. Uh, and then additionally, they have distillates. I haven't even tried these yet, but they have little uh, containers you can put in a... Oh, I need to look at my box. I yeah, know I've, I got, I've got these. These have... This is uh, Delta 10 distillate. This is sour diesel, Delta Does 8 it distillate. Does the like the, the, uh, the it just has one one gram. I've also got these things they sent me. They're called Moon Rocks. There's like these oh, three... Little yeah, Delta Eight. I, I haven't smoked them yet. I don't have a bong, so I need to buy a bong either. to smoke it. And then this is the most fun thing. I mean, the <clears> vapes <throat> are obviously the most practical. So get vapes if you're looking for practicality. The scissor, the PKA twenty. The the syrup. This shit is so much fun. It's also <laughs> very strong. So don't fuck, <laughs> don't fuck around with it. Don't, right, right. No, 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 no. Don't, no, don't drink cook. half of this and be like, oh wow, I'm gonna like. No, it, this shit's strong. Right. Also, I disagree. I disagree. PSA, with PSA, don't make a mixed drink out of it. It tastes like weed. It's gonna make whatever you put it in taste like shit. All right. So here's <laughs> well, what I need want. to know. I need the floor. You said don't drink a lot, but you haven't given any measurements. I have no idea how much a person. Should I got have. you. All Thank right. You. So when I drink scissor. I like the grape, first of all. It's better than the cherry. I finished it's the like grape. It's like Dime Tap cherry. cough medicine. And I do swigs. I go, I take like a glug, glug, glug and swallow like a like a shot amount. Like, I don't know, I'm probably getting an ounce and a half or something like that. Okay. I don't know. There's don't a swallow that, of it. And I started with two, and then I worked my way up to four. And four swallows seems to be a good dose of scissor for me. But um, I would recommend to the average person to start off with like two tablespoons of scissor. No, okay, that that's a <laughs> wild, wild recommendation. They say start with a quarter. They say start with a quarter tablespoon. And I have a good example for this because just this past weekend, I was at my grandparents' house for Fourth of Gals. July. Uh, both my brothers were there, and my brother's wife was there. And I brought some of uh, the grape syrup. And I was like, you please call it scissor. Guy, I brought some of the grape scissor. scissor. And I Thank was like, you. guys, do you want to try some of this? It's this sponsor we have. It's really high quality and it's really good. And they were like, yeah, we'd love to. And so they got this little tablespoon and I'm not good at gauging tablespoon amounts, but it was more than a quarter tablespoon. And they both took one of those and their tolerance is not very high. And like, they both went to bed like an hour later and the next morning, like I was waking up coming out to eat breakfast and my brother was like, you fucking drugged us, dude. <laughs> and I was like, what, what are you talking about? And he's like, you dude, like me. Me, literally in the middle of the night, me and my <laughs> wife, like we were waking up being like, will this, will we ever go back? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, because the, it's, it's a potent thing and they didn't have any tolerance and they took an entire, probably their probably total amount. They each took was like a tablespoon and a half which was okay. too much because it, it's it's easy to do too much into a tablespoon. Just start mm -hmm. with the recommended amount. The All worst right. thing that can happen is that an hour later you go, I'm not as high as I thought I'd be. I guess I'll take a little more That's as opposed to, oh, I'm vibrating and I'm Ooh. not going to escape for five right. hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he's so checking out PKA20. Right. I want these guys to like us. So buy some vapes there, buy some distillate, whatever you're interested in. Uh, THCO and Delta 10 vapes. Check those out in particular. I think those are much better at getting you high than the, uh, well, not much better, but so more I agree. powerful at getting you high than the Delta 8. I agree. Um, I've been smoking their vapes for a couple weeks now. Um, I'm kind of off the gas station THCO. I've still got a few of those left over. I'm going to smoke them up, but these are on par with anything I've ever smoked as far as THCO um, carts, and mm. they get me dopey high. And uh, like we've been, we we're playing Tarkov today, and you know I, I'm like sorry guys if I team kill you I'm fucking stoned over here on this <laughs> this, this fucking THCO from our sponsor so yeah it's really good stuff and very uh, high quality stuff I want to keep them around so check it out code PKA twenty for twenty percent off and if you're a gummy bear man death by gummy bears PKA twenty twenty percent off so check them out and yeah, those things are mean somebody was comparing today like the price of the gummy bears per milligram to like the rec prices of like real weed and obviously it's cheaper but like how mm -hmm. much cheaper was enormously cheaper i guess per milligram but again it's i don't think it's a one-to-one -one sure. ratio i think that it's a little bit weaker than it's a lot closer to one-to-one -one with this company it's a lot it's as close to one-to-one -one as i've ever seen um they're fucking like we, we would not like I said it before when the gummy bears guys reached out, like I genuinely, I wanted the free weed products, but I also was like, if this is like gas station quality bullshit, I'm not going to, I'm going to say no, like we're not going to sponsor that. Absolutely. That garbage. But yeah. the reason it's so good, like we, we were fortunate that such a good quote. 
quality company. Well, I overdosed. Like, like they sent us some some testers, and I overdosed immediately. And I was like, okay, let, let, let's work with these people. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. Like they, they, they yeah. mailed something to my house that put me into a scary, scary place all night <laughs> for legally. Oh yeah. So I what I'm looking for pencil eraser sized mount of gummy bear feet, and I was as high as I've ever been in my life. It was. I, That's incredible. They, I, I figured you, you ate a couple of gummy bears. backing off the uh, the effectiveness of this stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's the logo. The, ones, huh? the logo is a bear with bleeding eyes. <laughs> okay, Woody man, that was a warning on that hat. You should have. <laughs> yeah, you know that was a warning. You know, uh, like, like by the way, it's it's not that bad of a hat. I don't think I. Uh, oh, it says "Death by Gummy Bears" on the back. Oh, I'm, I might wrap. That's it. awesome. I've been I, I was wearing it when I was moving. It was hot outside, but but yeah, um, it's it's weird that that I was explaining that to my um, my Uber driver the other day because he was the guy that was like the disco man and was talking about doing mushrooms and hallucinogens back during like watching all these cool concerts back in the day, and I was like, yeah, we've got this stuff now, and I had like this on me, and he's like, what is it? And I was explaining like. It's, yeah, it's just legal weed at the gas station or off the internet or wherever you want. It's wild. They're going to crack down on it. I know they just did in Michigan, I think. I think the they, opposite. I figured they made it, it illegal. I assumed it was coming. They made it legal, I think. Illy, uh, Delta 8 particular. Um, illegal. Yes. I think they messed up and maybe made some m- marijuana edibles legal or something. I, yes. I, I didn't get the That's whole That's my bit. understanding. That it, In particular, that if I understand this right... And it's probably 80% right. The Republicans didn't understand the law they were voting on. They didn't read the bill and they accidentally made Delta 8 and Delta 0 legal in edible form. Entirely. Uh, oh, in edible form specifically, but yeah, it for not every form. Like they went to ban some of it or something and they legalized half of it and they just didn't understand what they were. They didn't read the bill. They yeah, I don't have all the information the either. I, I thought that I that Delta Eight was illegal, and now real weed was legal. I thought they had fucked up. They're like, wait, we didn't just make Oops. legal, but we we just didn't we didn't just make weed legal, did we? Wait, what? Yeah, I here it is. I'm reading it. Minnesota inadvertently allows unregulated intoxicating cannabis edible products. Yeah, the the Democrats voted on it, knowing that they were making it legal, and the Republicans didn't understand what yes and no meant on the vote, and they accidentally made it legal that's awesome while while also banning part of it though so it sounds like had it been the other way around it still would have been major affected like in the on the flip side maybe edible was banned and the other one it just sounds like they wrote the bill shitty yeah they legalized delta eight nine ten and zero or thc wait nine yeah that's weed i was about to say that's weed isn't it so no no apparently it's not because delta nine is this Oh, that's like right. That's syrup. Delta Nine, and it's called like THC Nine. Yes, I thought that that was THC. That's, that's was real THC9. weed. Oh, no, well, Delta Nine is nine. different. No, that's yeah. scissor. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was Delta Nine THC. In any uh, case, I thought it was hilarious that they legalized it by accident, and now like if you look, it's Minnesota. It's pretty great. It happened. Midi uh, rocks. Did you see the video of Midi uh, uh, busting those 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 cra- those crab thieves the other day when yeah, they were, Mid- they were trying Midi's to- a hero. First of all, Mitty's mm-hmm. lost like a hundred pounds. He's like he was he's always been a fucking giant of a dude. He's like six four, six five, or whatever. Wearing those clown gotta make fun of him. Wears those clown shoes or like size sixteen or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got a special order of them. And uh <laughs> he uh he's working loss prevention and he's like at the door like a fucking football player and this dude's running trying to steal this giant thing of toilet paper and then he like <laughs> yoinks it from him and then like he's like a secret service agent uh, or something he throws it to safety where no other thieves are and prepares for a second thief like completely discounting the first thief <laughs> pushing him out to, off the side next goal. he's like a, he's like a linebacker stripped of yeah. his toilet paper yeah. he's no longer a threat yeah, well, he, he had secured the toilet paper away from the thief, mm-hmm. so he couldn't Threat get neutralized. The rest of his team was coming into position, <laughs> and they would secure that loot, right? The other POCs. He's got, yeah, he's got a couple of guys like working working with him up there. They've gotten guns pulled on them, and they've gotten threatened with guns. And there's been shootings. But the what silliest did they do to his thing, car? They cheesed it. Right? They cheesed his car. So he's like oh part. Uh, you know, he's lost prevention, so he has access to all the cameras, and so he. He gets to his car one night and someone has thrown cheese singles on the hood and the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? 
And so he goes back in and like looks through and he, he sent me the video of this clown doing a drive by cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> like he's hanging out the side window of, the, of his buddy's car, slinging craft singles at Mitty's Mustang. They probably stole those craft singles too. Probably so. That's Hopefully why they had so, so many to throw. Oh, it was money pack. Coming in his nose. Yeah. Apparently, um, <laughs> did we finish the ad reads? Yeah, we got them all knocked yeah. out. Apparently, oh, there's God. big business reselling Tide Pods and detergent in general. You get you can get fifty percent of you can get fifty percent of its value on the street. Is what the thief told Mitty. Mitty's got like their pictures and everything. Like he could just take your. He's not a cop. So if you steal from Mitty, he can just take your picture and send it to me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we'll like laugh about you in private. You know. Like, yeah. There's there's no professionalism there's, there's no private private shit and privacy and none of that shit like, like i'm just looking at this dope sitting there handcuffed talking about how he um steals tide pods and sells them for half price on the streets <laughs> and uh and they sometimes they've got as little as like three things like three things of pods it'll be like 40 dollars. yeah we got them all and then sometimes it'll be um like 1300 dollars last week he got one it was a huge shopping cart full of cough syrup they're they're after some scissor they're wow, yeah. trying to get fucked up. <laughs> How did they get access to that? You talking about it was actually some scissor? It's no, it was like they're, they're just clearing the, the the fucking aisle, the shelves off into the shopping cart and trying to get out. And oh, they don't give Mitty's a fuck what it is. them into the parking lot and yeah. wrestling their goods. Away Mitty's from a gamer them. and he's built these <laughs> skills and watching things happen on all these monitors. And can't like reflex. You can't get anything past him. He's, he's also he's, he's also in plain so he's in plain clothes. He's in like a hooded sweatshirt and jeans, and he's just walking around the store like stalking people too. And so he's <laughs> always lurking by the door, and they're radioing him. And he's he's like a secret service agent for Crab, basically. He should get a promotion, mm -hmm. like absolutely. He's, he's, he should be an actual like cop or a no one works. He was in the Police Explorers. He's a Police Explorer. What what is that? What is a Police Explorer? It's like, it's like a junior policeman, like it's a Boy like Scout, a, a fan of police. It, you you go to the police snitch? station and you are trained. <laughs> and you go to the police station and you put on a little silly uniform. No offense mm -hmm. to any junior police. No, fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> and, and they put on this, this gay ass uniform and then they they do some junior policeman <laughs> shit. You know they all get a magnifying yeah. glass and they look for clues. And they they do gay shit as you say. I, I, I they tattle tail. They shower. I, I think everybody gets that same thing where you order batons and other shit to beat up black people on the streets that they yeah, jerk yeah. off to so much to fill your utility belt. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Judge yeah. Dredd. Um, what kind of stick would you carry? The nightstick that is the T sort of shape thing, or yeah. would you do one of the extending no. antennas? You're asking style. classic that's or telescopic. Lail. That's that's the real that that those are the two that I see most people classic going with. Telescope. Classic or telescopic. I, on the other hand, want the old school little billy club. I want the the little miniature baseball bat with that leather yeah. strap on the end that I can kind of twirl around and. and okay, okay, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. What is the weapon called that is the classic? With a ball on the end of a chain with flail. spikes on it, flail. a flail. I was literally looking up a, a picture of a, star. a, a picture morning star. It's a morning true. star. Is not, similar. Not it's a morning true. star. The stick with the ball on the end. Um, um, that's yeah, a, that's yeah. A no mace. chain. I think. No, that's a right. Mace that's, is, that's uh, a mace is is the stick with the ball on the end. A flail well, the is, is flail. this like what the chain. Witch King has, where it's got the chain on it. Mm -hmm. These are all flail, weapons in RuneScape. I flail much cooler looking. Like aesthetically, the flail the flail is tight. More difficult yeah. to use as well. Yeah, and that just shows like yeah. a commitment to cruelty. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine. I think I could mix it up. I mix up mix up genres and cultures and have like a flail and some ninja stars. Well, I don't know. You, That'd be pretty cool. Stop a criminal with a ninja star to the kidney. I was gonna mm. say you couldn't really punish someone with a ninja star. Yeah, but I mean, without without killing them. Yeah. But then you you also couldn't punish someone with a medieval one-handed flail. I don't think I can kill it. I couldn't bother somebody with a ninja star. <laughs> I was about to say, you are way overestimating the deadliness. It of would it. bounce off a cotton t-shirt if I threw Dude, it. The, the only I thing I could do with a, with a, it. the only thing I could reliably do with a ninja star is lose money. <laughs> so, Throw $5. Losing stars Throw $5 bills. I'd be like, time. why is this idiot giving me his ninja star? I remember. Okay. Yeah. And a I thousand years from to... now, some archaeologist will believe a great warrior lived here. <laughs> I was like 10 years old. I was like 10 years old. We went on vacation to Gatlinburg and I bought mm -hmm. a boomerang, like an authentic fucking Australian wooden boomerang. And I was mm -hmm. so goddamn psyched to throw it. But obviously we're in our, we're staying in a cabin up there. It's the woods. And then we're in mm -hmm. like downtown. There's, you can't throw it. Get back home. I sling that thing once. It goes off into the woods, never to be seen again. Oh. One, I, I went, woo, 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 and it just went <laughs> away. 
Come on. You brought me, not a boomerang. <laughs> we never found it. I did the same exact thing with the boomerang as a kid because I had seen like fucking rescuers down under or some show where they were like masterfully using it. And I remember like like eight year old me being like the flat side in the palm of the hand and it'll return to me. And then just throwing it and it going like 35 feet and just sticking into the ground. And be like, like, I, I, I guess say there. Was it the boomerang that you're describing? It was a triangle. Ah, like, I got one of those a few years ago. They're great. Yeah, and I threw it, and it didn't always come right back to me, but it sometimes did. It More or less, did. it'll come back. Mine was like, direction. like just the curved, like hard plastic. It wasn't even wood. Mm. Um, so there's a little technique and finesse to throwing a boomerang that doesn't. It's not evident when you look at it. How retarded those fucking abos are! That that's the weapon they came up with. That's a terrible weapon. It's the worst. It's like, what is, know, what is I mean, it? I refuse to believe that, that, that they could kill anything with it. I think it's a big fucking lie that they told white people. And guess what? If you hit something with it, it's not coming back. Just throw rocks. I if you like have if a you, successful a boomerang hunt, it's not coming back to your hand anyway. It's laying there next to the dead In gazelle. In addition to that, if you miss it, it's not coming back. You need to throw it in a particular way to get it to come back. You might as well use yeah. a rock. I'm with you. It's not like I, I, I can throw it at a rabbit, miss the rabbit, and get a second shot. It doesn't reload. All right, now here's where it it's might work. If you, were throwing it, full of boomerangs. if you were throwing a boomerang into a flock of birds, like repeatedly, maybe, yes. Yeah. So that way you had something like coming and going through the oh, flock. How patient is this flock of birds? <laughs> well, you're, I <laughs> imagine them swarming around you in a, in a tornado. So they're asking for it. <laughs> they're attacking. This is actually they want, they're, they're from curious the about of the boomerang. And they want to be involved. Okay. This, is, this is defend yourself from the birds of Australia who attack. Okay. With no warning. Sometimes I have yeah. No, no but you're right. The, the boomerang, boomerang is, is a dumb. is a bullshit weapon. It doesn't even have like a blade on it or anything. It's just trash. You know what's dumber than the boomerang? I can't. I'm hold on. Give me a sec. Yeah, like, Jesus. I, I'm um, really. You have one. I'll, I'll give you a clue. You have one. Oh. No, a didgeridoo isn't a weapon. This, how do we know? <laughs> it's certainly not a musical instrument. What the it fuck? It certainly is. is. I have one would right you, there. Would you, would you knock out a few notes for us? Yeah, give, us a little... give me a sec. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look here. He's been, he's been free bird. <laughs> free bird. Free bird. <laughs> oh, I love Master of Puppets. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Vuvuzela or whatever. <laughs> you know, he's a little one note in his musical. Yeah, yeah, I need mean, to get a little higher with that. <laughs> it's like flickering in and out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear his lips flapping. Yeah, you can hear him. <laughs> I imagine what an it is. It literally <laughs> sounds like, but, but with more that brief. Was he? Was this supposed to be defense of this as an instrument? I think he might have proved your point, Kyle. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Better than you should play. Better than you thought. Hey, How long you been playing, man? <laughs> I, 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 I dabble. <laughs> a little theory. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm not one to I'm not one to burg. <laughs> I was saying that if Kyle was declaring that a didgeridoo is not an instrument, I have to say I don't think he did a great job defending we were, his status as an instrument. Yeah, of, like, you can go <laughs> fuck yourself for that. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought I did a great job. Did you not hear the? <laughs> did you hang up on him? Bring him back in the mix. <laughs> did Bye, did you not hear the distinct notes? The I heard lip touching lip and some spit. I heard you trying real hard. I but, tried so well because there's not much you can do. It, the, it's just so the aboriginals. The it's aboriginals, this tiny little beeswax covered hole. That doesn't even go across your whole mouth. And yeah. so, like, the only way to change it is to, like, purse your lips and go, like, wee, woo, wee, woo, as you're, like, blowing wee, air through your lips. Wee, woo, so you're under wee, the wee, 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 wee. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Josh gets the, so the like, aboriginals. Like, I do SpongeBob Badger. references all the time, and no one. They were there for a thousand years, and, and that's where they, like, capped out technology-wise. Yeah. We were talking about other cultures that kind of failed in certain areas earlier today. Because uh, I saw one of those, um, there was a thief at Mitty's work wearing a uh, one of those rice paddy hats. <laughs> mm -hmm. <That's laughs> had, I was so I saw him on security footage, and I was like, "That is the worst hat. That is the lowest tier hat in all of hatdom." And then I realized that there were some cultures that never figured out the fucking hat. Like I, that's true. Yeah, yeah, and, that's the best that they had. You know what yeah. a good looking hat the parchment? was? Parchment. The uh, the World War One Kaiser like spiked hats. 
Mm. Very, very good hats. Oh, yeah, really? they had like oh, a helmet. That's but... a stupid helmet. What? You don't think those looked cool back in the day? No, they don't look cool with the spikes on them. Yeah, that's neat. It was mm. supposed to be for defense. You, I assume you can another bash weapon. a man with it. I don't like it, dude. Uh, on a related note, I have to mow again soon. I'm going on this trip. I need to mow right before I leave, so I'm trying to buy a cowboy hat. I want to wear a cowboy <laughs> hat for my tractor, and and I feel like I'm not even a poser, right? A tractor person would have a cowboy hat. So I start looking across the cowboy hats, and I am inexplicably drawn to women's cowboy hats. Every time I'm going across <laughs> Amazon, just like one after the other, I'm like, this hat's stupid, this hat's lame. Ooh. ooh it's a woman's. This one. It's a woman's cowboy hat. I, again, I am narrowly dodging. Josh might not know. I have previously bought a cowboy hat. I put it on, and I was like, aren't I the bee's knees? And everyone else is like, Yes, sweetie, you look adorable. Some of the Dolly Parton. <laughs> well, yeah, she's pretty good. What brand is this? Bronk and Becky. God yeah. damn. And then the, the description was like ladies' cowboy hat, and it was pretty undeniable. Oh, so, shit. It was a cowgirl's today, hat. Best I could find unisex cowboy hats that appealed to me, but apparently I'm very much drawn to women's You're looking for a sun hat, right? Hmm. But a cowboy hat. I, I mean, I did. Wear. This is important. I, people come to gather around and watch me mow. It's quite the evidence. Well, the answer is hat. this is a hat for you. And so, therefore, you should get yourself a lady's hat. I might. It's the good answer. Get yourself a woman's hat and, uh -huh. and, and cinch it up tight under your chin so it doesn't fall off, honey. You guys, <laughs> you, it won't fit you, on your head. You guys didn't, even, you guys didn't even talk about how much you liked my new hat. I show love your hat. hat. I love you to you please like show your hat. hat. Yeah. I love the deals that it comes along with. <laughs> my man get that far away in the last 10 minutes. Hey, been getting free hey. our bucks all week. Please put it full screen. Hey. <laughs> you guys don't like my new hat? <laughs> I love your new hat. You're gonna get discounts at autos over there. I want this to get discounts at, at local Subway. restaurants. <laughs> he, they gave him a foot long for the price of a six inch while, while wearing well, that. They call me the Benjamin Button GI because I was there. <laughs> no, I was the oldest fighter in the war back in the day, and now I'm the youngest. And people are always saying I'm stealing valor. And then, <laughs> but it's my valor. They'll, they'll be I was like, really hoping to a time traveler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like you went back, fought the Nazis, and then came back to the future, and now you're just going about your life. I had to go help, bro. Trying to Draw to defend right. my country. It, it, <laughs> would, would some of the fans do a good job of photoshopping Taylor on like the beach at Iwo Jima planting the flag or something? Not, <laughs> uh, you know, some stuff like that. He was in the Pacific Theater, okay? Just Time that's travel. all you need to know. He, yeah. he killed 50 men, and they were all Japs. And uh, yeah. if you could. I would like that if he could just yeah, be in the background. Yeah, we need some pictures the, to prove uh, it, guys. Uh, Semper Fi, Semper Fi, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't know about about fifty. You know, I'm not like Cotton Hill. I'm not quite a hero like him. No, no, you kept. You your still shins. got your shins. Yeah, and you still got your shins. Out here. I still got my shins. <laughs> <laughs> you still a got your shins. You're not a hero, hero such as yourself should be should be celebrated. Yeah, dude, I just got so fucking baked last week that like <laughs> I ordered the world war ii veteran like in my head i was sitting there playing magic i think it may have like been after a pka last week where i was like cracking up to myself about how funny buying a world war ii veteran hat was and then like forget about it because i was baked out of my mind and then two days later it just arrives and i'm like this is wildly inappropriate <laughs> and, <laughs> hilarious. and funny though and funny yeah it because like they're, they're too old i could i could beat up any world war ii veteran you know what I yeah. Be. yeah anybody's Equally, gonna gripe about it Equally yeah. ironic, and I think a little less offensive, if, is getting a kid a world's best dad shirt or something like that. Like a, like, <laughs> like a, like a, like a 13, 14 year old kid. Or world's best mom. That, that's even funnier to me. That's going to be a lot of glances. Mom, world's greatest mom on a 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere she goes, yeah. what the fuck, man? <laughs> Imagine taking your kid out with that shirt on. Though. They're gonna be looking at you, yeah. and, give, and, and especially if you have, if you're one, if it's one of those big families where you've got a twelve-year-old and a toddler, <laughs> yeah. so you can take them out together, <laughs> right? Oh, I, uh, those are the kind of YouTube videos I want to see. I, I I tried to find a Civil War veteran hat first, <laughs> well, but those they do exist. not sell those. No, they don't. <laughs> Not even as a but it's a funny idea to sell Civil War veteran hats it for is. old people. I mean, my dad's a bodybuilder; he's got a for anyone. It's a joke right. that all can enjoy. <laughs> That's true. We take the we take the, the we take the hardened, intense sacrifice of the generations that came before, and we make it chintzy. We wear it on our shoulders. 
Yeah. <laughs> we stick on the flag in the ground and say, look what we did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're American. I mean, we won. You know what I'm saying? We did Wouldn't win. we still we be saying win that win the if the Civil War. War went the other way? Wouldn't we still be saying we're American, we won? Uh, There's mind. no... That's no. the best thing about a Civil War is you can't lose. Yeah, Not really. Like, whatever side wins America is going to come wins. out They'd and be, be like, the righteous the side won. Would they still be the American? <laughs> it was the Confederacy, I guess. Yeah, we were not the Confederacy, I think. Damn. No, if, if they would have won, though, they just would have taken America and been like, yeah, we're America. America. No, no, I don't think they were fighting the country. I don't think that was the plan. Yeah, see, breaking up because you're arguing no, I don't know anything about this. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know I was arguing. <laughs> if, you, if you had a better argument, then your internet would work. That's what we're doing here, God damn it. Um, so I saw something cool yesterday and I had to buy them. Um, apparently they make grapes now that taste like cotton candy because they do some sort of black magic fuckery to them and they taste exactly like fucking cotton candy. The little, little I, did you guys know that there's cotton candy grapes? These exist I need in the one. world. I didn't uh, know cotton, that. Cotton candy is not that great of a candy, honestly. But are, 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 it's but not. It's but fruit. grapes, it's a and, fruit and, that now tastes like cotton candy. It's delicious. I mean, that's an I do like that. Yeah, but in it, the world of if we have the science to make a grape like cotton candy, why not Snickers? Why not a good candy? Well, the thing <laughs> with me is that I'm a, I personally like grapes a little bit better than I like cotton candy. So it's kind of a move backwards, but I'd, I'd eat I them for the I promise you this is a great step forward. Anybody out there, you just fucking get on your Instacart right now. Or, the or great whatever. step forward, <laughs> like what Mao said. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly. Or 80 million. Like 80 Mouse. million will die because of it. <laughs> but it seems like forward. a good idea getting rid of those goddamn sparrows that were eating all of our grain. Dude, that is the funniest like misappropriation of government power ever. Like... Hoisted Kill all, all these cars. birds. They're not doing anything but greedily destroy. eating the insects on our crops. And it's like <laughs> they're destroying okay. the things that destroy our crops. Then kill all the starlings or the sparrows or whatever it was. And then it's like, turns out we needed them to eat the bugs <laughs> that are destroying our crops. Turns out we shouldn't have thrown all the farmers in jail and put bureaucrats in charge of running farms because they don't know how to farm. Yeah, that wouldn't go Lots well. Of mistakes. Who Lots could have seen mistakes. that coming? But by the great, they're fucking good. I got a whole bag of them downstairs. I'm going to eat them right after the show. That's whole like, uh, have, have you ever seen like those really funny threads of like communists on Twitter who like are out and out communists and like you have to search for it, but they'll say things like after the communist revolution, I'm going to be involved in communist theory. And they'll be like, after the revolution, I'm going to draw pictures and sell them to people. And it's like, after the revolution, you're going to be deemed worthless and thrown in a work camp until you die. Like, are you retarded? Like, what, even when communism happened in the Soviet Union, what did they immediately do when they got power? They killed all the intellectuals, all the all the out of line supporters of the party. And so it was just funny seeing these people online being like, yeah, I'm a communist. And once communism is achieved, I'm going to be the guy who's high class and sits there and tells people how communism works. It's like, no, idiot. You're going to be killed by a guy who knows how it works better than you. Hey, like, this yeah. guy's a commie. Traitor. Traitor yeah. to our country. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> no, they'd be, they'd be like, uh, no, actually, this guy who was in favor of our revolution is actually a kulak now and should be killed for being Remember evil. Remember the Seinfeld when when uh, that they were yeah. <laughs> Wayne's boyfriend's giving that commie literature to to Kramer and he and he's starting to get on board and the little midget guy is, is like get out of that Kramer that commie shit yeah. <laughs> he's was, to uh, over. you got me blacklisted from Pop Sings <laughs> is that what it is yeah. yep yep that's great you name name <laughs> and then, and then that guy she leaves. names names yeah yeah, yeah. She name names. Yeah, that's great. Making making Seinfeld references. No one. Woody, when I cut grass, <laughs> traditionally when I would cut grass, I I wore a hat that's that was like more of a straw cowboy hat. I like those, and I think that though um, that's what I was looking for. And Zach links yeah. straw cowboy hats. I'm like, ooh, I like these. But 156 dollars for a what? straw hat? Get out of here! I'm more of a for the last of your lifetime. We, we don't need one for the lifetime. We need for one for the summer. That is bullshit. <laughs> 156 dollars for a straw hat. No, I, I, I got a twelve dollar. <laughs> I got a twelve dollar cowboy hat that I've had, and I keep it in the trunk of my car. Shit falls on it. It's got holes in it. It's a cowboy hat. Yeah. Protects you from the sun, I bet. If you I, need it. Uh, next time I see a big truck stop, I'll go in and try on the cowboy hats, and that's they'll my have dad, a twelve dollar hat. Last time I we went to Texas, my dad bought the biggest fucking sombrero they had. He bought <laughs> the biggest fuck immediately. He's like, "What do you think?" And I'm like, "I think it looks absurd, and I won't be around you if you wear it in public." And he's like, "Ah, it's for the desert." 
And I'm like, good, because I was afraid you're about to start doing a Mexican accent. He's like, well, that's later. <laughs> So he, he wore that big fucking sombrero out in the desert, and it was easy to spot him. <laughs> yeah, and it kept the sun. He, like How you big could, was it? The, it was fucking comical. It was like the Three Amigos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a, what a great, great movie! Close enough to him, you could get in the shade. It was silly. It was an umbrella hat. <laughs> but we were in the desert, <laughs> like they're walking around. It was fucking hot. I was uh, on the way to my grandparents on uh, Friday. You know, they live in deep southern missouri and so you pass a lot of those those odd gas stations on the way there and like literally it was one of those like trucker big stops and we stopped to get some gas and like i was walking through and like there there were like literally t-shirts with like joe biden running away from like a tractor going towards (laughs) him and i was like i i i I think like i have i i should have bought it (laughs) but it was just a wild whole section where i'm like oh they they really dislike him here (laughs) like i saw the opposite when i was in wyoming it was very pro trump which is you know i guess the same side of the coin i don't know but um i was surprised how you could be that political at a restaurant oh yeah but in Wyoming, you're only losing what, like 14 percent of your clientele. Who cares? Oh, not Fuck even, them. not even that. <laughs> not even that. No. Some, okay, Eight you're percent. you're losing the three people and who the moved there from like California. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and yeah. the tr- the real truth is, like, they'd rather not have your money. You know, like, 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 like yeah. they, they don't they want would you prefer there. it that way. And you might be like, ha, huh, well, they won't get it. And it's like, yeah, that's what they want. They right. have. Don't fool yourself into making this any other thing than them winning. They don't want you in their place. Oh, they want more business. than that. They Delicious. got my money and I kept my mouth shut. They oh. completely dominated that thing. <laughs> they been winning. Yeah, money. Like, that's like the, the worst. Thing. They made you cow and come in and eat your fucking macaroni in silence. That, that is how it went. Yes, <laughs> they win. It's, it's like the, the, the people on Earth that are like the most opposed to like gentrification are the same Californians, like moving to poor Idaho communities and pricing those people out. I don't like, understand what's bad about gentrification. I really can't. Like, no one has ever explained to me why. I don't understand it either nice because it seems oh, like if, if people Atlanta. leave, that's white flight and that's bad. And then if people come there, that's gentrification and that's Let bad. You, where what? do you want us to live, folks? Like what? <laughs> where you were born, damn it. Nowhere like, else. You know, they took this rundown neighborhood and then they invested in it and they made it nicer. And now it's more expensive to live there. Yeah. Oh, woe is me. All the people who like, stayed their property values went up too how are you a victim in this i love it they did it in east atlanta I don't get it and like they kept the graffiti on the wall so it now just feels hip <laughs> <laughs> now it's cool yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, like aren't those gang tags nah come on let's go get a burger it's, uh, it's great. No, but you, you do see that shit like you're right Woody. And it runs them right, right it'll out. be like wow all you whiteies moving out of the city oh, white know, flight great. yeah or it's in like, area, oh, you whiteies moving into the city, gentrification. And it's like, well, <laughs> well what? Where so do we live? Like, where I live is, is considered Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. It's this Raleigh, Durham, Chapel mm-hmm. Hill. That's the triangle. There's this huge zoning thing that only like tech companies and pharmaceutical companies can be there. They figured out that like these guys have alpha jobs. So for every engineer you get, you get a mechanic, a restaurant, or something else. And they're mm-hmm. like, we want these alpha jobs to move here. So they zoned for it. It worked. Cool. Well, people would sell their farms and then like IBM would buy farmland and put up a big building there and, and mm-hmm. hire people. And they're like, Oh, these poor farmers are being forced to move out. Meanwhile, the farmers are getting like $17 million. Like yeah. they're not poor farmers. They're farmers who struck it rich. I hate how they painted all the sellers as victims. Mm. When they chose to sell, you mean? Yeah. And they chose to sell. They right cashed out. out. Yeah, like, I want to see the movie about the farmer who, when they get offered the money, they're like, "Oh, thank God, I hate getting up at five a.m." <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. I, can, I know you're just gonna build a factory here. Can I go out there and shoot every one of those fucking cows in the head? <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Just like, leave. You clean. You you clean up the mess. <laughs> Deal. Like, like, Deal. <laughs> I, I know, Kyle. Like you grew up very close to farming culture oh, and yeah. agriculture and all that. Like I grew up in St. Louis, but I was. And my grandparents all the time, they owned a cattle farm. And there is this like weird, it, it's mostly right wing people, frankly, that I see with it doing this shit. Like mm-hmm. you just need to live in a rural area and just do your own thing. And just like the, the, the pioneers would like that kind of bullshit. And it's like, right. what, what, like, are you retarded? Like, 
really like we're, we're, not, we're, not going, we're not going back to that dumbass like you you think the best thing to do is you're telling people to just go move in the middle of nowhere with no infrastructure no nothing like chop their firewood and grow their food i think that like yeah. that whole that whole argument is a bunch of bullshit like i see and like i like i said it's largely right-wing people making it where they're like oh, all the systems are against us and they're all oppressing us so let's move to the middle of nowhere and it's like are you like if that were true and all of these institutions were oppressing you in this way, the solution you believe is to disenfranchise yourself, make yourself more dependent on a strained out electrical grid and hope for the best. Like what, what are you right. doing? Like, are you retarded? Like that doesn't like even your little fantasy world doesn't make sense. Like I, I spent a while a few days ago, like going through this absolutely psychotic Twitter thread of someone talking about how you, you got to move into the middle of nowhere and start raising your own beets and hunt squirrels. <laughs> no. And it's like, where do you Grow your toenails? Because it says tweeted from my iPhone. <laughs> you, fucking, <laughs> you liar. Why don't you lead? The, why don't you lead the way? Lead the way. Show us how it's done. How about a year from now, you post a video of your totally sustainable compound. Prove us wrong. Like, like, but they're not going to do that. They're mm. telling, like, it was a whole thread of some lunatic telling people to move into the middle of nowhere because of some uh, uh, you know, phantom impression. Was the end coming? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the the yeah, end was, like, was nigh. I, yeah, he I, said the end was coming when they blew up the monument. I stocked in my pantry earlier, and it, it really showed, you know, during the move, and it showed yeah. just how much hoarding I had done during the uh, the pandemic. pandemic. What what had you hoarded as far as? Please oh. tell me it had beans. Please tell me there were lots and lots of kidney beans and, beans, <laughs> beans and kidney beans. The worst so beans. <laughs> I got. What I did is I would imagine like a, a scenario where the power grid had gone down. It had been weeks that we've been living on like our favorite canned goods. And I was like, let's get some variety stuff in here that we're going to, you know, we don't need ravioli and chili every night. We're going to have to have some vegetables and some fruits. So there's like all these fruit cocktail and yeah, pineapples, plus, things I never eat. Big bat. <laughs> there's like 15 pounds of rice and beans, like just dry, <laughs> like, like, like big bushels oh my God. Of bags of them. Yeah, so you can and lead up to death cans. in a miserable way. <laughs> you need no, 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 that's the worst part. I have all these little sterno canisters and like heaters that you can like light with a lighter and they're like, they're like it's like a little, little stove. I'm imagining oh, I've got a myself of those for camping. Yeah, I'm imagining myself stirring a can of ravioli, like <laughs> using the can to kill a man and then like crawling into the bushes, I guess, in Atlanta. I don't know what the plan was. Survival. Crawling into the bushes of Atlanta. I've got cans <laughs> of like tomato and okra and corn like mixed together. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that shit. You survival mode. That is, dude, like okra is only good fried. Okra Look, I, is a bullshit vegetable. That I think doesn't I would, do any, even in shit like uh um gumbo pro, where they put sliced up okra. Or it's not very good okra is the worst part of gumbo if you fry up some it's all okra, slimy absolutely delicious Fried okra's well, fire bro but every other yeah. form i don't like it uh, every time i go know, to my grandparents all i know is i can survive here for weeks and weeks and weeks no problem i've got i got plenty of beans and you'll that have hot is food like, with your that stove. is like the ultimate indictment of okra as a food is that mm -hmm. it's only good fried i agree you do you disagree, Kyle? Do you think okra is good non-fried? I don't even like okra fried, if I'm being honest. <laughs> well, that's wrong. But I feel like There's you're coming to so okra many better options. Hard. All right, at a place that has fried okra, that's some sort of southern-style restaurant or barbecue joint, right? So there's True. like eight other sides that are superior to fried okra. I mean, Everything never, you do with a potato is better. I've never ordered okra at a restaurant. I'm talking about at my grandma's house when she goes to her garden and I've gets the okra been. and fries it up. You know, I'll invite <laughs> you. I would... I would love to bring you to my grandma's house it would be so much fun it wouldn't even have over. to be it, it literally wouldn't even have to be a content thing i could just be like hey grandma and grandpa my friend kyle's coming down to hang out and they'd be like well that's great neat what does he like to eat like, don't make that's, him smoke. <laughs> that's what they would ask they'd be like and he's from georgia oh well he's gonna he's love some of the stuff we're making we'll, <laughs> we'll make him they, literally <laughs> josh they would do that be like, he's from he's from georgia Peach you know what? I'm gonna make him some peach cobbler. I bet that I would make eat a whole right. goddamn I bet peach that would cobbler. make him feel right at home. Like that's yeah, how it my grandma it is. Really <laughs> Kyle Boz right into the stereotype. Cool. Yeah, my, grandma's the best, my grandma's peach the best grandma on earth. Dessert. I love her dearly. Peach cobbler is peach oh, cobbler. Is fucking it slaps. is my favorite dessert. Peach cobbler with vanilla ice cream. You know there wow. are a lot of pies are very very good. 
It doesn't matter if it's a Hershey's peanut butter pie, a pecan pie, a key lime pie, an apple pie, a cherry pie. Name a bad pie. You can't do it. Pies no. are fucking awesome. I'm not that. Pie. I'm not that into cherry pie, honestly. But I, I like me neither. Uh, but it's still pie. Key, key lime pie is Man. one of the most slept on flavors of all time. Key like lime key is lime. so delicious. I love it. It's it, it's nice and light, and so you can pretend you're not eating pie. <laughs> Why would you want to pretend you're not eating pie? So you don't feel like uh, bad at night. <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when you're like trying, when you're like trying to fall asleep, and like you have a bunch of guilt about things like that, you know. <laughs> you're like, I shouldn't eat that piece of pie. I feel you. Hey, mm. did you uh, smoke that chicken? Yes, I did. I smoked the chicken. It turned out tremendously. Have you been? Do you cook more now than you did, say, uh, two months ago for your family? Absolutely. Like, yeah. Just just yesterday, uh, I was working in my living room, and it got to be like. 2 p.m. So I ran to the store real quick, bought a whole chicken for like 12 bucks, uh, bought a, a case of um, Bud Light to like for, for the beer can chicken to, to put it in there. And then got my little stand, got it all set up. I, I did make a mistake. I you was assume we all know what beer can chicken is. I, so, uh, I, does it so go in the beer can? Yeah, Put the beer so, can in the chicken. So, uh, chicken. so there's there's a flat stand and then a, a cylindrical wire and you put a can of beer in there. And then you open the beer and then you put and you pour about a quarter of the beer out and then you put spices into the beer container. And then you take the chicken and you set it with the beer can. Yeah, you can just put the beer like that's a very small chicken. And so like if you use a large chicken. so much more erotic than I imagined. Yeah, you need (laughs) basically like you need you need a stand if you use a larger chicken. And so you have a stand that has the beer in it. And then you and then you uh, wasn't finished. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we, they weren't finished, dude. So we put the, the chicken on top of it. And my wife, she did the most recent beer can chicken and she like cut off the whole top of the beer. So it was just like an open <laughs> container. And this time I looked up and I found a fat man on YouTube who said, actually, you don't want to cut off the whole top of the beer can. You just want to like crack it open a little bit because then the pressure and the lack of oh, ability shit. for the steam to get out of there makes it boil faster because apparently like the uh, beer has Taylor. nothing to do with the flavor. Like it doesn't have to be beer. It could be you came, anything. You, see, you came so wickedly Taylor, close to blowing that can the, up. This chicken has the beer can further up. Does that imply it's like sluttier than the other yeah. chicken we saw? Yeah, that, that's a whore of a That's chicken. a whore chicken. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a gaping That's a game hand. Oh. That's an, I mean, that, you know, that's, I, that's I a good looking. Like, it's a good looking chicken, though. That but it's that, it, that looks it is, done. Oh, it, that is done. But like basically, the so then you, you barely crack the beer, and then the heat steams up the beer with all the spices in it, and it starts evaporating and keeps the inside of the chicken moist. And so it only takes like three and a half, four hours to smoke the whole thing, <laughs> and then you have a mere days worth hours. of chicken. <laughs> no, it's it's only four. Like I, like I said, I went. Oh, out, I, I, I put. I put it on the on the smoker at around 2 p.m. By 6 p.m., I went out there after doing zero work, got a delicious chicken off of there, and then my wife pulled it with forks, and it was it was tremendous. It's it's How cheap big. as shit. It's high quality meat. It How tastes great. Chicken? Smoking is the way to go. How big of a chicken? It yeah. was probably 50 percent bigger than that one we saw on the beer. Like this was a big enough oh, chicken yeah. that had we set it on top of the beer, it, it wouldn't have gripped it. Damn. What's that? You could eat it by yourself. Oh, uh, I, I, what about is it bigger than a rotisserie chicken that you would get from the grocery store? Much I can, bigger. Because no, I can like sit there and eat one of those. That's I a routinely. good way to compare it. It's 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 twice the size of a rotisserie chicken. One of my favorite things to mm-hmm. do is uh, uh, to order Instacart from uh, the grocery store and just order an entire rotisserie chicken, rotisserie chicken, and a side of rice and just eat the entire thing. I love rotisserie chicken. Like I I remember I like the idea of eating the whole chicken though because oh, when yeah, the bones I, are there when I'm done like. I remember being a semi adult in Got college him. and like <laughs> r- and like walking into High V one day or you know Walgreens whatever what Walmart and seeing a $4.80 whole chicken and being like this must be an error like <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> And I had a spree in college where for about 3 or 4 months I don't think I ate much other than rotisserie chickens cuz it was so cheap and it was easily like two days worth of meat if you kind of you know what the you, farmer you gets paid all wild. The farmer, how much? I don't know. A quarter. Each. A quarter per rotisserie. Yeah. Quarter per. Because they're called they're called roasters, right? 
a quarter per chicken. That's the serious? profit the farmer yeah. makes. That's what they that's sell them the, for. That's the gross. That's the total amount that a farmer makes. It's about a quarter per chicken. And by the time we buy it cooked and prepped up and everything, it's about five bucks, huh? Well, it goes through a lot of middlemen between the farmer right. and you, right? It goes somebody that slaughters that, uh, it. And somebody at least one. Cooks it. Were those the kind of chickens your uh, your dad was raising as a kid, like roaster rotisserie chickens? He worked for a bunch of different companies over the years. Last I heard, they were the chickens he grew ended up in lean cuisine frozen dinners primarily. But I think it's maybe somebody said something about Church's chicken a while back. So I don't know where the chicken okay. actually ends up. I, I really wow. don't. Yeah, that is a, a wild spectrum. You just gave. <laughs> yeah, true. Just from lean cuisine to church, the worst place that chicken exists. <laughs> or arguably one of the best. Like, so yeah, yeah. Happened. I don't know. Um, he's worked with a couple different poultry companies over the years. You're, uh, I, I never know where that's. Yeah, there is going. nothing yeah, that makes you. There's nothing that makes you more racially aware of your surroundings than walking into a church's chicken, and just being like, "Oh my god!" Like I'm the only white person here. Like, and I'm on, a, and you walk up and you're like, "Can I get some wings?" And they're like, "You poser! You, you fly into it. You don't like chicken enough to know that." <laughs> I mean that that's just daily life here. Like like, like there's the most of the counties here are more black than white. Um there was a when I was yeah. house hunting, uh I remember going to this open house at this place and the only white person people was me and the real estate guy. And everybody and I was like, Oh, okay. So only black people came here for this house. And as we were driving away, I noticed that there were no white people in traffic. I mean none. Like, like you're just like you're like right. looking for another white person, like there's no gas station attendants that are white. <laughs> we, are, you know, white here, mm -hmm. we are the only white people within like hundreds of feet around us easily. And we drove for like three or four minutes before we uh, finally Kyle's, saw uh, uh, you're, you're a minority in your city. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. In Atlanta. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's like that all across a lot of the South, isn't it? And, and I'm going to start acting like yeah. one. Well, I mean, like, oh, black. yeah. And what, yeah, how would you act like a minority? I guess I already I have. I got locked up for drugs point. and went to prison. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on some bullshit. I'm fighting the fight with you guys. You know, <laughs> solidarity. As, as a fellow minority. Fuck 12. Sorry. You know. As a person of crime, we're, we're all in this together. Person of crime. Person of crime. As POCs, we're all in this together, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been, play I've been playing some Tarkov, like I said, uh, from the beginning. And uh, it, it, they haven't added what a level lot of you now. Oh, 15 or 16. I just got the flea market, so yeah, I can actually play market. now. So there's levels it? in Tarkov. There oh, I'm not going to describe the whole game, but it is um, very in-depth with this really minutia-filled building system, like like uh, kitting your guns and your armor out and knowing what bullets do what. It's super in-depth, but the game's full of players who love holding hands and like teaching new players. So... Um, is that sarcasm? Are you trying to debate me in? I'm going to come play. No, with you no that's actually true. I, I've had my hand held to learn to play also. Yeah. Interesting. Tarkov players are genuine. There are um, like, like you can go through uh, when you buy the game, there's a whole Sherpa system that you can sign up for and they'll hook you up with some dude who just gets off on holding some guy's hand through the game. Hard and it, it, don't think children. There's going to be some like 30 year old guys like, yo bro, you ready? You ready to pull, pull some noobs? Yeah. And like, He's going to guide you through and you're going to have a good time. Um, that means he loves really the game, in my opinion. A lot of people are real passionate about the game. It's mm -hmm. uh, It requires a lot of your time, so people get passionate about it, and they like introducing new people to it. So it's a lot of it's fun. It's like a drug. It, it I mean, it is a drug, a hormone. I don't know. It gets released in your brain when you play it. And yeah. I am so like, I, it just wiped. So, you know, I'm just like, oh, should I hit this thing? Should I hit this thing? And it, they wiped the whole nobody, game. No, thing, like, stay away. They wiped the whole game maybe twice a year, maybe twice mm -hmm. a year. Okay, so it's not like Rust where there's individual servers and they wipe when they want to. The game wiped right. itself. Yeah, wow, okay. you have, you have the, there's the concept server. of this personal stash where everything you've acquired and accumulated and all of you've you've attained these this high level in the game you're like a level 50 or whatever and now you have access to more odds and ends better guns better sure. weapon better uh, armor and stuff because of your high level because of things you've achieved you have such a massive advantage over a brand new player like no like in no other game uh -huh. a guy who just starts versus a guy who's been playing for 3 months and has like acquired everything he this guy cannot even kill this guy it's not even possible unless so this it's guy's not like a moron like, you know, like Rust, where I, the other day on Rust, like I said, I ganked a dude with a bone knife and just came up all the way to end game immediately. That didn't really happen that often. I mean, it, the, if he's wearing like a face mask, so you, you can't shoot him in the face. Uh, you you have to shoot him in the legs like 
14 oh. times yeah. would be the fastest way for you to kill him with a piece of shit that you might have and he can just kill you with a laser beam that he probably has <laughs> it's, it, it's light and it's night and day it's, uh, it's a very addictive fun. game i mean it so one player has an advantage over the other as kyle mentioned now that advantage is earned but like in call of duty we, what do you get to like level five or something you unlock create a class yeah and once you hit level five it, if you're not doing well it's because you're not good yet you know that's what's up it's not because your gun sucks yeah in tarkov that's not the case your gun sucks you, <laughs> you need to play knowing that you're at a disadvantage your gun will jam void fights your you game will, it jams? Your gun will stop working in the middle of a fight and you have to press l to inspect the thing and then shift t to clear the jam and then meanwhile the other oh. guy who had a good gun that doesn't jam <laughs> has been laughing at you and clowning <laughs> And shooting your legs so they break, and it's a it's a it's a mill sim supposedly. <laughs> it's shooting your legs, so your so legs are break. actually <laughs> broken, and now you can't move very fast. And now he's gonna lob a grenade at your feet, and and in Voight, he's gonna go, he's gonna say eat shit fag as he runs away. And you're gonna <laughs> die. It's that that, that doesn't you seem can't do anything about it. That that no, seems just like part of gaming. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. well, power through is, until you're that guy. And this wasn't just some like frivolous life that you just lost. It was all of the gear that you, all that gear you lost was your shit. You can't mm -hmm. get more easily sometimes. It might be primo gear. It might be stuff that you can't buy. You had to scavenge it piece by piece and assemble it over the course of a week. That's and then what you get uh, playing a game yeah. like that. And I'll then they'll be up. like, ooh, I have a good gun. Oh, this gun is good. Well, I'm not going to use this gun. Don't be crazy. I don't want to risk this gun. This gun just stays in my stash because That's if I do die, I'll lose it. <laughs> <laughs> I do that on Rust. What you're looking at. <laughs> well, if I, if I use it, that puts it in jeopardy. It's called yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that might sound ridiculous to you two, but what do you no, know experience this? It's called gear fear. And yeah, you're actually... This wipe, I don't get. I got a hex grid and I immediately threw it on. Now I'm just rocking a hex grid in the bash. And when I lose it, it's gone. I don't care. Bit. Dude, if, if I if lost you my magic, me, you're going to have a hard time. If that I is, lost my what? magic cards when I lost, do you know how seriously I would take magic? Yeah. Like if I could lose a deck by losing to someone, I don't know if I would play the decks that I like. <laughs> you either got to invest all playing, your money in it or you're just are always don't. playing for pinks in this game. That's what it, I'm saying. I take things. your shit when you die. Yep. And, and and if you think about that concept, right, you might say, "Oh, well, I'll just go in with a pistol." Okay, you'll never win. You'll right. almost you'll always be the underdog, hoping to scrap out a win. But if you bring some real good shit, you'll be the guy who just zaps everybody. What about sees, the real so. guys, like like the landmarks? The he's running the best could, shit. Could he he's has no, I, the I, best I, shit, I, and he wins one v fours. I, I know that he's he's hey. got the best shit. He's like okay. the creme yeah. de la creme. Sure. But if he were to pop into a fight and he took that mentality of you know I'm going handgun, would he be good enough? Oh, he still shits on people. It, the, so so when Pistol the time when that. like handguns yeah. get defeated is when people have face shields on. Because then it doesn't matter if you're Master Blaster and you can shoot somebody in the eyes. They have their eyes armored. Right. So we, and, we've made it seem like it's a gear-based game and not a skill-based game. There are people. Maybe Landmark, I don't see Landmark running bad gear very often, although I'm sure he can. Pestily, that's the thing he'll do. He calls it zero to hero. He'll go in there with like a knife and, you know. And actually get some kills, get some Then wins. he gets a shitty gun and then he gets a better gun. And, and you know, he can leave with significant amount of wealth. But he's... One of the uh, if if you were to name three people in the world who's the best, he'd be on that short list. He might be the very best. It really depends player. on what your definition of best is, because Pastilli mm -hmm. is almost like a fucking Harlem Globetrotter. He's put so much time into the game that he's just always trying to find some new way to make. Is it he fun. better than Landmark? Would you say at what is would be the oh, question at, at Tarkov. different like, aspects of the game? There's so many fair, aspects fair of the enough, game, right? Yeah. Like if yeah. they both were to try to get as much money as possible, Pastilli might win. If they both were to try to go out and kill as many high levels as possible, Landmark might win. How about just like just like yeah. general mm -hmm. kills in the environment? If they both took a day, how many kills can you get? Well, they've done that, and I think Bastilli usually won, right? Like one, yeah, two, three. Just, that seems pretty convincing. Like, like kills Bastille is a pretty is good metric. Very, right? very good. Well, well, I would hope so. I would think you so. have to like sometimes you get lucky, and there's a bunch of noobs in your game who are not killing each other. They're you're they're letting you kill them in succession, and you're get. Who's there to was say, one time, right. look at the draw. So Pastilli had a, a favorite sniper rifle that he liked, and he was in a world championship, right? This is like, you know, they did. anyway, a fan of Pastilli's came in that game and equipped the rifle so perfectly to Pastilli's spec when he picked it up, 
it had the name that he gave that custom build. Kyle will understand this. You know how you can name your build. You can like, name. You know, this is Kyle's, Kyle's favorite M4, right? Yeah. The guy equipped right. it so perfectly when he saw it in the stash. It said Kyle's M4 on it because it matched every aspect of the build spec. Um, Damn. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Anyway, Pastilli is very, very good. I, I think a lot of people argue that his knowledge of the game makes him the best, whereas Agreed. Landmark is particularly good at clicking on pixels. Yeah, mm. and and like and th- that navigating would make him the a, best. a multi-angle fight. The knowledge, oh. like if he knows more about the game and how to do it, like I would say that makes you better at that specific game than someone who's just good at logging on. There's no on. test to take, though. It's just yeah. we're just going off feel right now. You know the like, weird like, thing—it's not the, worth even talking about. We've talked about it before. They're not, both yeah. amazingly good at the game. They're both amazingly it. good. The thing that Landmark is good at is particularly well respected. You know, beating other players with good gear. Yeah, and um, but then there's there's so many aspects of that game. You can be a pacifist. There's a guy. Is it Noise Guy <laughs> who does who's never fired a shot. He's he's a Tarkov no, streamer so. who's never fired a shot. There's a guy really, named Nice that's Guy awesome. who doesn't shoot people. And I and he just gives people free items and stuff. He's just, yeah. he's just making like, friends out there. Yeah, literally. He, he'll be like, "Hey, I'm nice guy. I don't shoot." And the, and like they'll be like, "Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want some cool loot? Sh- sure, sure." That, like, like, how does okay. he get loot? Suspicious. This he, guy, I mean, this guy he, rules. I really like this guy now that I'm hearing about it. So he's just walking up to people like, don't shoot, I'm the nice man. And they're like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, I'm here to deliver gifts. And they're like, oh, it literally okay. does that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guess, and they're suspicious like, as shit, I'm sure. Yeah, there's oh, lots of different uh, types of stories. Every Christmas they put a AI, in, like an NPC in there that's Santa. And he does that too. <laughs> and yeah. wait, the, the NPC Santa will just randomly approach you and give you a gift? Yes, yeah. but you're so on edge that every footstep scared to Kyle, didn't you <laughs> kill Santa by accident? So there, there was a con there's a thing you in the game kill him? where so, so if, there's a thing called scav karma, and basically it's uh, a karma system where if you kill friendlies, um, then the game starts shitting on you. It starts making the game a lot harder for you. That's mm-hmm. all you need to know. They made it so killing Santa Claus, who's an AI, counts toward the negative karma tremendously. Killing one <laughs> Santa is like killing like 25 of your teammates. Oh and my God. So, and, and, but we didn't know it right away. So we killed him a couple times and it really trashed our karma. Yeah, it, it, it fucked that <laughs> whole wipe up as far as karma went. Yeah. <laughs> murdered Santa? Yeah, Maybe we murdered I'll Santa a lot. multiple times. Back. I can't. I'm going on a trip. It'll be yeah. so late. If I do play Tarkov when I come back in like August, you guys will be so rich. You'll give me guns and ammo and shit. Oh, it's it's so quick to get going, dude. Like like when when you know the game as well as, frankly, I do or you do. I mean, you can. I've yeah. played for two days, like four hours each day. I think starting and, uh, midlife is even, a thing, though. Everyone else is rich. You I like get back that though, because when you game. kill people, it, you're like, oh, all the things I needed. Oh, yeah. oh, you everything kill, you have is nice. <laughs> you just, you just is questing close. easier? We should get off Tarkov talk, but is questing easier uh, now with VoIP where you can be like, don't kill me, don't kill me? Absolutely. Or, or, or you, can, you can even be, be like, hey, do you have the key to this and that? Yeah, I'll open that up. Yeah, let me get that water thing marked. Like, people are super chill if you talk to them, I found. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, not suck your dick, but you're charismatic too, so that helps a lot. I, I try the best I can. Sometimes it goes How well. How you approach them. Um, but, but I'll yeah. suck your dick. You're, you're a sweet boy, and I love you. Thank you. And, and, Here's a and, and it's <laughs> cut, and you don't have to worry about it smelling bad. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like it now, don't you? Yeah. Now that you're the one sucking the dick, you'd like yeah, it. Yeah, now you're pro circumcision. Now, now that I'm okay with it, you know, maybe I go down, I go, this is pretty nice. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, where, that's where I should have taken the argument last week. Don't knock until you try. Like, all right, if you're going to suck a dick, Taylor, would you prefer uncut or cut? And you, well, that's not what we're arguing. Well, that's that's about. irrelevant. <laughs> no, you know what? I you know, I, I would have played into that for the bit, but my real opinion would be, yeah, yeah. if I'm sucking a man's dick, I want to give him the absolute most pleasure. I'm gonna be sucking mm. on that foreskin. I'm gonna be putting my tongue in his foreskin. I'm gonna Get him to do some circles. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be putting it in there doing some circles. I'm gonna be think, I know you, I know you I'm, like uh, I'm gonna suck his dick in a wild ass way. I know you like like treats. Like, can you imagine like maybe if you were gay, I your, know you your, like boy, treats. your boyfriend would keep <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's not wrong. I do you like look treats. like a man who enjoys candy. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Here. Like, like you go down there on your, your significant other for a little lovemaking, and oh, mm-hmm. what's that? A Fizzy toasty roll. cheese it. A toasty <laughs> cheese it was just in his foreskin. Mm. Well, no one's upset by I that. Got a snack. And it's a little moist. 
but it's extra yeah. salty and you're okay with that. It's a good it's a good time for everyone. As long as it's very, very salty, I'm game. It will be, trust me. Oh, it will be. Yeah. It's gonna be. It'll be good. And there would be nothing wrong with that. What you think that's gay because I said I would suck a dick and play with the head of the dick with my tongue through its his foreskin? (laughs) You think that's you think that's gay? I mean, I, I, I think that would like literally be, but 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 that's neither. I don't there. know about I, that's pretty I, bigoted. I was just trying to talk about cheese. It's if I'm being honest, I, I yeah, because of the big cheese. Is that why? The sucking dick. Why don't they make big <laughs> cheese? Like like did they see? do? Oh, I thought that's why you, you were talking. Have you about not it. seen this? You didn't see it. Have you guys not Are seen this revolutionary? No, have you not, have you not seen this? It is uh. So Zach, I need you to look up Taco Bell. Cheese it. So basically. They're making the, what is it, the Mexican pizza or oh, some tostada yeah, really? or something like that. You can get, it's apparently a cheese it that's about that big. Look at this. Look at this. Yep. Look at the size of that cheese it. And it's in there. And it's a, it's a partnership. That's the with Crunch Wrap Supreme with the cheese it inside. That's a Crunch Wrap Supreme Order with the one. cheese it inside. And, and think about this. That's revolutionary. That's changing <laughs> yes, the fucking game. We got to have culinary one. landscape. This is a way bigger deal than the Doritos Locos Tacos. Like, let's be serious about it for a sec. It's a much bigger deal. It Putting is. cheese in the crust was a bigger deal than this. Ah, <laughs> I, I won't dignify that with a response. But, <laughs> but this, this is the future of eating, friends. This is the future of eating. What I saw on social media was that everybody was just trying to buy the fucking Cheez-Its, which is what I wanted, like Kyle said. Nobody wanted the rest of the taco with it. They just wanted to buy a big-ass big, ba- big ass not, bag of huge that's, cheese. That's, that's, a, that's so funny that's you said that, Josh, because that was I exactly my thought, beans. is someone tweeted at me and said, hey, if you order this, but say plain, they just give you a giant Cheez-It. For like $4. <laughs> and so I was but- like, okay. But it turns out this is only offered in like a very specific group of stores. Of course. It's not like you can go out and just buy these, which is bullshit because you should be able to because this is yeah. fucking America. And Talk this is and the, like this is Joe Biden's America where you can't buy <laughs> a, a cheese it of the girth request. And that's that's part of Joe Biden's America is I not being allowed be to enjoy to a Taco Bell employee. That that would be my take on it. That's like, probably bro. what's going to yeah. happen. Some black Between market you and I, giant cheese. It's twenty dollars and fifty cents for that sleeve. Okay. I've never seen a Taco Bell employee that I didn't think was immediately beginning their parole. All right. That's so funny you said that when I, when yeah. I was looking for people to shoot with the pepper spray and the taser and, you know, the, the video I did with Jeremy where I ended up tattooing him. The first guy we hired was a Taco Bell employee who was taking the garbage out. And the reason that we couldn't use him because he agreed for much less money than I gave Jeremy was because the cop had literally tased him before in the line of duty. <laughs> the, the cop I was borrowing the taser yeah, off. It was of. a rerun for that guy. Yeah, yeah, it was gonna be a rerun for him. He was so like, no, nah, we're not doing it. Yeah, this. my Taco Bell doesn't have those, or I would have actually seen if I could have finagled one of those giant cheese its out of them. That's yeah, what I, I want. To I have one of those cheese. giant cheese its I'm I'm worried about because part of what makes the cheese it so, so endearing is is the crunch, the crisp. Yeah. yeah, you want it fresh. I, yeah. I I bet they come in a big sleeve. You want a whole sleeve of those, and here's what you want to do: you want to put that thing on a sandwich. Ooh. Yes, I like where you're going. You with do this. perfect crunch, and it's it's just a cheese it sandwich right. with <laughs> with a ton of prosciutto on it. There's and and cheese on the cheese. Of course, the there's cheese. cheese. Yeah. Of course, there's what? cheese. Put it in a grilled cheese. Should there be no bread? Should there just be just two cheese? Uh, no, it'll no, fall apart. Then you have to touch no, it. No, there there has it'll to be bread. Apart. We're making sandwiches. What, what about what about a cheesy flatbread that we wrap tightly? Any amount of bread is good. Mm. You know, oh, what Woody said, did you guys see they just started putting, I don't know if they're doing this everywhere, they're putting pepperoni inside of stuffed crust pizza now. It's literally a fucking pizza in your that's, pizza. That's, that's the that's most convincing home. argument for NASA, is they discovered that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, discovered <laughs> what? The, NASA <laughs> discovered how, NASA how, how, to get, how to get pepperonis into the crust. I was you wondering why it took this whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> Three that's a good point. Ago. I mean, it's basically like, yeah, cow's own crust. No, you're, 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 like that, the Apollo Six mission, they figured that out how to how to get <laughs> the, the, the the pepperonis into the crust. I just was wondering. It's like a whole pizza inside of a pizza. Now you get cheese and pepperoni inside here. I mean, I guess you're just a little tomato sauce. I ordered the breadsticks. I ordered cheesy breadsticks, and then I dip it in the same fucking sauce. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is just an unassembled pizza. It's yeah. better though. It's so much better. I yeah, would rather have breadsticks than pizza, if I'm being honest. I would rather have like <laughs> pizza and bread. 
pizza, pizza, pizza. breadsticks. You'd have, rather uh, have a version of pizza with no meat and no cheese I'm that sorry. you dip in pizza sauce. I'm sorry. That's There's something insane. About that. You should no, be that... killed in public. <laughs> you can get cheesy breadsticks. <laughs> Those are cheesy breadsticks. Ingredients. I like that Romano sprinkled garlicky nonsense on those greasy ass Pizza Hut we breadsticks, all do. and and so and good. I'm good with that. But the only thing better than that, and I almost never have gone to this level of degeneracy, it's that Papa John's liquid butter cup. Oh it's my that god! Papa oh, John's so oh my good, god! Bro. I've wow. only had that. Wow. I've only you're, had that five times in my life. Like wow. maybe so, five so times. So you're in my you're life. ordering I, Papa John's and you're not dunking in that every bite. You're, you're oh a liar. My fucking god. That's I the would, only sales I point of Papa so John's. After. The shit you take Tears after right. that. The shit you take after right. that. It's the only sales point. It's lubricated to the Papa next John's <laughs> pizza. It's, it's that garlic butter shit. we're talking about, right? Papa yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Dog shit is amazing. It is the, the, dog shit quality pizza that is absolutely carried by garlic butter. I don't dip it. <laughs> I don't. Dip garlic it's butter is doing all the heavy lifting in that relationship. Dude, the pizza is a pain in the ass to get to because all you want is the crust. Because all you want is a garlic butter. Shovel. I drizzle the pizza with the garlic butter. <laughs> Go fuck the yourself. whole pizza. Sometimes I do that. I'm not going to lie. I put garlic butter straight on the pizza, bro. I You're can't wait. It? I can't wait to get to the crust. I mean, You're I'm not saying good. I don't dip the crust. I do that too. But first, I throw a little drizzle on that. You know, I bet you asked them for extra garlic butters, they give them to you. Oh, they're 50 cents a piece. They'll load you the fuck they up. They sell them. Yes. Yeah, it's 50 yeah. cents a piece. Cents. It's $5 so if you right want now. 10 more. I have what they call the quarters. You know, the reality, the <laughs> reality of being an adult is that someone said this the other day. I can't remember. The reality of being an adult is I can order a fucking cake. And they'll just bring that shit to me, and nobody can do a goddamn thing about me <laughs> sitting here and eating it with a fork. And the same oh, thing yeah. is true with these Papa John's butters. I could order as many as the Papa John's near me has. I oh yeah, <laughs> Dude, be, being a being a grown up absolutely rules. Like, like being, yeah. being able to just go like, back down hills. You know what? I like this I'm for a while. It goes that. great, and then yeah, and then you eventually you knock uh, up the door fifty, and you're like, and oh you yeah, can, I remember what I could do for uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this is a real good fifty that you've worked out for yourself, though. <laughs> Dude, you this, you got I had on a shirt. shirt. It's that was appropriate. Colored. It fit me. And I spilled, I had shrimp and I dipped it in something and I had a, a stain right there. So <laughs> yeah. I quickly threw on another shirt before the show and it looks like I raided my son's club. Oh. I thought you were just busting out of that thing, Hulk. No, I thought you were just busting out of that thing. I thought you were just busting out of that thing. I thought you were just busting out of that thing. I thought you were Don't let Woody like undersell boat. this bullshit. Woody is jacked. He's yoked out of his mind. He's a very good. He is the healthiest looking fifty year old man I've ever seen in my life. In the gym let, today. let me tell you this: there's the the only better looking fifty year old men are literally like uh, celebrities, like like Tom Cruise, I, Brad Pitt. Cruise. Yeah, that's it. Uh, right. No, stick with me here. Like like just to be fair, Sylvester Stallone and um, um very good. What's your I, favorite? I guess one I'd still have sex with him. Demolition Man. Remember Demolition Man with Sandra Bullock? He's forty seven. It's 47 in that one. Oh, He's right. all yeah. ripped up. It's still, all pretty, up. Pretty, He's still pretty fuckable. G give me the give me it's demolition man um shirtless, Zach. L look how look how ripped up he is on the side. Like, like his whole all of this his whole oblique Real area is ripped oh, are torn. Yeah. Those obliques are sick on Stallone. They always have been. Back in Rocky Three, when he, he shows up amazing. all greasy. Oh He's got that, that black sounded racist against color. Italian people, Kyle. Yeah, I don't care. No, he's been working with Apollo Creed. <laughs> it wasn't Italian Greece anymore. Hey, he uh, got that's not Apollo cool. Creed. That's Apollo, not cool. Creed. <laughs> Apollo Creed got some of that black people hair grease like my, my cellmate had, and he rubbed that him down. 47? 47. 47. And that's not a good thing. If you keep that looking at the images, there's one. bicep vein is a one, roadmap. There's yeah. one where he's in kind of a superhero pose, and you can see his whole um, um, like like side area, and it's so. I mean, you kind of see it here, like like his traps are nuts. You know what's his wild is good. you can tell from this picture that he has a speech impediment. Yeah, it, he's got. <laughs> yeah, he's got. He's got um, like I think he's got like you, a paralyzed. You see what he's going for you. I think he's got like <laughs> partial paralysis there and that nerve, and that's what causes gives him that distinctive look and uh, and and. Uh, why are his Big eyes pattern. so close together? He's one step away from being a cyborg. A horrible no. depth perception. Uh, what is that? I, think I watched a video of this guy playing bass the other day. I mean, he did want to be the Terminator. A Cyclops, I was looking for. <laughs> is, what's uh, in this scene? <laughs> in this like scene obviously, we, we can't see it on YouTube. What's his dick looking like in this scene? Uh, you don't get to see any dick. Although I will say no. this a little little behind the scenes. Look at his <laughs> Belgian fucking Puritan. I, I just thought the end. He had really good delts. So 
he all he was terrified filming the scene um so um he's sentenced to be frozen for like 80 years or whatever and the scene where they put him in this little cube and start filling it up with water he's really in this plastic fucking like thing filling up with water and he was like it was very unsafe i was terrified the whole time and it was the worst eight, I, I figured he was gonna be like 20 minutes of my life it was the worst six hours of his life. He was in. <laughs> oh my God. That's how bro. long it takes to film shit like that. Cause they yeah. must have taken so many angles and so many takes of him, like literally being drowned and then frozen alive. Like however they do the VFX for freezing, but mm. he's really in there getting, getting you know, like in a thing, getting filled with water. That's terrible. I don't really like I'm not a big cool. Stallone fan, but, but uh, I do like him in that movie. He shows a little personality. Sometimes I assume everything is so fake that you know, it's Hollywood. It's all smoke and mirrors. And then you learn Tom Cruise really did hang outside of a plane. Tom Cruise really has become like a master skydiver and a race car driver. And Keanu Reeves can really operate weaponry. And he can yeah. do Brazilian jiu-jitsu and I think kung fu. And, you know, some of these guys that build Tom, Tom Cruise is just like unreal seriously. with with the shit he's willing to do. Like, he's not even one of my favorite actors or anything. I, I'm kind of indifferent to him as an actor. I don't you know, I didn't yeah. watch the Mission on Impossible, Impossible stuff, but like, it's insane how dedicated he is he in balls. any in, in any arena where it's like you want to be a, a a pilot, a fighter pilot, and he's like, yeah, I want to learn how to fly the plane. And they're like, you know, you could just be an actor and not do that. And he's like, no, <laughs> it'll be better if I can make the facial expressions and act while I'm doing it. Sign and me he's a hundred percent right. Like he's he's what a master of his craft. Iron Man. It, it would have been a better series. I would have watched oh, the fucking come on. Uh, Marvel. Robert Downey Jr. was really good and snarky. Wait, Tom Cruise was almost Iron Man, or is that yes? I, 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 I told that the only reason he wasn't Iron Man is he wouldn't agree to wear a mask. He wanted his face visible all the time. That sounds like an urban legend. Hmm. Is he that arrogant? It, that sounds like somebody just calling him cocky. Well, no, because I, like really even if he, unless he didn't he like the like, mask or like it's uncomfortable, you know, and it wouldn't make that. sense because even if, if it was like, oh, I, I, you know, the mask is it's distracting from me. I'm Tom Cruise. It'd You're be like, man. well, but there's a million scenes of you without the mask. You just have to wear the mask when you're hiding from the public. Like, right. So that seems that seems like absolute bullshit. I sincerely doubt that he said no because he would have to wear a mask. Like, I mean, come on. I, I don't. I can't picture it. I can't picture him being Iron Man. Yeah, I, I've I've seen. He probably would have killed it. I've seen deep fakes of him as Iron Man. It, it would have been fine, I guess. But I think that Robert Downey Jr. has that snarky Tony Stark quality and personality. I don't remember. I mean, Tom Cruise can grow a pretty good beard too. But like the character traditionally has like the same facial hair that Robert Downey Jr. used to rock. It's what, like, like like a skull yeah. patch and a mustache or something. Yeah, like a little, a little like a, kind of thing. A, a, a various, go, a various go I googled it. I want to jump in here. It's interesting yeah. to me. Um, Tom Cruise was offered the role of Tony Stark, so he turned it down. Mm -hmm. And he said that he turned it down because he wanted it to be special, and he basically just wanted more control than Marvel was willing to give them. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said he, he wanted to be in a real fun. Iron Man suit, and they said no. <laughs> We're not <laughs> real Iron I have Man to be able to make mom? decisions and make the movie at best it can be, and it just didn't go that way. It, yeah. it was a control thing. And you yeah, think so that sounds hilarious. arrogant, but... You know, Tom Cruise makes good movies. So Tom Cruise maybe makes he... Tom Cruise movies. He, he, he like like those Mission Proving Impossible successful. movies. There is no like Fast and the Furious would love to be what Mission Impossible is. They might make more money. I don't even fucking know. But they are white trash Mission Impossible. Just so all y'all Fast uh -huh. and the Furious fans know that are watching like Fast Nine or whatever's about to come Fast out. 14. That is the like chill cool equivalent of like some Bubba Gump NASCAR redneck shit that y'all are into that shit is so fucking tired and lame vin diesel has always been mildly retarded and, family and, and the whole <laughs> thing is silly they're, they're they used to they were stealing dvd players that was the first caper in, in fast and the furious one okay now they're they're fucking flying now they're saving and the they, world have they gone to space yet like, they will it's, soon. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Are they I saving the world with their ability to drive like souped up? Hobbits? It's always some. It's like a Mission Impossible thing every time. <laughs> like like there there are helicopters involved and like rap stars are driving Lambos uh, and and are. So they and, got a long way from installing NOS on Honda Civics. No, yeah, so far from that. We are okay. not racing the pinks anymore. The world is at stake. <laughs> <laughs> the world's gonna blow up. It's Doctor Evil now and shit. But, but meanwhile, those Mission Impossible movies somehow like. 
it's like Tom Cruise wanted to be James Bond and they wouldn't let him. So he's like, oh, I'll be Ethan Hawke. I'll be fucking the Mission Impossible guy and I'll make that cooler than James Bond ever was. And he has. I, I think I think it's cooler than James Bond. It has to be, yeah. I, oh, I, cooler is not the perfect word. Remember it's, when it's he climbed bigger, on the older, outside of the uh, cool? Remember when he climbed on outs, the outside of that the tallest building in the world is the, the Burj Khalifa or whatever in mm. Dubai or wherever the fuck. Um, he's actually out there. He's all he's He's on the outside of that goddamn building. Now it's kind of silly, fakery what he's doing, the way he's climbing it. But there's several parts where he's like bridging and stuff where he's just out there on the outside of that goddamn building. I bet you he's good at mountain climbing. I bet he's good at everything. I bet he's good at every fucking thing. Um, And I I really dislike him as a human being. I think he's so creepy with that Scientology stuff. And I think his like him pushing it has probably sent so many people into that scary cult. But goddamn, he's a good movie star. He's the greatest movie star. He, he really is. He's he's aged perfectly. He's still pulling off these leading man get get all the pussy and like win the day rolls at fifty something. And yeah. he's five seven at best, folks. Yeah. Why do you <laughs> think Tom Cruise is Scientology? Right. Here's my take. I don't think Tom Cruise he's is man. Stupid. I don't think he's stupid. I think there's something about Scientology that works for him. For sure. Right. Maybe he's getting sure. free landscaping out of all these believers. I don't know. Maybe their money funnels to Tom Cruise somehow. Maybe he has like a, a, a sea of free labor. I don't I, I just don't think Tom Cruise is losing at Scientology like everyone else is. You know, they've arranged for like a couple of his wives. Like I, I I'm almost positive that like they arranged for him to like meet wife number two or something after nicole kidman i can't even remember who it was there's a lot of weird pretty stuff one with brown hair from dawson's creek right they all they're all yeah yeah with the dead katie eyes. holmes katie holmes with the dead eyes and does she have a dead eye like both of her eyes are dead like she has no soul behind them hmm i don't think he's talking about a lazy eye so no about she doesn't have like goat a, eyes a goat eye or anything like that that would be really off-putting right if someone had goat pupils yeah it'd be a little scary I, uh, that's where I first heard that was in the testimony against a criminal I was reading about, and they said he had goat eyes. Oh yeah, that's oh that's her best look. She, now she's find, with Jamie Fox. Current that is. Find one where she's in like Spanx at, at Starbucks, current. and and she's trying to hide. <laughs> she's trying to hide. She's trying to fucking hide. Um, no, I, I forgot they were together. Make amazing movies. Those those Mission Impossible movies. Every time they come out, I I, I end up watching them because every time it's really fucking good. It's not some schlock. It's Every piece of it is well done. The special effects are great. The The villain's always a cool actor, or at least a well-known actor who does a great job. Um, and even the story's usually decent. They're great movies. Tom Cruise is amazing at what he does. And uh, I got, have you seen Top Gun yet? No. Did you like it? I haven't seen it either. I feel like an mm. asshole. But because with the move and everything, I've just been... I mean, I'm working every day. Like It passed a billion, so it's pretty good. Is it a remake or a continuation? Part two. Continuation. Part two. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know anything of the plot. I re- I try really hard to avoid even the preliminary spoilers. I think he's a, uh, mm-hmm. Maybe I won't say anything. I think he's like instructor <laughs> for Top Gun. That's what I was going to say. I think he's a Top Gun instructor now. And beyond that, I don't know much. It's exactly uh, okay. in the same spot as you. Um, yeah. I heard there was a, a preview today on Amazon for the uh, the Lord of the Rings series. I didn't look at it. I'm not super interested in that. Oh, I also haven't watched the new boys and there's a new one tonight, which I think is the season finale. I agree. Yeah. Something there's one like more that. boys. You missed hero gasm. Then I watched hero gasm. I think then you're current. Oh, that's possible. Then I thought there had been a new one. Mm. I think there's been a new one since. And then the season finale is the episode after that. I think I'm two behind um, after time, but in any case, hero gasm was really fucking cool. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how the, the season wraps up with that. I'll never watch anything, man. I'm, I want to no? be able to keep up better with this shit. The last thing I want to right, the staircase. Kyle. Cool. All right. I look forward to seeing it then. It'll be fun to watch them back to back. That's the only show I have going on, but I guess, look, I, if that Jon Snow show is not made by d and I'm going to watch it because I've John heard that. Jon Snow show? So Kit Harrington, the guy that played Jon Snow, wants to do a Jon Snow show, which would like continue the 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 story onward for him at the wall with Tormund. I don't know, doing what the fuck, whatever. But he wants to do that. And if D and D don't have anything to do with it, I'll definitely watch that because I do like Jon Snow and I would like to see more of that world. The problem isn't I think 
if the story had continued, I could have held. I, I would have kept watching. I, can they redeem themselves if they came back? Is Game of Thrones like, over? Because that's essentially what they're talking yeah, about. It's like, over. like, yeah, it's very much over. And I know you say you've never seen it, you never will. Like, what? But he might never finish the books. I'm so, not expecting him to with his old ass. Okay, so there might come a time when you're 45 years old where you're like, you know, I kind of like to see a version of the story ending. Sure. And well, for you what will it's worth, it's not always so, perfect. Well, it's you, you can we spoil hated it. the ending. We hated yeah. the ending. We hated I've been what told. happened. It was despicable what happened, in our <laughs> opinion, and it ruined years worth of fandom for us. So what they're talking about now is bringing a, a Jon Snow show back, and I would, I'll absolutely be on board with that, and I'm more interested in that, frankly, just the general premise of that, than anything I've seen from Amazon on the um, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the, Lord Rings, of the Rings series. Yeah, the teaser came out today. That's what I was saying, Taylor, just before you sat I'm down. I'm not going to watch it. I think Did I'm going to hold it? I'm not going to watch it until I you see it. You won't even like, watch reviews. the teaser? I, I'm going to watch review. No, I'll watch the teaser. I'm, I'm so prepared to be disappointed from that bullshit. Like, for the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. I, yeah. I mean, I know Lord of the Rings is not very good, but I thought you might. No, nah, you're wrong. It, it's the greatest <laughs> story ever told. Uh, well, I mean, if, if that were the case, you'd probably watch it. I don't know. If that were the case, probably every fantasy writer for the next 80 years would mimic his exact work with elves, dwarves, goblins. You know, that's, that's not probably, really a counter to that's what probably, saying. That, that's probably, probably if it was the most influential fantasy work of the 19th or the 20th century, you'd probably see everyone mimicking him, which is what oh, we'll are see. You, are, do you like Lord of the Rings? <laughs> are you a fan of that series and its author? What's his name again? Oh, Fuck what's you. his name again? <laughs> 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 You got you. I'm not wrong. Oh, I'm well, watch it, it then. Will it be kind of like I, I, my situation where you it's too near and dear to your heart and you're not going to be able to take the this cannot know, the no, mistakes? this does not stain what has come before. <laughs> Look, I'm as big of a fan of the shit as Taylor is, to be fair. I really, really love the original trilogy, like tr- tremendous. It's amount. so tremendous. Um, but uh, but everything, you know, <laughs> the, the Hobbit doesn't poison that for me. You know, one of the saddest things, a if you can, bit. you know, it's a real first world problem, I guess. But seeing Ian McKellen break down in that green screen room and cry, oh. Uh, like, how am I supposed to act in here? Yeah, <laughs> they've just got what, him in this green fucking room. Room. what happened? He, he no, but, so, yeah, in yeah, the but, Hobbit, nothing is fucking real. It's all VFX. Whereas right. in the trilogy, original trilogy, there's so many real props. They're in real rooms. Everything's mm-hmm. real. Force perspective for th- certain uh, certain exactly. shots. Sure. And this. Ian McKellen is sitting on a green chair with a green wall behind him. And I mean, you know, that, that VFX green shit. Sure. And like the whole table is green and everything on the table and like the candelabra, the fruit and everything, like every, thank God you've got it. Look at this. Yep. Yeah. I remember, I remembered more detail. I guess look at the camera thing over there. It's green. Mm-hmm. And, and, and like, like, and look lighting. at the, 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 the taped faces so that he can pretend to react to the faces yeah. there. Yeah. Like I, I feel so bad for Ian McKellen here because thank God he's got a real map. (laughs) (laughs) This is the part they couldn't handle. (laughs) See, I I love Ian McKellen. I think Ian McKellen is one of the greatest actors ever. I thought he played Gandalf to a fucking T. Yeah. But I totally understand his exasperation here of like, I'm a fucking actor. I respond to things going on around me as though it were real. And now you're asking me to respond to non existence going around me. So and is that what this picture that's real. Yeah, is that yeah, what this it, picture was about? It, was his it literally frustration? In, yeah, it encapsulates well, I mean, just, uh, Ian McKellen being like, "How am like what the fuck? Like, what am I supposed do I to be to? doing here? Like, this is ridiculous. This is not what movie making is." And he's right. He's yeah. right. Like, but I've seen those like epic. Know, like, I, I've watched clips. I've watched clips of those like epic battle scenes from Marvel movies. It's absolutely soulless. It is just two superheroes going like this to each other over and over and over until one is more powerful through one magic falls. than the other. And it's just not that impressive. So like, I, I right. watched the whole, you know, that scene that people are like, it gave, it gave me chills at the end of oh, end game God. or whatever. Be careful. I wa- I watched, I'm not going to be, <laughs> I watched lightly. that whole, I watched that whole scene and it was a, the most embarrassing instance of fan service I've ever seen in my life. Everyone going like like clapping. I could I could imagine everyone Taylor, clapping in the theater Taylor, as all the heroes you know landed in movies? perfect sequence. Taylor, Taylor, how long is the whole trilogy put together? Like six and a half hours, seven. Lord of the Rings extended edition. Uh, seven hours, right? Max. Oh no, all three of them probably okay, about eight, know, eight, right. eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours with extended. Sure. We sat through twenty six fucking movies to at two two hours plus each. We did fifty hours walking. 
the same fucking story yeah. over and over sometimes. Seems like a bad use of time. That fucking scene <laughs> where fucking that was the ride on the goddamn Rohirrim. That was Gandalf showing up, showing up at the first light on the fifth day or whatever the fuck. That was it. Okay, that was chills because Captain America picked up that magic goddamn hammer. You the, to you, that's a fucking hammer. That's a magic fucking hammer, and nobody can pick that up. Exactly. Yeah, but was the but but was there a part at the end where you thought the heroes might not be able to pull it out, and then they did when people yes. showed up unexpectedly? The question is going to be Eagles. how many of them, the man twentieth times the be, charm. The question was always going to be how many of our favorite heroes are done now because they, they're not going to. How many? Of I hope heroes all are, of them. The answer hope- is like all of them. Captain America's essentially gone. Tony Stark dies. A bunch mm-hmm. of them. Black Widow dies. Like the whole team basically gets. I, I wish that there was a scene Vision. after that battle where that that You're showed them movie. like getting fucking robbed in an Uber, like or something. <laughs> like fuck them, low scale shit. Fuck these people. They're they're terrible. They're they're bad heroes. How are you, you gonna know, rob a superhero in an Uber? No, I'm saying, well, uh, someone would. They wouldn't realize they're they superheroes. Be pretty impressive. Well, first of all, they're 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 Ubering, so they're not assumed to be superheroes. I, I didn't know what your graphic was going to come up. Like, like I just imagined was, Robert Downey Jr. being robbed. I didn't know what. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, that guy on? looks so much like Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought for a second. He when really he it. I was like, that was random. <laughs> Joe Biden wishes. Oh, yeah. what if Joe? Oh, if if they if that they ever dressed Joe Biden up as Captain America. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I would love for them to just lean in and start dressing that fucker up. <laughs> like, in the, yeah, like more, yeah, more, you're right. I don't he's think not Trump making is going to be the Republican nominee. I don't think he's going to be it. It's going to be somebody else. Really, Kyle? Yeah. Like Kyle's point of him being the Republican nominee? I saw something. Who knows if it's right? Because polling so so ridiculous sometimes. Right. But okay. it looked like he's actually gotten wildly more popular in the last couple months. Like it, like DeSantis oh. was a little. Well, it was it was Trump in May. That was the number one, you and he was at like forty-two percent, and then you DeSantis was at like eighteen, and then I saw like the new one, and it was DeSantis at like fourteen, and Trump at like sixty, like, and so, that's just from May to now. So who knows what can happen? And you Trump know why, right? Do you know why be, Trump's doing I, surgery I have right now? No idea. No. The answer I'm not is him. promises made, promises kept. Okay. <laughs> when I was in Hickory, North Carolina, in twenty sixteen. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Trump had one of his people go out there and he let us know Roe versus Wade was our number one priority. We are going mm. to stop the baby killing. And, and, and he was all about it. And I was like, whoa, Either, Trump won't say anything about abortion. I told my girl. I thought he was watch. about the wall. I, I was like, watch Trump won't say shit about abortion. That's just this guy. And he didn't. He didn't say anything about it. But it was it was there the whole time. This yeah. pro this pro life. Uh, He's paid for a ton of abortions, So he didn't want to touch on it, I would bet. Well, I think he wanted like. Oh, he promised he'd pay for them. It still goes to Kyle's point. Yes, absolutely. Promises <laughs> made, promises kept. Yeah. What I'm saying when, is when that you're right, the, right. <laughs> is that the, what I'm saying is that the the investments that they made in, in 2016, those were paid back in May and April mm-hmm. and March when those um, briefs were leaked, and we and we found out that Roe versus Wade was going to be overturned. All of those far right people said, "All right." And look, there's a there's a secret that nobody wants to talk about, and that's just how many left leaning liberal women are pro life and they don't like abortion, or at the very least, that they don't like how abortion is currently practiced. That's a solid point. There's so many left leaning liberal women that just hate abortion. They're really pro life. No, no, Ky- Kyle's actually yeah. like for for a different reason. You're right in this way because like. There is a, the, the the way the narrative is put forth from, from 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 the it's from the media. The, well, hold on, no, no, for real. The way the media puts forward the uh, the abortion argument is that everyone loves abortion except for evil white men. And these evil white men from old money, they want to shut you down, and they want to. When in reality, like there's about as many women that are vehemently pro-life as there are that are vehemently pro-choice yep. and that's intentionally obfuscated to try and, and make it seem like a more and one it's directional not perfectly thing. cut red and blue either there's no zero. it's not perfectly certainly cut not. red and blue certainly not yeah it, it, it's, this is not this is one of those issues that some people feel a very certain way and you're not going to change it, the same yeah. way that look and it's not I, that for us like we're all pro-choice i, I don't mean, give a fuck i think we should all have machine guns and marijuana right that doesn't really yeah, and we should be having gay too. sex. 
So well, yeah, left and right. Sixty-four percent of people in are in favor. Offers. Sixty-four percent want, wanted Roe v. Role Wade. Play? It is an unpopular position to overturn Roe v. Wade. This See, I, I've idea seen that, uh, that, I've seen polls in the other direction that it was more even than we thought. And and I'm pro. Mm, I don't choice, believe in polls, but because Donald Trump was the last president. Because I also well, fell into that guy. trap. Like, what, what are you saying? Like, I also was like, dude, I, I thought everyone was in favor of abortion. Like, I thought, like, pretty much, Most like, other than are. religious it's people, I thought it was issue a issue for Republicans. See, I saw something that said it wasn't. I don't and know that, like, what your more, news it's more was, even. but I'm pretty sure it's widely regarded as very much a losing issue for Republicans. But widely regarded doesn't mean it's necessarily one. It just means how it's being presented. Like if there's a bunch of religious people out there who are vehement about this, that would get them more likely to vote, right? Uh, we're going to find we'll out. See, I think we're going to find that out. But there's an back. argument to be made that they're not pro-Trump anymore. Like, like, all right, so this is mission accomplished. Oh. Now we can move on. Oh no, no, they want. I definitely don't see he, that. No, he showed up and yeah, he, no, he delivered. I hear you. And he's 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 coming back for fucking fucking part two, right? The Godfather <laughs> part two. He Does should Santa's use that just image beat him in some He's primary. Uh, now it's a poll for a primary for one of the early states. Mm. It, I'm not sure it really matters if DeSantis beats him two the years. The Trump machine hasn't begun yet. He's going to dig up Giuliani. He's going to get that hair slicked back and black mm. as night. Did Giuliani die? He's gonna, no. No, oh. he's fine. But, but, I thought he know. said dig up. I didn't know. Well, he's dealing with his own legal troubles right now. I, I think they defrauded some people in Georgia or something. I don't know. Everybody's getting <laughs> subpoenaed left and right. Lindsey Graham is refusing to show up. The Republicans are so wild. <laughs> Lindsey Graham's too busy giving no. head to show up. <laughs> Lindsey <laughs> Graham, I guess, up. repeatedly was trying to find yeah, ways you. not to count mail-in ballots. And uh, he was sort of doing the opposite of every vote counts. And yep. now they want to subpoena him. And he's... He said, a, nope. Yeah, he's like, I'd rather not talk to you. Yeah, so I don't know what happens next. He's, he's like, it's either tell the truth and go to prison, or get up there and lie and get perjury and go to prison. So oh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna say no. Nah. I don't know. It seems like if you're powerful and you're a senator, you have the option to just not participate in the legal no, system. No, look, I, I, yeah. I didn't you have say, that. Option. Yeah, you, you're exempt. We, you just do whatever the fuck you want, and you can be like, man. yeah, I insider traded. Tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you say that we are not living in the prime timeline. That, mm -hmm. that we have split off from like the, the normal timeline and where, where like the main group of timelines go. Yeah. And we're on some tangent off where you we're know, in a the, lot of we're awful in, things happen. The, we're in the fall of Rome timeline. Yeah, yeah. This where is where we're at watching in real time our country collapse around. As a wow. child, I used to look at England and be like, man, what's it like to be a has-been country? Well, I'm going to find out <laughs> if no, I haven't we've, already. We've already found out we are a has-been country. Mm -hmm. You, you know, know he could save the largest though. economy still, and then you know, he could probably have the biggest military. I mean, but we also like we were pretty convinced that that all of those European EU countries were going to follow our lead and be like, we will not purchase gas from Russia. We will not buy this because that's what the U.S. tried to lead. And now, what's Germany doing? They're buying a shit ton of gas from Russia to keep the prices from going up. And so, like, what it seems is that there's almost a hegemonic shift where the U.S. is going from the global hegemon of power that can infiltrate and, and do anything they want to more of a even power to places like China, no. which is not good. You know, I, I, I words to prove it's argument. Yeah, fair. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has been going great. We're, we're, this, this, this whole Cold War thing with, uh, with Russia is so much fun. Yeah, right. in inflation <laughs> going through the roof, the economy being horrible for the average American. Yeah, that's tremendous. Well, you know, that'll flip back. You remember 2008. Yeah, no. you remember 2008, how it like flipped back and everything was okay and millennials owned homes? Well, I mean, no. no Wait, aren't no. you a millennial? Remember that? You own a home? Yeah, I am, home. but that's because uh -huh. I'm very, uh -huh. that's because Check I'm very blessed to be, okay. hey, not everyone can be a funny retard online. Hey, not not everyone you, can uh, do that. There, there's a limited number. Not of us. everyone uh, can be in the jizz biz and and just so good, goddamn good. At it. I mean, yeah, look, that's you're in a total monopolizer in the 21st century. Scientific study and uh, fair checkmate. <laughs> checkmate. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's got me. <laughs> uh, Kyle, that guy you like, James Can, he died. Who the fuck's James? James Con. James Con. Is that how you say it? From the Godfather. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a, that's a damn shame. Good actor. When 82. Good run, though. 82 yeah. is a great run. I've never seen The Godfather yeah, or was, The Rocky like, movies. Uh, 
I'm not well, seeing an eight in the front of my age with played, the amount uh, of damage I've done to my body. There's no fucking way I'm do, I'm seeing AD. He played uh, Sonny in uh, Godfather. Yeah, really good. I guess I Godfather. never noticed he was in the Godfather because it was so long ago. He looked like a totally different guy. You know the whole meme like like, like look. Look what they done to boy, my boy. They massacred my boy. My boy. That whole yeah, yeah. He's the boy who's been massacred. It's Sonny who's been like machine gunned down and like kicked in the face for spite. Um, they like lured oh, him out of the house. Yeah. Carlos set him up. That bitch. That bitch. Mm. That fucking yeah. bastard. Like, I've been told it's the best movie ever, and I've never seen any of the Godfathers. Oh, well, Jesus, I'm kind of spoiling the minor side plot. I'm sure you won't remember any of these details. I probably won't should... remember that. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. You should go watch them. Um, Godfather 1 and 2 really are. Um, you have to be in the mood to sit down and watch a film that has a complicated plot. Right, That's a Pay bit attention. of a mystery, especially in uh, the second movie. Um, but but I think mm-hmm. they're really good. Uh, I, I love them. I recently yeah, I watched them. Um, I've even the first sat time? down... I think there's this crazy, stupid Coppola edit that like puts both films in, together in chronological order because both films do that back and yeah, forth. Yeah, they go like oh wow. This edits it all into the same chronological order um, and makes it like a five and a half, six hour movie. Just don't watch Godfather three. No, that's garbage. No, I was about garbage. to say you did specifically say one and two. I'm guessing three was like the sellout. Yeah, just don't don't money. bother with three. It's terrible. They just shouldn't have made a third one. It, it didn't work for a lot of reasons. He ended one of the main characters uh, was supposed to be, I think Christina Ricci and she couldn't be in it or, or maybe it's Winona Ryder. I don't remember which Winona Ryder. I think she went and did Bram Stoker's Dracula. So instead Coppola used his own daughter. Who's this cute little Italian girl who looks the part, but can't act for shit. And that's one of the many reasons that movie stinks. It's a bad movie. Oh, I'll it's just a, fill in with my daughter mm-hmm. instead of a trained actor. I think one and two are enough. tremendous. One and two are tremendous. They're very long. You know, you know what I think? I like deal with it. because obviously, like the Godfather one and two are always put up there in the conversations for the best movies ever. Like mm-hmm. it's still a gangster movie, but I think like because I've watched Godfather Goodfellas? one and two multiple times. I think Casino Goodfellas. and Goodfellas, particularly Goodfellas. Are yeah, up there more. in the in the same quality as that, but because Goodfellas was the '90s, it doesn't quite get the respect of the older mob I movie agree, yet. Actually. But like Goodfellas is fucking tremendous. Phenomenal. I would, I would, I, I would, really put, I would died, put Casino he? in the same he situation. Did. Like Casino was a tremendous movie. I fucking loved Casino. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't watch it because I don't like the story. I, I I don't like the downfall of De Niro's character, and I don't like the yeah. slutty Sharon Stone character. But you acknowledge and like it as a good movie. And I and I really dislike that scene where they beat the guy's brother to death with baseball bats and bury him alive. Um, that's yeah, I didn't really like upsetting. that, but it was it was a good scene. Like it was I, it was played out well. It was acted well. That scene didn't make me feel good. Um, I, it I wasn't like meant that. to. It wasn't meant did to. Did it make you feel? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but I don't want to go back to that feeling. Like like the, it. Woody I was talking about it earlier. Head. <laughs> I kind of got off you know, at the very beginning of the show. I was talking about deliverance and how that made me feel when I watched it. I remember I was 13 mm-hmm. or 14 and it was, I think it was on TV, like broadcast TV, like channel 62. Mm-hmm. And during the commercial breaks, I was like, what the fuck? And I think they made the rape scene less explicit somehow, maybe, but it was very clear that Ned Beatty just got fucked in the ass. <laughs> and, Pretty and, that was, and that was just so terrifying, like I said earlier, because that was something that could actually happen to you. And there'd be nothing you could do because you just get, what are you going to do? They're going to shoot you. <laughs> so that's where the unease kind of came from. Just kind of an um, awareness. Well, that movie, just it's, it's just upsetting to watch because you don't want to see poor Ned Beatty get raped. And then, and then the fear for the rest of the characters trying to get out of there. I no did want to see him be- get raped because you yes. recommended the movie to me, and I was like, "When he? When is he? Uh, when is he going to be raped?" <laughs> get to the rape already! Get to Shit! Rape? Yeah, get all the way there, man. man. When I heard like the oh yeah, you know what's going on, uh, and then they were like floating down. I was like, "Oh, a little anal penetration is coming. I'm ready. Definitely, <laughs> little. I'm ready to Sheesh. see." Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, let's call it Stockholm Syndrome, but I found myself on the side. I think all of those guys but John Voight. <laughs> all of those guys but John Voight are dead. All of them but John Voight. Wow. I didn't know that Burt Reynolds was dead. All yeah. of them were raped other than John Voight? Yeah. That's Reynolds what he said. Really recently. That's wild. No, they're all you heard gay. it first on PK? Currently, the actors. You, but you heard oh, they're all gay said. other than John Voight. You fucking <laughs> cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, forgive him, Kyle. He's only got a hip on him one ear. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I can't hear it. <laughs> it won't fit on his head otherwise. You know, I'm so disappointed to learn that little fucker wasn't playing the banjo. I was hyped on that shit my whole life, man. Kyle, you ruined me, man. I was like, if that kid can do it, I can do it. I wanted to play he, banjo because of that guy. You're, you're not even wrong. He does. Like, Kyle's right. It's a it's an adult playing the banjo, mm-hmm. obviously. But and now that I look at it with his critical eye, I also when he said see it, it. I noticed. I was but, like, that arm is not his but arm. But <laughs> the first time I watched it, I was the same as you, where I was like, this little fucker oh, can strum. Someone lied it. to me once and said they had met him. Like, like that's the level of bullshit I had heard before. Just to, say, just just to try and defend like, it. Oh, yeah, that, I've met the that band. Met the he really star. plays like that. Yeah, oh, he's 50 now. Or whatever nah. the fuck. And, like, like I, I have literally <laughs> been told that fucking lie. And then you go, you watch some Watch Mojo top 10 things you didn't know about the yeah. deliverance. And <laughs> that's not really that poor mentally disabled yeah. boy playing the it's banjo funny you say they that. just propped him up and stuck some hands in front of him and he's just enjoying the show i saw well, one of those the fat videos you're talking hand. about that said it was him that's why i believed it but it was on youtube not tv that's where i fucked up yeah also the 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 adult banjoist must have had some very small hands because it looks it still looks Fairly like a, child, a child's hands okay on the banjo it i'm sure they found a petite banjo player perhaps a lady I will say that, that oh. whoever the fuck was playing it, it has been hands down some of the most impressive instrument playing I've ever seen because of how fast the banjo is. And I really want to learn to play it just because of that scene. And people think, you know, that I'm my trying to do everything else from that movie. My dad plays with a guy who could do that shit. Like, 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 like he likes can to your play. dad play banjo? Yeah. The fast instrument in the world. He, he can't play like that. He doesn't, but he can absolutely play that song. Yeah. He can yeah, pick He's at it. He's to a chord. A little, so, like, if, yeah, if you're just, if you're just hitting the strings, anything with, anything with strings, I think, is like, you can play one you can play them all i mean he seems to be able to can long, you play any instruments i've got a fender guitar over there in the the corner and uh with enough memory i can play like the first little bit of a song like like i can play a little bit of something but i can't remember anything right now i'd have to get i'd have to get my fucking video you have out to like re YouTube. relearn it i have to relearn it again yeah it's i it's so hard to keep practicing no, it's true, dude. I, I can hear songs that I played at covers in prison bands a thousand times, and I literally don't prison remember band? how to play it. Oh, oh, we talked about that last time, right? Yeah. There was a, yeah. Di- there was a prison chorus, and uh, I, th- I think I've told this story before, but they, they, uh, I thought it was the, the Ray lamest. Pets. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I thought it was the lamest uh, thing I'd ever heard of. They were like, because yeah. Snow was in there. He was like, yo, you should be in the chorus with us or the choir. And I was like, nah, man, I don't want to be in the fucking choir. I'm gonna and I was like, no, I don't f- care for that. <laughs> and, and, and so like, but they had been promised, I can't remember what the meal was, but like fried chicken or pizza party or something like that. And and so they went out there like dancing fucking monkeys for the prison organization. I think some like people from the state came down or something. And they went oh out there and God. fucking sang out there like fucking dancing monkeys for those people to show what good reformed to be convicts they all were going to be the system's then, working and then they were like yo where's the pizza party and they were like nah we changed their mind it turns out it was going to gonna be too much to bring you guys pizza or whatever they promised them and and literally they came back and they were like yeah we just didn't get anything they all yeah. left thinking they were going to a pizza party and they went to a meeting where they were told they got nothing <laughs> and then dismissed <laughs> and, then, and then dismissed and thanks right, bye. Back, to, back to your sales you get nothing <laughs> thank you for singing it was it was super embarrassing because they made us all come out and listen to him sing too. You guys want to? You guys want to rap? Uh, Call it a no, show? I wanted to do another hour of this. this you like bitch! Yeah, Taylor, <laughs> I would. I wish I could, um, but uh, Woody's got a big trip, right? Uh, I'm gonna do one more show. One more show. Okay. One more show. Yeah. We get one more show, week. Kyle, and then we can go wild. <laughs> <laughs> just, there will just, be no one to keep us on. We got comes off. You know that <laughs> song that's <laughs> literally nothing but N words. That's going to be PKA for four hours. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's that's the N word song, and it's a real jam. <laughs> we've got the RS, we got the RSK hoods on the merch side. Like, like, we just really burn the place down while you're gone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our best. But mm. uh, Josh. Yeah. Where can everyone check you out? Where can they find your stuff? I am at twitch.tv slash jpalalt five days a week. Come hang out. I just started dipping in rust, and Kyle's got me half convinced to try to say, escape from Tarkov. Please Real Tarkov. sweet kids give me recommendations, and I do them. And then my YouTube is Josh Palalt. It's my name spelled however, wherever it is, right here. Type it in on YouTube and hit subscribe, guys. You already know. Oh, yeah. Check him That's out, guys. Josh is a great, great gentleman. We like him very much. 
I was glad so, to be back, guys. It's always it's always great shooting on. the shit. Anytime y'all need me, I'll, I'll be happy to step in. I oh yeah, it. we'll get you PKA more. Six oh three.